Warning. What you are about to witness is a dangerously concentrated mass of cursed conlangery, linguistic buffoonery, and corrupted dreams. At least three of the languages submitted can literally only be spoken properly by breaking the law, so I will preemptively state, don't do illegal things. Most of them are at least some degree of painful to utter, and it shall be my fate to attempt speaking the top three winners if those winners are physically possible to pronounce at all. Hello, one and all. You've made it. I've made it. No, we've made it. To the cursed Conlang Circus! My name is Agma Schwa, your gracious host, and a couple months ago I gave out a call to action to all of you. A large, terrible call to action for the most disturbing languages to be created in a competition to be the worst of the worst. And dozens of you delivered. This may just be my longest video ever, so if you're here for the premiere, prepare for a wild and long ride. Yes. Now, I told you all that the top three winners would receive a copy of A Grammar of the Autodrune Language, some Agmashua stickers from Redbubble, and I'll try to attempt to speak your language if it is a speakable one at all which is actually a pretty difficult criteria to meet, honestly. And the first place winner will receive all of that, plus a crumpled $100 bill that I found on the railroad track. Now this of course means that I have to somehow judge all of these languages. Now thanks to all the non-spoken languages that were submitted, I've had to adjust the wording of my criteria just a little bit, but the end result should pretty much be the same. You will be scored as follows. You'll be given a score out of 100 for how cursed its inventory is, whether that's a phonology or some other kind of ology. You'll be given a score out of 100 on how cursed its grammar, syntax, or whatever other structures that make the language tick work. And you will be given a score out of 100 for execution. How painful, funny, both, or just overall well executed the final product is. Everything put together. Obviously, this is rather subjective. My definition for being cursed is essentially something that is brutally disturbing, convoluted, difficult, or strange in a way that evokes comedy from the pure absurdity while still being a work that required significant effort to make and thus evokes a respect for the genuine quality hidden beneath the suffering. Like, like Hyperpop. It's, it's an experience exponential derivation of original pop, but in a way that's genuinely a full genre of its own. So joining me for the judging, so that it's not just my opinion going into this, will be Eternal, along with special guest appearances from various Big Lang members such as Connor Quimby, Schmilly Langs, Kate the Pan Plate, Space Dirt, and even Juno. So the final score for each participant in this competition will be the average of our scores put together. So a perfect 100 would be the highest possible score you could get. Now, in any case, just remember that even though I am, you know, judging these and will award the three winners with the top scores, in no way does that mean that any of your submissions weren't good. Like, literally all of them were great. You're about to witness over the course of the next potentially multiple hours how good all of these submissions were. Anyway, I think the time has come. I think I've rambled enough. Let's just enjoy this festival of nightmarish abominations. I will put timestamps in the description of this video after the premiere finishes airing so that future viewers can skip around as desired, as you very likely will. And in no particular order, here we go. Nah. Everyone, say something one at a time. Connor, you go first. Connor. Kate. Ah. Uh... Schmilly. Brilliant. And Eternal. Something. 
Got him. All right. We're... Ahem. All right. Hey, everybody. Nga here, joined with Connor Quimby, Eternal, Shamili Langs, and Kate the Pan Plate. The yeah. time has come. We are going to be going through every single one of the submissions for the Cursed Conlang Circus. Now, this is probably going to be split off into two sections and uh, into two separate occasions because there's a lot of submissions. So who knows if we'll have the exact same cast at the next meetup. It might be different. Um, Shmili probably won't be able to be here the entire time and thus will be observing and commenting with us, but not casting any points. Since not everyone was able to submit audio clips, we'll still be giving them points, but we will have to dock them points from that segment by 50%, because hearing me pronounce the um, the dialogue is a prize for winning. I'm not going to do that for all 43 of these, or I'll never be able to speak again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, tragic, I, mean, I know. I was about to oh. say I would, have, I would have awarded extra points to those who didn't send a recording just so Agma had to actually pronounce it. So, <laughs> no. Question, administrative question. Yes. You said 50% just now, but on the spreadsheet it says half points. Are we doing 50% or maximum of 50 points? Let's, uh, let, let's call it a maximum of 50 all right, so I have put all of these submissions into a random number generator. Every response, all 43 of them, have been written down on this document that I have here, and I'll just be opening up those links, and we'll get to the submissions one at a time in no particular order. However, our first, uh, our, our first one right here, number 15, just so happens to be the submission of the great Daniel Swanson. Yeah. Looks like it was a bit of a group effort too. Looks like we also have Matthew Fort and Kai Owens on here. So it's called that. And it's got a lot of interesting symbols in there. <laughs> Where we're gonna Is learn we're gonna learn what that means. Hmm. That's a Greek eta, the second to last one. Yes, it is. What? Yep. <laughs> yes. This is a language where things are out of place. Phonotactic syntax and phonology are in the are in the phoneme inventory. Oh God, music oh no. is in the tone. What? Physics is in the syntax. Numerology is in the morphology. Phonology <laughs> is in the semantics. There's a half-hearted random number generator in loanword phonology. In short, everything is a mess. And even we, its creators, curse it as we attempt to slog through the application of our own rules. Oh god. This is, this is disturbing. So phonemes, all abstract symbols, of course, are ordered vertically by increasing sonority. Horizontal order roughly follows cross-linguistic frequency, but is primarily intended to indicate which segments are treated as natural classes by the various phonological processes and the derivational morphology of the language. Numbers in parentheses indicate the numerological values of oh, the segment. No. Nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm already confused. You know. <laughs> I think let's, that's let's, I think that's the point. <laughs> the silver lining here is at least all of these are like real numbers. At least we don't have any imaginary numbers here. That's like a start. That, that's because that we is do a have solid negative start. numbers. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we also don't have fractions unless division. Well, we got 9.7. So we got 9.7. Oh, we do. So. <laughs> oh. So we have phonotactic constraints, dative word order, nominal <laughs> word order, collapse, collapse, <laughs> sentential <laughs> word <laughs> order, and voiceless consonants. Oh God. Okay. Voice consonants? Excuse me? <laughs> all of those are vowels. In case you don't know the Greek alphabet, all those they Greek are. letters are also vowels. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> the typical phonetic realizations of the segments listed above is as follows. <laughs> oh, oh, God. It's CVCV. No. What? <laughs> what? It is. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh no. Oh, every no. every single one of these phonemes realizes is this massive phonetic. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. And then just the, the fucking whatever this Greek symbol is just turns. That's an omega. Uh, the omega just t takes 
any consonant to voiceless when between two vowels. <laughs> no. Oh no. My my favorite part is the null set and back vowel thrown in there. <laughs> God. Hold on. This, what this does is, it say? Hold on. You, you, you start Omega? with putting pangolin hats in a language, and this is what you make. That's okay, right. Okay, hold on. Very slow. Say? Omega patterns with voiceless consonant inventories, but when it's present in a word, it has no realization of its own, and instead causes all intervocalic surface segments to devoice. Oh, no. Okay. Thus, for example, this is indistinguishable in pronunciation from this. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> Wait, I, I, the ash is a voice. Is, is that... The ash is Badagama right? Nalara. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Are these just laughing? I don't know. The... Like, look at the one for the U. The ha 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 ha
Which what is that? Omicron. That's a capital Omega. That's okay. a capital Omega. Oh God! If capital Omega is pr predominant, it should be assumed that the Whoa. utterance contains too much information. So we have. Is is this phonemic pragmatics? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Geez. Yeah. Okay. God. Then on to the morphology. So lost. I know. This is insane. The. Is I think we're gonna need three sessions. <laughs> no, we're gonna have to like take a break to recover from this. No, we're I think, gonna after need forty-three, one. one for each. Of yeah, them. honestly, this is <laughs> this is wild. The, the... Oh God. So morphology: the overall order of morphemes in this is object, indirect, object, manner, mood, voice, root, subject. Oh, in no. what follows, singular number indicates exactly one of something, while plural is more than one, and anti-plural is less oh. than one. Either That's fractional beautiful. or negative. Anti-plural? Genius. All words. This seems like something I would make. I love it. This is this is insane. Yeah. Wow. So all words are either predicate verbs or relative clauses with the subject as the head. There is no morphological distinction between these two cases. Wait, 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 wait. What? Cases. Oh, hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. It's either the one or the other, but there's no distinction between the two. Yeah. Yeah. Case right. in that sense. Yeah. That's that's brilliant. Oh no. So object agreement has these prefixes going with them for, for, for singular, plural, or anti-plural. And then indirect <laughs> object plural. agreement is the same way. If a this one doesn't yeah. have a dash on it, so I don't know whether it's a prefix or just a separate word, just to be edgy. Uh, but there's a few of them like that. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Oh god. Then we have manner. Manner prefixes are an open class and thus are listed in the lexicon oh, as no. adverbs. Oh no! <laughs> If a, Man if, is no, oh god. If a verb is listed as a, as mystical, then it exhibits a numerology agreement, meaning that it mandatorily takes a mystical adverb for each of its overt arguments. These are listed in the lexicon as mystical adverbs. Oh god. My brain is broken. Mood. Subjunctive. Subjunctive is the default? Subjunctive is the default? What? Subjunctive. Subjunctive for indicative. <laughs> language like this. Do you really want to be talking about reality? <laughs> this is, this is, this surpasses. This is beautiful. I mean, so, you do have a point. This is this also a the superjunctive. <laughs> What is the superjunctive? It doesn't even explain. Oh, wait, 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 yes, it does. Yes, it does. It does. It will. Injunctive and disjunctive. Okay, okay. Oh god. The subjunctive. So. Jesus Christ. The subjunctive mood indicates uncertainty or possibility. Superjunctive, on the other hand, indicates that the speaker emphatically believes something. <laughs> if two clauses are placed in the disjunctive, there is a oh, stated God. disjunction between them. Oh my God. One is true, and it is implied to be exclusive. Oh, is that is how false. you do and and all? Oh, God. Because oh, disjunction yeah. in logic is all. <laughs> also, injunctive is like a mood that appears only in like Sanskrit, I think. Yeah. And it's barely even understood or something like that. It's insanity. Like, it's a weird thing. All right, all right. Voice and polarity. Voice changing prefixes reassign the functions of subject, object, and indirect object. Rather than attempt to assign all of them names as we as would be used in typical grammatical descriptions, we list them according to how they remap those three agreements. Oh no. Oh no. So we have to like what? figure out what's like passive or something. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> They're all just more prefixes. Oh no! <laughs> and don't forget the subject agreement afterwards. No oh, subject. <laughs> no subject. No subject. <laughs> subject agreement for, every, every, for no I subject. Guess, I which guess works this... because everything is a relative clause or like other type of verb oh, phrase. God. So I guess this language has a really natural way of expressing it rains without having to use any expletives or something. Oh god. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Daniel, what why? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna cry. 
<laughs> Ordering within blank depends on the polarity of affixes within words. That is, affixes oh. contain an individual polarity, either north, south, west, east, or west null. East. What is nor what is null? <laughs> the, this polarity no, nothing. affect this this the polarity of affixes does not affect the order of affixes within a word itself as the order of affixes is outlined in the morphology. However, the ordering of words within a sentence will vary depending on the polarities within words. That is, that blank cannot be labeled with any formal ordering, as it can adopt multiple orderings based on its affix polarities. For every oh, word, dear. we understand it is comprised of five affixes, excluding manner. These affixes each have the polarity of north, south, east, west, or null, meaning that there are 3,125 possible polarities a word may have. <laughs> what? <laughs> Within a word, the most often occurring polarity is known as the major pole, with the least occurring polarity known as the minor pole. The major pole dictates where a word will generally be, whereas the minor pole dictates how low Local adjustments will be made. The location of a major pole in a word is determined by the average location of the individual polarities with make, which make up the major pole. Likewise, the location of the minor pole is found this way as well. Words may have multiple minor poles, but never have multiple major poles. If a word does not have a major pole, for example, north, north, east, east, south, <laughs> the location of the word will depend on other words' major poles. Major oh, poles attract I and- think I, uh, I think- <laughs> I think we've already lost someone. I think they've had enough. It's just couldn't really couldn't anymore. handle it. Really couldn't handle it. Really had to go. Also, uh, one thing, because, because you know the program, and I know Daniel Swanson is, null means nothing, typically. It's used yeah. in, in many program languages to simply represent nothing. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. You were wondering. All right, we're on to the last paragraph of this, I think. Oh, two more. So. Oh, that, look at the scroll bar, Agma. We're not done yet. Uh, we're not done. The major I think we need to be careful about reading everything. I know. I know. We'll. But this is just so in depth. I feel like this we is. have to. It's like the only yeah. way. <clears throat> So the major pull pairs, north, south, east, west, attract, and words will first want to align themselves such that major poles are as close as possible. In addition, the major poles, north, north, south, south, west, west, east, east, repel, and these pairs attempt to be as far away as possible. Poles on oh, opposite God. axes, southwest, northeast, do not interact with each other. In the case where an optimal arrangement for major poles alone does not exist, finding optimal arrangements between minor Minor poles for those words which cannot be placed into the optimal major pole system works as a substitute. I don't even know what I just read there anymore. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think we're describing magnets now. Yeah. Not, not, so. I just came back after hearing the phonology and now I'm hearing like word to vec or something. Uh, yeah. At least he didn't put in like vectors or something. Not yeah, yet. That's basically so don't what jinx it is, us. I mean, yeah, no. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> to assign polarities to affixes, begin by looking at the morphological tables for agreement. Beginning with the first column, first row, moving along each row, the first entry will be that polarity whose, char whose first character is closest in the English alphabet to the name of the agreement type <laughs> proceeding clockwise. With polarity directions, north to east to south to west to north, etc., that is, subject agreement will proceed southwest northeast south Jesus Christ ah uh, ah uh, oh no then loan words I'm so confused I know I no. know <laughs> I'm loan dying words. words and names borrowed from languages that use versions of the Latin script map each letter in the written form to the most similar symbol listed in the phoneme inventory above. The root's oh, no. tone pattern is then determined by assigning to the first vowel the tone corresponding to the integer nearest its numerological value, modulo 16. <laughs> Each subsequent value is assigned the tone Why? of the previous Why? vowel times oh. 23 modulo 16. Oh god, we've got modular arithmetic in here now. Thus, thus for example, the name Ahmashwa 
would become that, but it's definitely not pronounced how it looks. Yeah. The, fir- the first hash would have the twelfth tone. The second would have twelve times twenty-three modulus sixteen equals fourth tone. The third would have four times twenty-three to the twelfth tone, and the fourth would have the fourth again. This gives us the final root. You have to sing every vowel. <laughs> Oh no! And so right, there's yeah. there's some there's is that oh, the no. entire list? Oh no! Mode? Look at those words! Look at those words! Look at Stop! Those words. <laughs> Meaning continue. Right. Film a video. Zam. Glug. What? Duh. Be confused. What are these? Zam. This is something Zam. I would do. The description Stop. of the first. Stop. Read the mystical. Script. Wait, wait, Agma, Agma. Wait, read the first one. B. Angma schwa as perceived by an annoyed internet commenter. <laughs> it's a verb. It's a verb. It's a verb. <laughs> Everything is a verb or adverb. Though. Okay, that is true, but still. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. Okay, okay. The example text, right? So, there, there it is. That's the normal text. The, here's the glossed translation. Magnetism! This... <laughs> Surface word. Orders for each sentence are given cry. afterwards. The slashes and glosses indicate the result of the number disagreement. For example, third singular plural indicates third person agreement that would have been singular, but has surfaced as plural instead, since the verb is argumentative. Oh no. And so this is the gloss for what we're about to hear. Um. And <laughs> there's the surface word what? order right there. Why <laughs> is there no symbol in the magnetism? <laughs> that's the null. That's the null pole. Yeah, that's the null magnetism. When something's just oh not my God. magnetic, like a block of wood. Are you ready to listen yeah. to it? Oh, God. Are we listening yes. to the whole thing? Uh, I want to listen to it. Probably, but... probably not the whole thing. Hopefully you can hear my ha, audio. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Manala Rahwaya Tahlang Sak Manala Rahwaya Oi Ah Manala Rahwaya Pop Bat Sak Bat Sak Long Da Pop Bat Bat Sak Nice. Oi. It's, awesome. it's nowhere near over, but I don't know. Ma- oh, it's gonna go on for a long time. <laughs> I wonder. What you would... One thing I wish I, this I, had I, was like I can a do mech- that if you if you'd like. Oh, well, what, Connor? I wish this language had like a mechanism that would show how the speakers of it would like actually do it, like because it's obviously like such on a higher plane of complexity. Like um, <laughs> as we'll see later. Um, for example, some languages might have multiple biblically accurate angels um, <laughs> working with the language, which which is a good of course, explanation. Of course, and like yes, this yeah. is something else. But who speaks this? How do they speak it? <laughs> well, what know, the hell is course. this? There's not not enough world building. This is like the, not, this yeah. is like the language of like the celestial from like Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> we could just yeah. like sit there for oh, all yeah. eternity. And, and like <laughs> if if we just got like an explanation of the way this works is a uh, supreme deity. That's all the explanation. You know what? Yeah. But now I'm just conf- I'm like I'm I'm begging for more. Like Daniel, how? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think I'm ready to put in my scores. I don't know about you. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> yes, but you ha- if mm. you can make something that's confusing as all hell and still makes sense, that's good. <laughs> Eighty nine point three seven. I mean, <laughs> technology could have been more cursed. Let's be honest. Yeah. yeah. You you can keep on putting in your scores, but we're moving on to the next one. Our next one is submission number twenty two. Let's see. 
So this is from this is from Benny, Benny Malberg, Agma Schwab. Let me zoom in. A little. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Which of course has nothing at all to do with you speaking to me. It's just totally the language of a fictional people and translates very boringly to people's language. And you only use the Agma and Schwa as well as the sounds <laughs> in the words Agma and Schwa. So it has just five consonants and two vowels, counting W as a consonant here because it's used as one. But it makes up for these few sounds by having needlessly complicated grammar. When I say needlessly, I mean it. Honestly, I don't need a quarter of this stuff, not nearly, to translate the comment. And I spent so much time on the grammar that I don't have time to translate the whole comment. But alas, the goal of this language and the main joke is twofold. First, obviously, that it uses only the sounds in your channel name. And second, that the grammar was meant to reflect the, the mistake new conlangers often make, myself included, which is to pile on grammatical forms and give everything a suffix. I don't know how often a hypothetical native speaker would use the dubitative conditional or distinguish between the potential and hypothetical <laughs> mood, but they exist nonetheless. No. That doesn't oh, mean I just made up a bunch of suffixes, though. I derived everything from actual words in the language and involved it a little. So, <clears throat> so it would be somewhat nat naturalistic-ish. In practice, this language probably wouldn't work because everything sounds very much the same, especially with the two <laughs> vowel sounds. <laughs> so you have Agba Schwa, but Schwa is could've obviously could've... represented with S-C-H. They could have added one more naturally. vowel. By the pronunciation Agma Schwa. That potentially, yeah. But we're not we're not thinking about yeah. that. <clears throat> so our basic word order is OVS, object before noun, noun before adjective, noun before postposition, possessi before possessor. Nouns. There are five noun declensions, but because you said short explanation in the grammar, I only picked one. Oh god. <laughs> I chose the third declension because it has infixes and I like them. The fourth has infixes as well. All the others have mostly suffixes. Here's the third declen. Oh no! It keeps going! <laughs> it's terrible! Oh my god! Wait, hold on. Oh, duel. Look at the committative duel. Committative, committative duel. Swang. Wow. Committative duel. <laughs> Swang. Um, wait, wait, wait. Agma sh... Ag sh... Ag schwangum? Ag schwangum. Ag schwangum. Ag The infixes. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's such a long <laughs> list. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Look at the prolative <laughs> plural. Pro where is that? What? Um, on the other p the page above you. Uh huh. The... Oh, prolative plural. Agshungamwa. 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 Oh god, the, the elective is agmashwa. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Agmunch. Uh, <laughs> the elative, not not. Oh, allative. not allative. Elative, of course. It's it's agmashwa. <laughs> wow, agmashwa. Whoa, <laughs> coincidental. <laughs> All right, so now adjectives follow the same declensions as nouns and agree with their nouns. Comparison: the suffix is added before the declension. We have. So we have positive, comparative, superlative, and excessive. Oh god, this is so pretty, prettier, the prettiest, and too pretty. <laughs> and I like how moi is pretty. Like, moi. Yeah. Alright, verbs. While the noun declensions are mostly fusional, the verb conjugations are more agglutinative. Affixes are added in the following order. Tense aspect mood voice person negation. For example, in Shkanga, which means to read, oh no. is I've been told that you were going to start reading, but I doubt that's true. Wow. Oh, God. oh, oh man. God. <laughs> Then we for our non-finite verbs we have nga nga and wog. Okay, so infinitive, present participle, past participle, and gerund. Okay, okay, pretty solid. And then tense we have past oh, okay. in the past. What? Oh, no. Past future in the past. 
present, future, and past in the future. Followed by the simple aspect, perfective, imperfective, habitual, progressive, continuous. Followed by the indicative mood, subjunctive, (laughs) conditional, optative, Uh. potential, presumptive. And then there's the combined Combined moods, the optative subjunctive, the optative conditional, the potential subjunctive. There are two rows. There's hypothetical, renarrative. Oh no! Wait, what? Oh no! Look at the the moods table. Like the. Oh no! You're right. (laughs) Oh god. There's also hypothetical mood, re-narrative mood, dubitative mood, inferential mood, jussive mood, and imperative mood. Oh, no. So then we have the combined moods. Optative the subjunctive, mood optative condu- conditional, potential subjunctive, potential conditional, presumptive subjunctive, presumptive conditional, inferential subjunctive, and inferential conditional. Followed by hypothetical subjunctive, <laughs> hypothetical <laughs> conditional, <laughs> re-narrative <laughs> subjunctive, re-narrative conditional, just of subjunctive, just of conditional, dubitative subjunctive, and dubitative conditional. Wait. Wait. What do you mean, hypothetical subjunctive? <laughs> Hold on. He'd arrive if he went there, which he probably didn't. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> of course. And then our voices, active voice. as default, passive, and then causative. Causative, of course. Of course. <clears throat> and then there's our person endings. <laughs> After all of that. Listen. I feel like they missed out on adding more voice. <clears throat> You know, yeah, but it's it's just ones that we're going to be used. Yeah, yeah. All right, so here's our word list. Okay, so there's all the words for it, and then there's the translation. Let's listen to the translation. That was fluent. That was a beautiful. <laughs> that oh was God. pretty good. That was, wow. was the best thing. thing bloody amazing. The, the best <laughs> thing is that again. After, all, after all of this, <laughs> after all of this grammatical nonsense, it actually sounds like a real language. Yeah. 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 All right, our next submission is number 38, which is... <laughs> okay, so here here it is. Rated for Na Khan Lang Jam, Robin Hood, the third worst language ever to exist. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer, this language is a joke, and the process of speaking it is highly illegal. Do not, <laughs> under any circumstances, try to use it. Trust me. It's no. But of course, just, just telling you that it's illegal is not illegal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this slideshow contains complete grammar and language structure. If that's not what you're here for, here's some quick links. Do so I recommend viewing the entire thing if you want context? Oh shit! Oh no, robology. Uh, <laughs> wait a second. No. No, no, no. We'll get them when we get there. We'll, we'll, we'll get to it. In order. We'll get to it. Robin Hood, aka Robin Hood, <laughs> is an international auxiliary language designed to unite approximately five people. <laughs> While in most languages you communicate with your mouth, writing, or signing, in Robin Hood you committing. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the Oklahoma City. Okay, yeah, that's why it's highly illegal. That's why it's highly illegal. This is why, this is, all, this is one of two languages that make me have to make a disclaimer at the beginning of this video. There's another one. <laughs> <laughs> you communicate. Like you have various houses in Oklahoma. City. By the info your crime spree is released, your conversation partner in crime will be able to understand your intended meaning. Bring to some art houses to communicate. Next slide. People meet. Wow. 
my god, this is cheese. I can't read this without laughing. Oh. They need incentives to learn an IAL, so they should somehow make money doing this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Go, I believe in you. <laughs> Most IALs don't work because people don't go to other countries with me. By forcing speakers to go to Oklahoma City, nations can unite much quicker. Naturally, forming languages are almost fairly irregular. Therefore, an IAL with extremely irregular grammar will be the easiest one. Okay. Learning how to pronounce new phonemes can be difficult, but learning to steal is easier. <laughs> Robology. Robology. Robin Hood has four items you can steal. Money. Valuables. Cups. Don't steal anything. Break in and place a dog inside the house. <laughs> All right. This is lovely. Come on. All right. Where to steal? The language also has four or five, depending on how you count, areas you can steal in, which will be covered in the grammar section. You can rob rich and poor houses, which is used for the meaning of verbs and grammatical gender of nouns. The last digit of the robbed house's address also carries grammatical information. <laughs> for it. Extra stuff. There are a few, why is there one piece? <laughs> <laughs> they are stealing from an apartment and or motel instead of a house, toilet papering the property, graffitiing the Wendy's logo on the building, <laughs> taking an electric screwdriver and tucking it, <laughs> writing wow. a strongly worded letter in Tokipona and leaving it in the building. That's amazing. <laughs> this is very funny. How will I oh know I'm... Oh... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Unfortunately, non-language non related robberies occur all of the time. Luckily, there are several ways to signal that a burglary is taking part of a Robin Hood conversation. First criteria. All Robin Hood burglaries must happen at night. All Robin Hood burglaries must happen within Oklahoma City. <laughs> you must leave a martini glass filled with maple syrup inside the house as you rob. <laughs> you may leave a Peter Pan hat within the house as you rob. You may scratch your initials into the walls of the houses with a fencing sword. You may write the cards are in your E6 court on the walls of the houses and leave a deck of cards in every one. Oh. <laughs> your cards. Oh my god. Oh, this is good. <clears throat> the grammar. grammar. Oh. Oh. Feel oh, free to God. just skim through it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the function of a word in Robin Hood is determined by its location within Oklahoma City. The subject is determined in the northwest, object in the northeast, verb in the southeast. The remaining space to the southwest and far west is for particles that affect the meaning of the entire sentence. The capital building is used to end sentences. It is occasionally used for interjections. It is almost entirely free word order, with a few exceptions, mostly the clause ending particle, C sharp, and a few particles that go after it. If you have multiple subjects, objects, or verbs, you don't need words like like and or or. Simply rob multiple houses in the same zone. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Orthography. <laughs> All right, because of the free word order, the writing system is very simple. Simply list every building robbed in order using this key. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's everything yeah. that was covered earlier. But oh, yeah, it looks like right. chess. <laughs> and there, there's right. the example yeah. sentences. Yeah. Well, I'm just going. To, I'm just going to. You can you can pause and read these. I'm going to read the example sentences. Nerg nine sharp and percent. Southwest PM two. Sir to ampersand. Cirque 2, Northwest Room 1, C sharp. Equals, I hate Robin Hood. <laughs> Swarm 0, Nwapim 0, Neb 6, C sharp. Equals, I am a weirdo. Beautiful. Locational tense. Oh no. I need a job with my life. Um, <laughs> verbs are not conjugated for when they happen. But sentences are marked with particles corresponding to where the subject is, slash was, slash will be when the sentence occurs. I'm pretty sure this is called locational conjunction, right? I, b I believe so. You can even have multiple locational tenses. You absolutely must have one, though. Oh, so left of the speaker, right of the speaker, inside of the body, inside of a house, on the streets. <laughs> oh, no. Grammatical gender. Oh. Pronouns have three grammatical genders. All other nouns have two. For, for pronouns, they are rich, poor, and broke. I identify as broke. For other <laughs> nouns, they are rich and poor. There are special gendered forms of pronouns. For other nouns, just rob rich and poor houses to get the corresponding gender. <laughs> Something's gender as a pronoun may be completely different from its gender as a noun. If that sounds confusing, don't worry too much. 
as grammatical gender in Robin Hood isn't as important for proper communication as in some other languages. <laughs> oh no. Oh. What All right. even? Okay. Oh um, god. Next slide. <laughs> yeah, wow. I think you get the point. You can read that part. Jeez. Oh no. You can pause and read. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, you were grammatically re grammatically required oh, to engage in a Robin Hood duel. <laughs> oh no. All right. Oh shit. What? Oh. What? Oh. 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 <laughs> There's oh. the Robin Hood duel. <laughs> Do any. <laughs> Draw your fencing swords. Fight. Last person to surrender wins. Oh my god. The following segment showcases tips and tricks for winning a duel. Be careful out there. All right. Bringing a buddy. <laughs> for time purposes. <laughs> the the oh. salmon off. <laughs> Throw a peanut butter sandwich to distract your opponent. This tactic is near unbeatable if the sandwich is good. Oh my god. Oh god. The dancing <laughs> Jimmy is a Colonel, you've got some feedback, by the way. <laughs> oh god. Oh, all right. Jesus as stated before, pronouns have three genders as well. It's two, two persons, resulting in a sweet linguistic six pack. I've got one of those. Mm. <laughs> pronouns in Robin Hood do not conjugate for traditional grammatical person. Instead, they conjugate for the order in which the person slash objects were first mentioned in speech. First person in Robin Hood is used for anyone participating in the conversation, not just the speaker. <laughs> oh my. Oh no. What? After the fourth noun brought up in a conversation, all additional nouns share a pronoun and must be inferred from context. <laughs> These are all crimes, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, all digits from zero to four. What, <laughs> what the heck is the YouTube link? <laughs> what does the link go to? Is there like a wait, 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 wait. Robin Hood, no read that paragraph. <laughs> The right Robin one. Hood numbers are simple. Robin Hood numerals are base 42. <laughs> However, the base decreases by one every time a multiple 42 is hit. <laughs> Most Robin Hood speakers cannot comprehend or speak of numbers greater than 903. <laughs> what, it, what is the YouTube link? It's, it's, it's just it's 30. 30. It's, it's the 30. song <laughs> called 30. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, okay, fair enough. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh my Alright, we're almost there. Too. We're almost there. Infinity. Infinity. Hold on, what's that? Inf infinity. Yeah, infinity. <laughs> that's the largest number. <laughs> and then loan words, of course. Loan words. Agmashwa is that. Agmashwa. <laughs> As an example, uh, Agmashwa would be Northwest Path 9, I don't know how I'm supposed to nouns, representing the subject zone, rich gender by default. <laughs> so All we have right. the Robin Hood language, determiners, uh, pe person pronoun, night, which is essentially a day, uh, <laughs> Robin, the cultural equivalent, which makes sense, the Robin people. There um, you go. Love, kindness, creative work, reason, why. One who is disgusted, a weirdo, trickster, who wear interrogative programs. Wonderful. Beautiful. And all then there's the verbs. verbs. The, these are all just what goes into the into the translation. Is. And these are all crimes. Oh. <laughs> yes, every single one of these is a crime. Yeah. So is this language. <laughs> they all are. And there, there are, are no... <laughs> <laughs> Example text. So there, okay. there it is. As we know. And so <laughs> that's a lot of crime. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot of crime. That's a lot of crime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the note on the bottom. Look at the note on the bottom. Beautiful romanization, right? And my favorite part about this yes. is this might be one of our only signed languages. Yeah, really. This is a sign language. Oh, no. <laughs> this oh, is yeah, it is. A sign it language. is technically a sign language. <laughs> and there's there's the gloss oh. of it. Oh my god. But th there's a video at the end of this, and I think it it, it's, it sums it all up pretty well. You ready? Oh, you no. ready for this? <laughs> that oh, yeah. is a number two. Hold on, if you look at this house, it's hard to see, but I'd say it's on the rich side, so oh, I think come on, we got go our back. house. Let's go back. Let's go back. We have to get in. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so we are currently. Mm -hmm in like the the set the the southeast of oklahoma city um i think i think that's that's right 
And, um, yeah, yeah, that's totally where we are right now. And we are breaking in to, um, make the word for no. Okay, guys, so we've experienced our first issue. There's a door here. But luckily, luckily I have an apple, so, so you know how it's gonna go. Okay, three, two, one. So I got my Robin Hood bag yeah, here. What we're going to be stealing first is actually, um, cups. All right, our next submission is number 16. Number 16 from the Hufflepuffs. Let's see. Number 16. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh. Dear. Oh, God. Dear, okay, does someone else want to read this one? Shmilly, you want to read it? Or Kate, you want to read it? Yeah, sure. All right. I'll read it. <laughs> or Shmilly can read it. <laughs> Shmilly, you go first. All right. Dear Moshore. Mr. Dear Sir Agma Schwa, I humbly present to you, whatever that says, <laughs> or Hellang, the language of demons and cursed things everywhere. Oh. This is the language of waifus, of onion worshippers, of Arnold Schwarzenegger, of the flying spaghetti monster, and of all things holy and good. <laughs> this language was discovered by the phenomenal linguist Danny Everest in a mysterious Amazonian community, after which he was driven insane but through his study of the language. The documentation was hidden by the CIA and classified as highly dangerous before being leaked to the public by a mysterious informer known only as the <laughs> Fly. I believe it is time to reveal this knowledge to the world in my ultimate scheme to create world peace <laughs> under, the pe <laughs> under the peaceful role of the Onion Ward. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> the Sky Daddy. <laughs> That's yes. pretty much what it looks like. <laughs> oh. So, let us begin. <laughs> the phonology. Uh, unfortunately, there's not enough room to fit the entire phonology of Helling into a single email document. Oh, God. But a brief summary. <laughs> there are well over 100 consonants and around 20 vowels. Most of these phonemes are found in at least one natural language. Citation needed. With a few <laughs> exceptions. The by... <laughs> Oh, the bi-manual no. series, including the bi-manual stop a clap, the voiced bi-manual trill <laughs> applause. <laughs> was it voiced? Um, the voiceless bi-manual like, trill. You're yeah, you're, you're supposed to be cheering. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I see. Yeah, the baby. Sarcastic applause, which is voiceless, of course, <laughs> and the bi-manual fricative, which is rubbing hands. I guess. Um. <laughs> The explosive series, including a bilabial <laughs> explosive, <laughs> a dental explosive, and so on. What are... The normal pre-nasal, post-nasal clicks. Oh, good. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, got, you, got a, you got yourself a big old, big old phonology there. Mm. <laughs> Look at the emojis. Oh, no. Lingual tracheal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. What tracheal? Lingual tracheal, instead of what? a lingual labial, that's the tongue going into the trachea. <laughs> <laughs> Must oh be made God. for at least one minute more than the world record for the longest you, time holding breath. I would have to hear someone, someone try to speak this. Oh God! They would die as soon as they got to the lingual trachea. <laughs> I think it's just not possible. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, there we go. There's that. Okay. Cool. Oh, oh no. Due oh, to the yeah. inherently, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> due to due to the inherently un inherently flexible nature of the minds of Hellang speakers, the linguistically real relative societal <laughs> ritualistic constructs of their culture lead to the language having no recognizable ph photo tactics. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's a highly agglutinative language. Two gender categories, human and dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Word order of the S. After the verb, every sentence Wait. must include a particle. Why is human and dancer linked? What is it linked to? <laughs> Good question. What is this? The killer's human. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Um, a sentence must include a particle indicating how horny the subject of the sentence is. 
And another one oh, explaining yeah. how much the horniness has changed in the past hour. <laughs> <laughs> No. All right, go on. Oh. Um, oh. Verbs uh, inflect for mood and tense. The two tenses are before the <laughs> <laughs> before the Fire Nation attacked. I love this language so much now. And after the Fire Nation attacked, uh, <laughs> verbs agree with the gender right. of the noun. Oh no! Um, Crippingly depressed. Okay. <laughs> the skulls. And... <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Look at the ooh ooh on you the sick. <laughs> I made a YouTube series called How to Make an Awful Conling. Yeah. Many years ago. Yeah. And um, I feel like just within the hour that we've been recording this, my entire legacy has made, been made completely irrelevant. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you need to make a part two where it's covering how to make... A cursed conline. <laughs> oh wow! And right right um, to the point. There's the diatribe right there. Oh, uh, and then oh, oh. there's some yeah. basic grammar stuff. Yeah, here's some ba basic grammatical content and all. Mail, mail, <laughs> real mail. <laughs> <laughs> Too much, not enough yeah. number. That's good. <laughs> Who? How? Why? How did he die? Is that? It's just good. I, I just like realized it. I've been muted this entire time. I hate this much. Oh sometimes. my god. No. Oh, no. Average English gamer. <laughs> there's a there's, there's a gamer case. Some of them are in blue and some are in red. <laughs> gamer case. Oh no. <laughs> what does the color do? Yeah, it does is that is that mentioned up here? No, there, there hasn't been any mention. It's the just case. the it's just the apparently. Okay. You know, I just yeah. Gotta have super color. super mega superlative. The wow. term for zero is that. Oh, <laughs> it's God. a base zero numeral system. Uh, creating all all the numbers is of course impossible. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything Naturally. that appears to be real is an illusion. <laughs> It's good. Rendering the concept of things and by extension any multitude of things completely absurd. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh there's more. designed to put the other person on the spot. Yeah. And make them look stupid. Yeah. Why road locative a crosswalk before the Fire Nation attacked? Mediocre <laughs> chicken. <laughs> Question. <laughs> Oh also, something god. I said earlier, but I was muted. Oh, subordinate the clauses. Tenses, oh my god. If the tenses are before the Fire Nation attacked and after the Fire Nation attack, does that mean the tenses are non dictic Yes. Yeah. Just, <laughs> yes. There's, there, there's, it's a fixed point in history. <laughs> there's one moment in history, and it's I have, before or after. I feel <laughs> like this has. This is like trying so hard but it's trying so hard and it works yeah th this yeah. is this is working yeah, really yeah. well it is. literally because of the simple stuff like a fixed point in history real and yeah, reality is in construction this is good oh my god and the subordinate clauses are massive <laughs> and and a like pony based economy which is onion like <laughs> <laughs> like like, and there's very, so many very, other very, examples. Very, very this is an this is amazing on execution. We just need to hear it now. Yeah, I'm yeah. proud of this person. A poem, an original poem, and the, ba oh the Babel text too. Dang. Oh, <laughs> I see. Is that out. like the King James version, or because it has the <laughs> Wait, the, it has the yes, long ass? Yep. Yes. Can you, can you scroll up to the original poem for a second? In English, <laughs> look at it. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese like language coronavirus <laughs> cheerfully defends diphthongs. God laughs like a maniac before the Fire Nation attacks. Too many angry oboes drives to the moon. Many little girls in wreaths of flowers on their heads danced around the bonfire at the meaning of oh life God. is dead. The meaning of life is dead. <laughs> Oh. Meaning of life. Someone has seen Overlord, I see. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, that's beautiful. I need this, to hear the recording. All right, we need of this. to hear this. All right. This is damn good. A recording of someone speaking this text. What the heck? <laughs> what? Is it? is it just an explosion? God damn it. It's just do, a bomb. Do, oh do, do you have the actual one? God damn it. Is that that's it? A, that's a 50 per, that's a 50% reduction. Did you just did you just troll yourself out of 50 points? <laughs> oh, Not yeah. 50 points. A, like it's going to end up being like because of the average it's going to be a lot oh more. Oh god. Than that. God but damn if, it. If it's only half points, oh. that means at most 50% may be awarded. Oh my god. That's tragic, because yeah. oh. this is really good. That's I'm tragic. Out, unfortunately. God. I'm putting uh, 50 in for execution, yeah. It caps yeah. 50. And god. on 49.9999, because I need to. I need a decimal. We're on 97.5 in here. Yeah, 97. And this would have beat all the previous ones if it wasn't right, for the be disappearing. All right, number 36 is a YouTube video, so I guess we can just watch. Oh. Oh, let me open the actual thing, YouTube. There we go. No, yeah. Oh, this is 23.55. This is good. Hey, what... um, but have, have fun. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my language. This is my cool language. It's called... Uh, that's roughly how you'd pronounce it. I'm not, I'm not very good at speaking my own language here, though. It's by me. I'm Miles. Hi. Uh, the joke? Uh, I just want to make an annoying language that's technically functional. Be funny, bring a bit of humor to the table. And I'm going to accomplish that by uh, having a horrid writing system. Just really bad. And uh, it's almost impossible to use. It's, a, it's, a, it's, very, it's a very difficult language. So the phonology and stuff, um, the, it's a completely tonal language. There are no consonants and you can use any vowel, uh, but it, the language does require the ability to make multiple sounds at once, which uh, uh, humans can't do that. So here are the five tones, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, and E. Here's the written form, one represents C, two represents C sharp, and so on and so forth. These little uh, ditties here uh, help with some extra stuff, like, you know, this uh, up arrow, up an octave, underscore down an octave. Uh, the dash extends a tone, which means it covers twice as as much ground you save for twice as long. Commas mean that the following tone is pronounced at the exact same time as the uh, first one or the prior one. And periods separate words. The order of the numbers when written are from earliest to latest, lowest to highest. Yeah, here's an example. Uh, so these two are both the earliest, but this one is the lowest. So that is written first. It's the C uh, sharp tone, so it's written as two. Since this one goes uh, at the same time, there's a comma and it's the fourth tone so four and it extends for twice as long so you put a dash and then here we got the third tone there's three and this is a separate word a separate idea so period and then five five because it's the fifth tone so this phrase means to uh to gross out a language uh and if you take away the this which verbifies this which otherwise means gross it, you get the the name of the language, so it, it means gross language. <laughs> Proper nouns and loan words are represented as they uh, would be in English, so no change there. Uh, octave usage. The high octave is used to express various things, such as intention is a pretty used one, and by means of ability, order of words, uh, things like first, second, and next. A low octave. We're not going to worry about that. I didn't use it during translation of this paragraph. It's uh, optional. It's optional clarification of nouns. There's an exception to the octaves. The higher octave occasionally do not apply because you need them to form verbs, which I'm going to talk about next. And any noun becomes a verb by placing a higher tone on top of it. If the higher tone that you're placing on top of it is a uh, one higher, it's a negative form. And if it's two higher, it's positive. So this uh, two, it's, uh, it means sight, eye, vision, etc. And if you play that at the same time, as you see here with the comma, the third tone uh, right next to each other, it's to not watch. So it's a verb now and it's negative and then if you do the second higher tone so two higher from two it's positive so it's to watch the second tone extends as the first does and when there are multiple lower tones as well and there are no verb tenses 
I'm gonna explain it a little better with this image again. As I said, this is a verb. It goes off of the first bass tone. Two higher than that is this guy here, so it's a positive verb. So it means to gross out and not to not gross out, since there are these two guys here that form the word gross. The verb tone extends across both of them instead of just the first one. Now here are the sentences. I color-coded them to make it easier in this part. All of the verbs are in red. There's those again, and here's these, and here's how it would be written normally as a paragraph. And since it's easier for an instrument to pronounce this language than a person, I transcribed it onto piano. Agma schwa. There you have it. How humans can use this language. Because humans can't make more than one noise at once, I made some signs so people can actually use the language. It is possible to use. You verbalize the bass tones uh, and add respective sign with dominant hand. You hold up two while saying the bass tone. You make it a positive verb and then a one, it's a negative verb. Let's look at this guy here. He's saying uh, the second verb extended, which means knowledge. He's holding up a one with his dominant hand. So it's a negative verb and he's holding up two with his other hand in the air so it's the upper octave and that means with intention so i don't uh want to know is what he's saying right there here i made a little video of me speaking in this way with the hand signs uh, 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 uh. A sign language form because there are five tones and uh, each hand has five digits. It's possible right. to use this language exclusively as a sign language, but I haven't finished making the sign form yet, so it doesn't matter even. Uh, sorry if this sucks. Uh, it's an incomplete language, and there's a link to the word list in the description. That was really good. <laughs> Brilliant. Nice. I really like. What happened? Love uh, just plays the piano and then says Agba Schwa. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. It's, it's it's time to rank. This guy okay, this okay, one is okay. uh, this one was number thirty six, yeah. Yeah, it was okay. pretty good. I enjoyed it. <clears throat> Alright. The execution was, was pretty maybe. top notch. I I, I love the piano music. Good. I I am gonna yeah, give it a ninety five nice. for execution. Maybe that a ninety, yeah. Mm. Seven. What is number twenty seven? That is Pepsi Joe Pepsi, who might not have submitted audio. But we'll see on the actual email. Again. Jesus right. Christ! Oh no! It's another. It's, what is that? We have we have like a whole pantheon here. Like Babalingua's got God. Seraphim. We have the Hell Lang, and now we have the Language of the Gods. Yeah. All right, who's gonna read this one? <clears throat> All right, go for okay, it. Okay, we got this chaos, which means the language of the gods. All right. The joke. The language of the gods is so complicated and grammatically and phonologically that only the gods can understand them. What are these gods? No one knows, but they seem to be supernatural beings beyond human comprehension. This language is from the decipherment of unintelligible language across the ages and around the world. It is likely that what was oh. deciphered is only a portion of the true language of the gods. Oh god. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Here we have the phonology. Alright, 100 already. Oh no. There are 52 base consonants, 338 possible consonant sounds with secondary articulation. Oh. Only one can be applied to a consonant at a time. Not all consonants can accept, accept all secondary articulations. Pre-aspirated, aspirated, palatalized, virilized, blah blah blah. There's 67 blends with objectives, <laughs> implosives, so on. About 405 total consonant sounds. Oh god. Oh, and no. a few consonants are syllabic and will be marked with an underbar. Ooh. Match. Woo! Okay. Uh, this, this here's wait, phonology. Wait, that wait, goes. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, Hang wait, on wait. A second. Hey, hold on. It goes off the right. It goes oh, off the page. Oh, it goes significantly oh, off the page. Okay. Okay. Ma. Yeah. I will say this. Your tables are better, and that's, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, like... That's saying a lot, That's man. saying a lot, yeah. Oh my god. I love the cursed Jeez. blends, wow. though. <laughs> like... I also love how, if you scroll up again... Uh-huh. It goes pharyngeal, epiglottal, glottal, and then just sort of goes off 
the right <laughs> of the chat, and there's still more consonants. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's to the right of glottal? Oh god. There, there are ten vowels, four lengths. Um, there is nasal differentiation, of course. Obviously, we all know gods use nasality. Mm -hmm. Um, there are twelve tones and a neutral thirteenth tone, <laughs> based on those IPA pitch contours. Dear God, there's no. vowel harmony for those vowels. <laughs> um, they have can only happen if the preceding vowel is longer than the vowels being harmonized. Or if the tone of the preceding consonants is one of those. <laughs> um, there's front back harmony, and um, oh, no. uh, gets pulled toward oh. those if those sound <laughs> oh, are repeating no. another uh. <laughs> harmony is not hard, <laughs> and it's determined by the reader and writer. Oh my god. And there they are. <laughs> Honestly? Oh, yes. Pretty, pretty nice solid. Spell. Yeah, yeah. It's not half bad. This team was. Tame, right? Yeah, that, that that that's tame in comparison. It's a lot worse. The schwa harmony yeah. is is uh, <laughs> demented though. Yeah. That's yeah. True. Schwa harmony. The schwa, schwa harmony. Schwa harmony. Let's say that. The schwa harmony. <laughs> so it, it, the modern academic academic version of the orthography uses okay. is an alphabet. It has uh, several letters. For, it has letters for each sound. It blends letters from letters, and sometimes there are their own letters. You use subscripts and superscript to modify the sounds, and you length is marked by diacritics, and there are different modifiers that you can add to vowels, and the <laughs> order in which you add them is listed here. Oh, no. First phoneme oh, traits like voice nasalized, eroticized, next length, wait, next wait. tone. What do you mean voiced vowels? <laughs> well, <laughs> what does presumably that imply? in contrast to voiceless vowels. Yeah, 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 but yeah. still, what does that imply? Oh god. It implies that there are voiceless oh, no. vowels that we have. The tables about. are next. next oh, no. The oh, oh, oh no. Oh god. That, that goes beyond too. <laughs> Oh my god, what are- what even are these? <laughs> oh, these are the letters! Jeez! It's an alphabet, you need a letter for each what? sound. These symbols, they're like... They're, they're, some of the- oh, some of these symbols I've never seen before. What? God. Yeah. I see Greek, I see I Hebrew, I see like cuneiform yeah. with little H's on the side. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that that is that is a certified disturbing orthography right there. Oh yeah. All right, let's move forward. Well, now here we have the modifiers. <laughs> of course, <laughs> the freaking Russian oh, Cyrillic <laughs> for the different things for the vowels, <laughs> and of course Cyrillic for the different things for consonants. Double V like. Oh god, of course it's like all the Cyrillic letters that aren't used anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Tone marking. What does it mean to be double velar or double palatal? <laughs> <laughs> That's not for us mortals to know. And of course, a voiced consonant is represented by subscript H. <laughs> a oh, subscript god. breathy voiced H. Yeah. There are yeah. a yeah. lot of tones. That at least makes, that's the only thing that makes sense. Almost. <laughs> Oh my god, and then all the frickin' tones marked with all that yeah. superscript god. stuff. <laughs> okay. Superscripts? Oh, from original documents, obviously. <laughs> Based on Chinese findings. Orthography from original documents. Oh my god. Huh. Alright. Grammar, oh no. Okay. Oh no. Oh, oh, no. Okay. okay, okay, good start. <laughs> so we got tripartite <laughs> alignment. Naturally. Obviously, we got um, 19 cases, all with suffixes, 10 noun classes, God, and genders. Oh, wait. Does that mean that like there yeah. are 10 noun classes and 10 genders, or 10 noun, nine noun classes or one gender? Like, 
some other combination. I think too. gender just means noun class because it's not really yeah. a gender. Yeah. In the oh. literal sense, it's just a noun yeah. class. It's yeah, it's not term. grammatical uh, gender, I... but it's the noun class, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. It differentiates between nouns. One must be present for the noun to be valid. <laughs> Adjectives decline just like nouns and can be placed before or after nouns. Wow. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Does this and go beyond the page, too? Through the ending? Nope. No, no, no it doesn't. Beyond. Okay. Oh, it just looks it like it It just does. takes up exactly the whole page. Nice. That is <laughs> huge. The That's super plural. <laughs> super <laughs> plural. Over 50. <laughs> Specifically <laughs> above 57. Why is 57? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Formerly <laughs> animate. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately animate. <laughs> Unknown animacy. Oh my god. It's... I also love how it, of course, has all the essives, like inessive, subessive, superessive, yeah. antessive, postessive. Just like gum Oh yeah. Intuitive. <laughs> oh yeah. Possessive. Yeah. Passive possession. Oh god. Right. Yep. That's, that's really good. <laughs> Passive possession. All right. All right. Pronouns. Oh. We got <laughs> nah. Nah. and it's never nah. ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredibly rude. There's God. person the and count moment. prefixes, oh, and you add noun class suffixes to the prefixes to make the pronoun. Okay. And otherwise, they're the same as nouns. All right. All right. Of course. Of course. Okay. Some pretty classic stuff got in here. Past, <laughs> mm -hmm. present, future with temporal distance. Good, good. Mm -hmm. We got the completion of the verb. That makes sense. Yep. Seven uh, moods. <laughs> seven moods. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Gender suffixes. Verbalizer to turn nouns into verbs. This prefix. Adverbs conjugated the same as verbs. That makes mm. sense. Adverbs. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Adverbs conjugated <laughs> and the same as verbs. <laughs> what? What does that make sense? Excuse me. I realized that it makes sense right after I said that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also, with the nouns being treated the same, uh, they're declined the same as adjectives, um, and it they can be put on either side. You you would not be able to tell a hard toothbrush from a toothbrush hard thing. <laughs> okay, that that is a large chart. That's oh, no. oh my god. Oh my god, it's huge. <laughs> Just like I don't even know um, like the symbols in like most of this. I. Yeah, you would have to get a PhD in this language to be able to pronounce these. There's freaking, yeah. there's and to is, like, and, and, <laughs> and to know when to use them, like, when are you going to use the distant future semi-perfect habitual? <laughs> <laughs> the gods know. The gods know. Alright, sentence structure. Okay, that looks pretty basic. Oh, except... No conjunctions, declensions cover everything. What, what is anti-drop? Uh... Pronouns are not like, allowed yeah. to be dropped. They need to stay there every <laughs> everything Everything has to be hyper-specified. <laughs> I see, I see. And sample text. Do we have a recording? Audio recording in the folder. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Let, let's, let's listen to what the sample text is like. Good. Okay. Why, okay, are first why are there one. three of them? Um, uh, oh, one, per sentence. one per sentence, Agma. It was on the slide. You know what? Yeah, I gotta read. <laughs> All the, okay. And then. Okay, 
Okay, okay, and then... Alright. <laughs> well, there you go. Wow. Okay. Alright, so, there we go. Number five. From Paws Bread Dawn. Let's cords. Let, let's say. Jeez. Ah, it's in like code. <laughs> Bonsoir, my fellow monkeys. Is... Yeah, uh, it's done now. My calling is completed. It only took me until now. <laughs> I started this project in August. Don't ever ask me to make anything again, or I'll kill you, fat bit. Anyway, <laughs> so oh it features small amount of consonants, small amount of vowels. You get the picture. Um, <laughs> now you may be looking at that name and like, how the. F like, well, how do I pronounce that? That has got so many consonant clusters. There isn't even a vowel. It's like a couple of vowels. Is that a diphthong? No, that's not a diphthong. That's an overtone. I'll get to that later. <laughs> oh, no. So, how would you pronounce <laughs> oh, no. this? First, it's pronounced as a. Sorry, it makes it sound like I was having a stroke because I literally am. <laughs> um, yeah, I made that while I was having. No, I don't have strokes, but I made it made it look like I was. So I kind of wrote it down. I was like, "Damn, that's a good ass name. I should use that." Yeah. Anyways, moving on. <coughs> Sorry, I sound like shit. I just want to die already. So we got breath, aspirated, pre-aspirated. These are all the basic stuff. Now how I mentioned about the overtones, well here they are, there's two types. You got normal overtone, which is the long one, and then you got the short one, which uses an equal and percent sign to represent it. Yeah, I don't know either. You also got speed and loud and quiet and repeated. It's stupid, I just don't like it anymore. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much everything explains itself here. Every, this kind of helps you know how to read, but moving on from something that isn't as bad as that and um, it's this this what you're looking <laughs> oh, at no. no it's not a whole bunch of gibberish oh, well technically it is this is the numbers oh. all these are the numbers yeah one through 48 or zero <laughs> through 48 uh yeah base 48 my i forgot to mention that so <laughs> okay. um okay how do i say this um, there's zero <laughs> it's all of the Numbers are overtoned, so to tell different. So you got, um, and uh, which represent different numbers. One of them being P, and the other one being Q. Uh, it's confusing, but well, you, you'll get used to it after a while. Anyways, uh, there are no verbs. Verbs don't exist, they're for pussies. So, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, this gives you a great description of how to make things. If you read that, you should see um, plurals 1, plurals 2, and plurals 3. Let me exp there are three ways of specifying plurality, in where plural 2 is originally meant to be the original placeholder for plurals 3. Well, not plurals 3, for uh, verbs, but yeah, it's just kind of you know, gone to hell. So, not really important now, is it, huh? So, um, you may see age twice. One of them is to specify your age, and the other one is to specify that you are under the age of 18, which is right there, but you can barely read it. So, yeah, it's very great, and time represents only a couple of them. Um, you know, mostly, for example, M, P, Q, and 1, 9, and all that, right? Now, you may see um, this one. If it if the subject ends with a consonant in your native language, then add what appears to be, for some people who can't read it, or a lot of people who can't read it, is capital H, H pound sign, plus E, e uh, colon, capital B, zero T, E, bracket, L, or plus, uh, apostrophe, bracket, comma, Q, U, uh, strange little thing, uh, little up thing, G. It's a logical not sign. Okay. Which is pronounced as uh, Kind of better pronouncing it. But yeah. Oh the G is kind of separate from it. What the 
head. It's kind of it doesn't have the thing that makes it, you know, not that so eh. And it's kind of used at the end of it. And there technically are verbs, which is possessive, but that's not important because um, you know we still need to go through the objects, and there's um, quite a <laughs> bunch of those. These are the objects. <laughs> uh, so one thing that you didn't oh, see on the um, great script of consonants and vowels and tones are what? well, there are nulls. So if you don't know what a null is, uh, practically. Um, there are sounds that don't exist. Oh no. And it uses them. Like how how do I describe this? Like how musicians Phonemic use rest. Oh no. You know, where they have like the bar Jeez. and then a number representing how long they should not play for until they can play. Yeah, practically that but speaking. So great example of this is the word for armchair, which is it's just silence for like a couple of seconds. <laughs> now this goes on for a long time. <laughs> objects aren't the only thing that uses it. You wanna know what else uses it? The pronouns. Oh so God. the pronouns oh are how do I say this? The most cursed thing I've ever came up with. This had to take a whole bunch of time, effort and a whole bunch of fuck stupidity just to get me here. <laughs> so you know, so if like you can't quite read really it that well, that entire yeah. left bit of the column, yeah. <laughs> That, that right there, those are all silent things, and it keeps <laughs> on going on and on, because I couldn't, because it's just way much more stranger to have words that don't exist, and also you have to count how long you do it for, because if you fuck up once, you're fucked up for life, because you may have tried saying he, but yet you may have accidentally paused a bit too long, and you may have said we, specifying a group of people <laughs> with, uh, with more... We specifying a group of people without you. <laughs> oh you know, because God. we're clever. And it Jesus is just the worst thing out there. Oh, no. There are way, way too many of these pronouns. If you stop and think, well, why does it need so much pronouns? I don't know. Because <laughs> it's better and also more descriptive. But, listen. This may have a bunch of pronouns, but compare this to English with its little pronouns. Compare this to German. Compare this to Hungarian. This has the most pronouns. And these are just their cases. Think about how you want to say a normal sentence. You can't. Well, you can really, but it's more difficult and also really, really, really annoying. So, yeah, moving on. Um, yeah, this is the like, final bit of the pronouns, and this is just the entire Jesus pronoun Christ. system. There are some massive blanks in here, and it is just hell. Hell on earth. Why did I come up with this? I don't know. <laughs> really? And I kind of hope this wins. I put way too much time and effort into something that took a start in August and finished in November. I'm not good at maths, but if I started this on the 8th and it is the 11th, well, I think you know what that means. Yeah, okay. it, don't ever ask me to be a car okay. for a competition, I will procrastinate way too much, and I will do this on the exact day. I'm tired of life. Oh, See ya. Oh, adios, my amigos. Please kill me. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, I, I have to, I must depart. Alright, um, right. I don't want to be tempted by the you. next one. Alright, third but, 37 but, was split uh, into multiple different Reddit posts. Okay. So, let, let's, uh... Okay, let's take let's a look see. at this. Okay, oh, this is, so, I see. I see no name for it or anything, but it's a Curse Conlang submission. No, by, uh, by right. Pace Quirky. So, all ingressives, no vowels. That, <laughs> there's the phonology. Right. All, all ingressive <laughs> forms of all of this, apparently. Oh my god. Romanized as such. It's all in. <laughs> wait, wait, in. Okay, I guess ingressive clicks is a bit of that's, Yeah. They are ingressive already, so in that, 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 that actually works, but still. Ingressive. <laughs> like ingressive Africans. Oh what? god. Ingressive Africans. <laughs> oh ingressive tap. Is, is that a D voiced Powell lateral African? I, th I think so. Yeah. Yes, that, that is, is a voiceless. Palatal lateral Africans. Yep. What the hell? One hundred percent. Yeah, this gets this gets more disturbing the more you look at it. Oh god. 
All right, what else do we have? Oh, God, it's handwritten. Oh. Um, okay, so we have SVO Jeez. word order. We have the genders. We have liquid, common, neuter, animal, long, heavenly, oh. sweet, and good. The tenses are, oh, God, past imperfect, uh. past perfect, present, future. Ah, oh, God, what is this? Okay. Hold on, let me see. Oh, th this is a conjugation table of the genders compared to the tenses. Ah, I oh see. Oh, God. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> and they're um, not even, it's not even congruent either. Like, some of them, it blends over throughout all of them. Oh, that's my. good. That's good. All right. And then, um, can I get, like, a full screen view of that? There we go. Then we have, um, oh, so dependent clauses is the top part, or article? Wait, does that say article? I think it does. Yes. What? Okay, so I guess the articles <laughs> are conjugated. <laughs> okay, okay. Then we have indefinite articles, and then we have negative articles, which all have different conjugation systems Jeez. for them. Okay, okay, okay. Um, can I can I escape from this? Uh, please? Of course not. You have to go back to Reddit oh, oh and then God. go forward and full screen again, naturally. Okay, so then it looks like we have a few... Okay, okay. It looks like we have a few example words here, right? Of course. All, all ingressive. Remember, all of this is... You're breathing in. <laughs> you're breathing in while you're doing all of this, right? And God. it looks like a lot of this is what's going to end up going into the translation. <laughs> all right. Yep, so this, maybe this is the written form of the translation. It might right just here. be. It, I, I don't know what else it would be. I wouldn't but... be able to tell, honestly. <laughs> I, I really think, like, um, although absolutely, like, you can put tons of phonemes into, like, a language. But sticking with a stupid theme, like, everything being aggressive <laughs> and, like, working with that is honestly, in my opinion, so much better. Than just, it is. Like, having yeah. A it's having a theme with your phonemes is so much better than just it, shoving in cause it's, all the random ones. Yeah, it, it's like a strict constraint that just forces you mm. to torture yourself in a very particular way. Because also, that's more natural anyways. Yeah. Um, as we... So, yeah. All right, let's see. I think I think that the audio for the translation is what is next. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is worse than gum smack. This sounds like pure suffering. It's it doesn't. It can't even. It bears an, an. It just sounds like they're choking to death. It bears a very uncanny resemblance to some sort of weird mix of gum smack and Santa. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, the best way I can describe it. I, I think we've got the point, but that that is yeah, <laughs> that, that I is think we're good. Yeah. Be. Really um, good. Jeez, I love really? the technology thing. The, the, yeah, the, I think yeah. technology was really nice and artful. Yeah, the grammar was the grammar was good. It was a bit jumbly from what we had though. Yeah, and I'm I'm giving the execution a ninety right there. All right. Now we are on oh, to number know. 11. I must have put it into the, I must have typed it in wrong, but this is actually Ouroboros' one. That This is really good. Okay. <clears throat> Connor, you want to read this one? Read it all. I, I can't do that. Let's see, I, what's this? Nor, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, something no. like that. <laughs> yeah. Umbrish is meant to be a cursed conling, albeit one which is somewhat feasibly naturalistic. I, mean, I like this already. Northumbrish is phonology. Universal initial stress. Okay, so we've got a labial series. Ooh, voiceless nasal. Yep. Voiceless nasals. Voiceless nasals. Mm -hmm. I was oh, expecting that thing that we have a voiceless trill. Yeah. These, this is a very complicated a lot of plausible it, it seems britannic um those those voiceless nasals remind me of welsh um, i mean it reminds me like more of, of, of old norse in terms of like the yeah. yeah 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 it's very good i like yeah it. pretty solid 
<laughs> I love the one hua. Very, very good. All right. Mm. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. Oh. It's, got oh. A, it's, it's got a story, okay. Close enough. Northumbrish is a Germanic language of the Anglo branch, descended from Old English, and as such, its core grammar is very Germanic. It retains most verb conjugations of Old English and most of the noun declensions while leveling adjective conjugations. On top of this is an added prophylic nominal tam system, a tense aspect mood system, with the future tense perfective aspect in all tenses, and a conditional and obligated moods being marked by a eternal can you not use <laughs> Eternal you can <laughs> being marked by suffixes on nouns and pronouns. If no nominal tam affixes are needed in the verbing context, suffice pronouns may also be dropped. Okay, okay. Noun and non-personal pronoun declension. So we have a non-future and all right, so we have singular, plural, nominative, accusative, genitive, dative. Um, so a lot of nulls and some, and then tense aspect mood. We have future, present, perfect, past, perfect, future, perfect, <laughs> present, habitual, past, Ooh. habitual, future, habitual, conditional, and obligative. These are both for singular and plural. Uh, what <laughs> That's <we>? a lot. <laughs> did I miss something or what are the apostrophes for? Um, I think we'll get to that. Probably. Um, possibly. Oh jeez. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, yeah, it's big. Oh, it's big. There's two datives. <laughs> there's, there's two datives? <laughs> Why are there two datives? <laughs> Why are there two datives? <laughs> Alright, so we have Grammar. Oh, yeah, so, oh, yes, okay. grammar indeed. Pops. Yes. Alright, regular verb conjugations. So what what I'm getting from all this is this is a stupid English. This is yeah. This is like an extreme English. This is like extreme if, if Engli English. English went down the the dark side path and ended up this way. <laughs> <laughs> that that's that's. And I really like that because this takes some serious effort because you it actually does. have to. Yeah, this is the first <laughs> naturalistic cursed lang we've seen. And they, and they told me all the effort that they put into this, and it's a lot. It, it, it's like crazy the yeah, amount no. of. The amount of like lore and development that went into like every little bit of this, like even like in the lexicon when you get there, it's crazy. But yeah, big stuff, Wonderful. big stuff. And, and, then... and nearly all, not all irregular verbs. So we have to be, to do, and to go. Future, right. indi future indicative forms use a subjunctive auxiliary. Oh. Oh. That's hmm. interesting. Other future forms rarely used. Interesting. Weird. I suppose that makes sense. Again, this is this is dark side English. It's just it, it's, <laughs> And I feel like the fact that it's realistic automatically like it might not be as specifically cursed as some of these other languages we've seen, but the fact that it's realistic and takes like way I think it takes a lot more effort to do. And yeah. I think that like Oh absolutely puts on the same level with mm -hmm. this a, a lot of efforts went went into this. And then there's the orthography, of course, of course. Oh, look at that. Uh, Northumbrick uses a Latin-based alphabet with a few letters added and a few removed. Uh, uh, the alphabet in order is A, A with line, circle A, <laughs> Ash, oh, God. B, C, D, E, E with line, F, G, <laughs> H, I, I with line, K, L, M, N, O, O with line, slash E-O, slash E-O with line, <laughs> P, R, S, T, U with line, W, X, Y, Y with line, 3, and <laughs> F. I'm pretty sure that's the yoke, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah. I'm aware it's yoke. I'm aware it's yoke. <laughs> I'm just being a ass. The orthography is very historical. with, with line, I think it was the yoke. Pronunciation line. Apostrophe is also adding round the forms which came from old contractions. Oh, that's what it means. Okay. Oh, God. Yep, that's what it There's means. Not letter in its own right. Oh my god. Z can be used as a variant of three. Yeah, well. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, okay. Adjectives and adverbs. The comparative is either form with an R et. nope, nope, wait, no, that's the orthography. R suffix. <laughs> or uh, by turning the final consonant into a French flex consonant. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do trills. <laughs> the final consonant, I can only do a lateral cheek trill oh. in the bilabial. If the final consonant is an coronal, 
it becomes um, uh, that's a paddle, or right? That is retroflex. Those are retroflex. That is, I knew. Yeah. That. I knew that. I I knew that. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. I'm not failing for that. I knew, cut that from the video. <laughs> it's too it late. And no vowel is added. The superlative is for if I added est the end of the adjective or whatever, this causes stem final um, f uh, th such a voice. Okay. 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 It has well, every is mainly SBO, but can be OVS if the marking context is sufficient. Mm. Questions are less question pronouns. You word order is VSO, although VOS is oh, allowed <laughs> oh, in the same no. condition. Mm. Questions SOV and OSV are also never allowed. Adjectives, okay. So it's OVS. Okay. The SVO to OVS is a bit strange, but all right. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It seems poetic. And there's the comment. Oh. Okay. Wow. That that's aesthetic though. <laughs> yeah. That, that is, is beautiful. That looks it is great. It actually does. This is the best photography we've seen yet. It is. It is. Oh yeah. And, I, and, and I, I'm I'm going to say that noting my bias towards old English, of course, but. Yeah. No. Th this is this is a certified like. <laughs> Like realistic I, and very yeah. cursed Agma. descendant. Agma. Yeah. Move your mouse up a bit to the first line. All right. No, 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 no. Like of the, of the IPA, of the IPA. Yeah. Next to the uh, oh, to the left a little bit to the left. Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Anyway. Um, I also like the con I like the contraction there. Yeah. All right, let's listen to the audio. Hopefully you guys will be able to hear it. Chav never on a stood the nochtun yeven toch mashwam. In the first chapter of the sech from him has the torda bikanyana anashtana the wetra. Erwanich thurhunodan the shepchov. Again, that was just aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. So uh, very nice, and that was very number. Good. Number not as cursed, but interesting. yeah, not, not yeah, not as cursed, but I, I will say yeah, the the grammar it the was grammar less was less cursed but more cursed for being yeah, you know. yeah, it, it like it kind of looped around. It was like a cursed vindaloop where it kind of came back around because of like how much effort was put into it. I'm gonna give yeah. that a 98 on the execution. All right, oh. it, it, it was really good. All right, hold that thought for a second. One quick set of announcements before we go even deeper into this disturbing, disturbing rabbit hole that I've created here. I'd like to thank my lovely patrons over at patreon.com slash nuh for contributing trivial amounts of cash each month to the channel. You really are helping me lessen the severity of a money dump that this circus has become. I'm at around $43 per month right now on my Patreon, and the prizes for this contest add up to about $170 on my end, not counting the, uh, the packing and shipping that will eventually have to be paid in order to get these prizes to their recipients, especially if they're international. So, at this rate, I'll have it paid off in about four months, but if you want to support the cause, uh, please be please consider becoming a natron. If if you can't do that, then definitely make sure you've subscribed, leave comments as many comments as you want, and like all of the videos so that the algorithm will be more likely to send me so hard into the skybox that I clip through. Anyway, on with the show. What's number twenty? Okay, this is actually Tesseract's one. This this is gonna be this this is a fun one. Um, hopefully Eternal's back quick, but I think this one's a video as well. Wait for it. Hi, oh. I'm Tesseract, and today I want to talk to you about a language I created for Agmashwa's cursed conlang circus called Snapdragon Rose. Snapdragon Rose isn't written, spoken, or signed at all. Rather, it's a language that uses flower arrangement to communicate complex ideas. <laughs> It's loosely based on Victorian floriography, the so-called language of flowers, but it's been expanded with syntax that allows it to do the kinds of things we expect language to do. Snapdragon Rose has two kinds of morphemes, floremes, which are flowers and other decorative plants and usually act as content words, and vitemes, which are string and ribbon used to bind floremes together and carry grammatical information. The equivalent of a sentence is a bouquet. The center of a bouquet is a single floreme called the root, which acts as a verb. 
When otherwise unmarked, a single florem acts as a transitive verb in the present continuous tense, with me as the subject and you as the object. For example, a single red rose means I love you. Black and white ribbon are used to modify objects and subjects, or in conjunction with the twig, the neutral florem, these can be used to denote intransitivity. Other colors of ribbon are used for other grammatical structures. Blue and red for comparison, yellow for tense aspect, mood, and tone, green for conditionals, orange for possessives, gray for indirect objects, etc. When a florem isn't acting as a transitive verb, it's a content florem, and functions as a noun, adjective, or adverb depending on context. Usually the meaning as a content florem and as an action florem, if it has both, are related in some way. One final note before I get to the translation, the way that proper names are handled in Snapdragon Rose. For anything that has a proper endonym in Snapdragon Rose, you use scotch tape as a viteme to indicate that the contents are a proper name. For a person, this is usually their favorite flower. My Snapdragon Rose name is Four Mountain Laurels. I asked Agmashwa what his favorite flowers were, and that's what I'll be using as his name in translation. Okay, on to the translations. I'll be showing three things on screen. The English sentence, an approximate gloss of how I've translated it into Snapdragon Rose, and a very rough pictorial depiction of the bouquet. I hope crappy drawings and royalty-free clip art will make up for the fact that you don't get to hear me say any torturous phonemes. I'll be reading out a list of florems and vitemes with tie to indicate a closed parenthesis, but you can find a more detailed translation in the description, along with a link to the full Google Doc describing the language. Okay, here we go. Bouquet 1. Black twine, amethyst, black ribbon, heather, black ribbon, tape, prickly pear, verbena, tie, tie, white ribbon, twig, tie, tie, tie. Bouquet 2. Neutral twine, lotus pod, violet, green ribbon, violet, black ribbon, gold wire one, chicory, edelweiss, violet, tie, 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 yellow ribbon, forget me not, daffodil, red carnation, tie, black ribbon, tape, prickly pear, verbena, tie, tie, white. Eternal stop type. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Tape, prickly pear, verbena, tie, tie, white ribbon, twig, tie, tie. Bouquet 3. White twine, cyclamen, black ribbon, chicory, edelweiss, violet, tie, tie. Bouquet 4. Neutral twine, snapdragon, green ribbon, violet, black ribbon, gold wire, two, chicory, edelweiss, violet, tie, tie, tie. Yellow ribbon, forget me not, daffodil, tie. Gray ribbon, red hyacinth, gray ribbon, black rose, black ribbon, sunflower, tie, tie, tie. White ribbon, tape, prickly pear, verbena, tie, tie, black ribbon, twig, tie, tie. Bouquet 5. Neutral twine, cyclamen, black ribbon, chicory, edelweiss, violet, tie, yellow ribbon, calla lily, tie, tie. Bouquet 6. Black twine, amethyst, black ribbon, violet, white ribbon, twig, tie, yellow ribbon, yellow hyacinth, tie, black ribbon, daffodil, white ribbon, ivy, tie, black ribbon, twig, tie, gray ribbon, reed, tie, 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 tie. Bouquet 7. White twine, yellow hyacinth, black ribbon, lotus pod, white ribbon, twig, tie. Black ribbon, tape, prickly pear, verbena, tie, tie. Blue ribbon, twig, tie, tie. White ribbon, tape, prickly pear, verbena, tie, tie, tie. Bouquet 8. Neutral twine, twig, yellow ribbon, dandelion, tie. White ribbon, chicory, baby's breath, edelweiss, violet, orange ribbon, tape, prickly pear, verbena, tie, tie, tie. Black ribbon, white daisy, petunia, tie. Blue ribbon, twig, tie, tie. Thanks for listening. I hope you're as amused as I am by the idea of sending anonymous YouTube hate in the form of eight extremely janky bouquets. <laughs> that was really pretty. That was awesome. Liked, that was nice. That was awesome. That, that was certified. Was also certified pretty, awesome. Clearly made directly for Agmashwa. Uh, That's true. I like. I am a plant person. And Tesseract asked me specifically for what my favorite flowers were, to which I said, um, to, to which I said the confetti verbena and a prickly pear flower. Um, and that became my name wow. in the language, which I, 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 I enjoy that. Now, it's, it's not disturbing, but it is like a really radical concept, which I definitely appreciate. Yeah, I found, <laughs> like, if I rated this for, like, how unique and well thought out the phonology was i'd give this like a 100 yeah but this I mean, is how cursed the phonology yeah, is yeah i mean it, it's 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 pretty i can't really say anything cursed about this i think i it's think it's just good yeah, it hits 90 yeah the I'm, syntax carries it i'm gonna give so it a I'm 95 gonna... for for uh for grammar and then execution, and execution. I think the only the way the execution flag. could have been better is if they got the flowers. That would have yeah. cost a lot of money. 
That would have. Yeah. That would have cost no. a lot of money. But, but for, for, for the made. resources that Tesseract had, I'm giving that a 99. Yeah. It 90. was great for the resources given. Well, I'm glad, because I'm about, I'm about done. Yeah. Ready to sleep. yeah, exactly. So, AD Prince is number 23. Let's see what AD Prince made. Alright, so... Let us open up this document right here. Okay. Um, the <laughs> world's ugliest conlang. Alright, Eternal, you want to read this one? Oh god, sure. <clears throat> I'm not sure how to pronounce that if I... Ew. Am... <laughs> is it two? I guess we'll I find out. Yeah. Is it two? <laughs> the world's ugliest conlang. Question mark. <laughs> Jeez. <clears throat> here we go. Before we begin, prior to the information of my, on my circus lang, I would like to speak a few sentences. First and foremost, I am ecstatic to my core about joining the Nerf fam to leisurely talk amongst fellow Conlang nerds in the YouTube comments and in the Discord. Secondly, I am even more thrilled to be challenged to visualize all of the terrifically horrendous ideas that I have had recently to insert them in... Yeah, to insert them into a conlang. I hope to see the return of this contest as an annual October celebration, as I will look forward to something of the of, to something of the sort every year. Thirdly, I indeed desire to say that it, that since I first subscribed on the 18th day of October this year, 2022, I believe I started my circus line a little later than most. However, I gave it many hours of attention, and I hope to see this terrible creation in a future video for humorous purposes. And finally, I am forever grateful for the extension into the first few days of November, as this is the third version of this PowerPoint presentation. I thoroughly believe my perfectionism has gotten the best of me this time around. Okay, okay. I've been reading a lot of H.P. Lovecraft stories lately, can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, let, yeah. Let me open the rest of this up in the actual Google Slides real quick. Two is merely the English spelling, so... Do not try pronouncing it just yet. God there damn it. Go. There you go. <laughs> As I'm almost positive that no one will pronounce it correctly in the first try, you will learn the pronunciation soon. Alright. A little backstory. Alright, shall we read the backstory? Um, we don't... It's quite the backstory. Yes. Pause the video <clears throat> to see. read this in-depth backstory. <laughs> On the, this video is many hours long. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. What's the worst that could happen? All right, let's What's let's let's the worst that let's, could happen? let's see what the worst is that could happen. Oh God. Okay. Jeez. All right. <laughs> okay, I can maybe start here. I had something in mind that seemed a little different, almost foreign to my usual train of thought when conlanging. I wanted the absolute worst language I could come up with in a short period of time. So instead of focusing on the larger, harder topics to tackle, I decided I would start small and make the ugliest, most difficult sound inventory that I could make, assuming all of the learners of this conlang are first language English speakers, and then marry the sound system with a grammar and script that just engulfed any conlang or a linguist with pain, humor, and cringe simultaneously. Without further ado, let us dive into the circus lang that is however this is supposed to be pronounced, we don't actually know that yet. And before you say you hate it, just remember, it hates you more. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a good start. That <laughs> Jeez. I knew from the very beginning that I wanted to use as few vowels as possible for this project. I tried and tried and tried to make a two vowel system, but I just could not make it work for however this is supposed to be pronounced, we don't know that yet, so I settled with a three vowel system. However, I definitely had to make the three vowels as close as I could make, oh, as no. close as I could to make pronunciation, well, oh, no. a little more fun. This is a circus lang after all. So the three vowels are U, E, and U. <laughs> Right. Great. <laughs> Brilliant. Great. 
Oh no. And vowel length is also very important, apparently. Long vowels are written by writing. Uh, well, we Name don't and address exactly know. without. Well, we'll see it on the next slides, I'm sure. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> Never mind. Consonants. Now that we have the same three vowels, <laughs> the same three vowels, let us discuss what consonants will be included because, well, they're the best ones, obviously. <laughs> oh, so no. we have the usual suspects, really, and yeah. some more unusual suspects on the right. Oh, geez, yeah, that, that's a lot of clicks, aspirated adjectives, and There's also the velo, for the, that's the, what is that, the ingressive vela trill, which is basically just the a snort. pig snort. Yeah, that's the pig yeah. snort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Naturally. I'll, I'll, always a good I, time having Brian there. <laughs> oh, yeah, good, good old Balabial trill. That's right. <clears throat> oh, God. Uh, brilliant. Thinking it over, now that you're exposed to the sound inventor, I would like to show you how this is properly pronounced within its own language. It has an unaspirated P, an aspirated T, and a long U. Uh. The oh, idea no. would transcribe it as PT. And if you want an, want an audio file from the internet, let me bless you with the voice called Chantal from ipareader.xyz. I think that'll be visible when I get out of Yeah, there we go. Oh no. Wait, wait. Yes. Well, no, I just want to hear it. I just, I, I just want to hear it. I don't think it's working. Oh, there we go. It doesn't... Oh. Oh! Please. Well, I don't think... Dang it! Oh, well. This is gonna work. Well, it's more or less... Uh, it's more or less... Tuh, yeah. Tuh. <laughs> well, hang on, I messed yeah. up my screen. There we go. <clears throat> Alright. Morphology. Morphemes. Morphemes and morphemes. No, just morphemes. <laughs> the next question that I have to ask myself while making the circus lang are uh, Do I want to have a case system? How will plurality work? How will time work? Will there be prefixes, suffixes, infixes, circumfixes, or multiple of them? What about circuminfixes? Oh no. Oh dear. How can I answer all four of these questions with the worst results possible for the circus lang? Can I make the circus like naturalistic while still making it horrendously ugly? Oh no. We'll see. Oh no. <laughs> Answering questions. Oh god. Alright. The first question I had to answer was do I want a case system? Of course I do. And I want all the cases to have a different way of affecting the words that they apply to. The second question is an easy answer because I almost used it for language A before I decided that I hated it. Plurality will work in the form of suffixes, which are all just an added vowel at the end of the affected words. Recall that the three vowels are pretty similar. <laughs> Time <laughs> has an interesting relationship with language, but I decided that pt would be better off if it was time-dependent, like English. Which oh, is why no. I decided that it will be time-independent, like Mandarin oh, no. Chinese, and it will use separate words to describe past, present, and future. Okay, okay. I decided that there will be no circumfixes, infixes, or the maniacal mythological circuminfixes, and that suffixes will be a rare occurrence, which leaves prefixes serving as the default affix in pt. Okay, okay. Sorry, pt. Okay. The p is an aspirated, my bad. Oh no. <clears throat> Cases. You might as well just lash through these, but yeah. <laughs> right, we have the nominative, genitive, dative, ablative, locative, possessive, instrumental, committative, ergative, and, pri and privative, I think it is. And they all do horrendously different things right. to the words. Nominative case will lengthen the stressed vowel. Right? Okay. Genitive case will use the prefix... <laughs> no, that's... Is that an er, or is that the empty set? I'm not sure. I don't know. Oh, it, it's, it's okay, the vowel. I think it's supposed it's to be, so it's R. Okay. Dative case will change the vowel. U becomes E, E becomes er, er becomes U. Oh, God. Brilliant. Ablative case will double the stressed syllable, leaving the stress on the first of the now two syllables. Okay. If two consonants touch that are not allowed to touch, drop the consonant encoder. So this is basically reduplication. Jeez. I see, I see where case, this is going. <laughs> locative case will use the suffix ich, the vowel e, sorry, e, e, <clears throat> e, is only used if there is a consonant that conflicts with the x or the ch. 
possessive case will insert ha before and after the stressed vowel. If the already present sounds break other phonological rules, then u is added between the conflicting sounds. <laughs> Something we didn't notice before, it contrasts ha and ha apparently, which I don't think many <laughs> languages do for reasons. That's true. That's that I true. Don't need to explain, I think. <clears throat> Instrumental case will repeat the wider effect. <laughs> oh <God. laughs> Committative case will nasalize the stressed vowel. Ergative case will add the word. Okay. Before the first affected word and palate and palatize. Is that supposed to be palatalized? Probably. It might yeah. be. But palatalize the stressed vowel. Jeez, okay. Hold on a second. How do you palatalize a vowel? Yeah. I'm not quite sure about that. Okay, interesting. Palatalize the stressed vowel of all the affected words. Ah, naturally. And privative case will change the stressed syllable to the first syllable of the word, unless it's a two-syllable word, in which case, this, in which, in which the stress is changed to the second syllable. Dear God. I think they're missing a word there. Probably. Okay. Plurality. Pretty simple. Plurality is actually quite simple in pter, except it's not required, which might be a little strange. Okay. <laughs> Singularity will be indicated by the suffix u, duality by the suffix e, sorry, u, plurality <laughs> by the suffix u. Er. If a noun or verb does not include any of these suffixes, then plurality is either unimportant or unknown. However, if plurality is included on one of the two noun or verb, then it has to be included on the other, but they do not... <laughs> H. <clears throat> All right. H, yes. <laughs> Time in... Oh, no. That clock is... Time in... Cheese. The... Hold on. That clock isn't right. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second. That's not right. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Time independence felt right for this language, so I decided that I would use separate words to indicate past, present, and future when needed, which are... Uh, <laughs> is that an implosive? Yeah. Yeah, it is. And... Sorry. That was retroflex. The, the key. The <clears throat> For past, present, and future, respectively. These forms of the word are all in simple aspect, but if, but if it is in the progressive aspect, the stressed vowel becomes nasalized. Right? Okay. For the past and future words, the suffix g can be added to be more specific, saying that the event happened or will happen in the distant past or distant future. Wait, wait, wait. For, it's both distant past and distant future? <laughs> it's it's same, just distant. The same one? It's just it's distant. Just distant. <laughs> okay, sure. All right. Oh, God. <clears throat> Syntax and world, word building. The next step for pter would be to build words and decide what order the words would go in. I had a few things in mind already, such as post-positive adject- Did it just say adjectives? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> adjectives! Unless the adjective is a number, age, or color. Okay. And the OSV word order when free word order isn't specific enough. Ah. However, I'd st I still had many things to figure out before I felt comfortable building words, which is why... <laughs> anyway, that quote, that quote is brilliant. Be careful when you follow the masses. Sometimes the M is silent. Okay. <laughs> God. All right, and, and there's the, the pronouns. pronouns which there's I've, the pronouns. No, no need to try and pronounce all those right nah, now. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> and here's the translation. Oh. Let's see. So the left is on I the. I decided to translate the entire paragraph because Mum didn't raise enough pitch. So on the left is the IPA transcription of the Pater translation, and on the right is the audio. I hope we can play it. Well, only one way to find out. Um, and maybe... apparently they didn't last. Oh my god, no, it's not gonna let me hear it! Well, unfortunately. Unfortunate. 
unfortunate. That, that's, that, that's two more slides, apparently. All right. Let oh, me... the script. Oh, there's a script. Yeah, go back. There's a script. I decided that it would be written in Bustrophodon form, where the letters reverse in mirror form and start on opposing ends in every other line. The picture on the left shows which characters, typically, not always, represent which sounds on the picture on the right of the translation on the paragraph in turn. Oh god. That's pretty good, actually. That, that, that's pretty hot. Like, that, that all is, of them are just M's. Yeah, oh, that, no. that is a rather terrifying orthography, but like in a good way. I like that. It is. <laughs> Very nice. I think we're good, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Something. There, there's, there's, yeah, the beautiful, the beautiful language of. All right, very cool, and that is all the time that we have for session one. <laughs> We're gonna have to meet up at least one other time after this to get to the other like twenty-one submissions. <laughs> Jeez, how many did we get through? We got through. And like, we got through this ten. It's gonna take three sessions. I don't know. A lot of these were like really long ones. Not all of them they take were. nearly this long. Like the the random number <laughs> generator just chose some real long ones to put right on the front. <laughs> Though of course Babalinguas is like a seventeen minute long video that we'll go Jeez, through next yeah. time. <laughs> um, but yeah, there you go. Very nice so far. All right, I'm gonna turn off this recording and the viewers will see us, maybe a slightly different arrangement of us in whenever we can do this next, hopefully within <laughs> the next few days so that we don't like lose memory hopefully. of what it's like to do this. All right, <laughs> recording stopping now. Hello audience, we are now on to night who? Right now, I'm just joined by Eternal, but we'll see if anybody else shows up throughout. They will, they'll, they'll do the judging on their own if they can't catch the live judging. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> so. Right, let's see what's next. Yes, so our first one of tonight is number 28, which is from Abdul Hadi Zabad. And, I, and it is a video, and I have the video downloaded. So, right. let me know if you can uh, hear anything. All right, so looks like we're just diving straight into the phonology for X. Oh god, no, no, the the quote unquote phonology. Oh god. No. Oh, there we go. Yeah. No. Nasal. No. The. Super segmental nasal. The. Uh. Ch. K. K. G. F. S. Sh. S. J. H. G. H. G. H. A. V. L. R. Y. L. L. R. 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 Like a Klingon thing where the capital letters do something else. It is. Oh no. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> what? Uh, that's that's almost all of them. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Stop it, that's too many. <laughs> Stop! You've gone too oh, far. Already too many. This, this is seven. Loudness? <laughs> Loudness? Pianissimo. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Oh god. Okay, okay. Oh dear. 
Okay. Okay. You misspelled it, it's supposed to say Achmashwa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, immediately disqualified. <laughs> TS, seventh meeting. Subjunctive table. Subjunctive table? Oh, jeez. Hmm? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Alright, then fair. Four person <laughs> Oh no. That's, that's typically not all that's used. Fifth meaning? Oh no. Hold on, hold on. Hang on a second. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Let's go back a couple slides real quick. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so H K H fifth meaning, but it needs a vowel, and all non-verbs get schwa. So, okay. So that, uh -huh. that part makes sense. And then this part <laughs> between um, between uh, ar arma schwa and whatever that is needs to be an yeah. it. But you can't have two V's after each other, so you have to add. Was that the was that the lip sucking in one? Yeah. <laughs> so you have that. Oh god. Okay. Okay. I see where it's going. But wait. Oh, no. The fifth tone for the fifth oh, meat. Wait a second. Wait a second. It's also the fifth tone on the verb. Also past tense, but still the seventh. Um, uh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh god. So far we have that. That. <laughs> oh god. Oh, Almost no. there. Okay. Oh no. Adverbs and the verb suffixes. Oh no. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Wait. Adverbs come after the verb suffixes. Behind them is an uh. So never is uh, ur, ur, urta with a rising tone. Okay, so grammatical moods. Declarative is that. Is that like... That was the word. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> a couple of things. Creaky is. Oh no! No. Oh, no, 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 no. And that's placed, freaking capital Y is placed after nouns before verbs. So that's after verbs, only if there's another verb. That gotcha. means the same subject, that means the object, and that means same subject and object. Okay. Okay, um, okay, all right. Extreme, extreme agreement, okay. Very extreme agreement. Okay, okay. Extreme course. Okay. How the say the rock? Rock. Oh. <laughs> well, there, there it is. There it is. Wow. And then, and then, wow. okay. unfortunate. But I think we got wow. the point. I, I, I think we got the point. So, yeah. So I am. I'd say the the phonology was indeed quite cursed. It had a lot of things that went beyond the IPA. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Um, right. <laughs> so the next one is number 18. Let's see what 18. number 18 is. Jeez. That is one that was emailed to me. Let's find out. This is from CDGA3611. Right oh, yeah. It, it looks like there is also... Oh no, it's the Amogus <laughs> language. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's, let's, let's read through. Okay, so... The Amogus language. The Joker goal is to have weird sounds 
and to be sus. So, phonology. There's a lot of weird sounds. There are three vowels, and three types of each vowel. There is... Oh god, it's not IPA. Oh no, okay, it is... It's gonna be a problem. So, the normal A is pronounced like the E in the, which could also be the, but... Yeah, that's we're, the problem with not using IPA, we don't actually know. <laughs> which we're, 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 we're gonna call it the, because in Amogus, it's Robin. uh. So let, let's call let's call it a schwa slash strut. Then we have the A with the little curve on top is pronounced like ha in ha ha ha. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. And then the A with the little auga neck on it is pronounced like you're choking, and then like the E in the. That's not particularly oh God. helpful. So just so like like. What, what, what is it like? <laughs> Originalized or something? Is that what that's supposed to be? Uh, as in look. Okay. Then the one okay. with the voiceless symbol over it is pronounced exactly like the word who. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we All have right. the agonek, which is pronounced like you're choking, and then the O's in look. Yeah. So, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh. 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 So, something like that. either pharyngealized or nasalized or something. Probably not nasalized, but pharyngealized or glottalized. M is pronounced M normally. Okay. No. Um, <laughs> and then MSD is pronounced like making a long M sound. Oh. What does the SD mean? And then. That's a good question. I, I recommend checking out the IPA for next time. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> um. But yeah, so, grammar. Amogus has six letters. Amogus, okay? <laughs> of course, of course. All letters from A to F. Excuse me? There's, there's no F. <laughs> are, are represented as A. Uh, also, wait, what? Not just the, it's not just that, the, uh, that there is no F. There are no letters from A to F except A. <laughs> oh, oh, I get it. Wait a what second. There is no F. No, 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 wait. All letters from A to F are represented as A, as in this is like, this is like a code, and like more of a code. Uh, is that what this is gonna be? Let's see. Okay, so if there are two A's in a sentence, the second A is changed to A with the brev on it, and if there's a third A, the third A is changed to A with the Agonek on it. If there are more than four A's, they are just kept as A's. Okay, so it looks like this is going to be literally like a a con like a, a cursed relax of English. Oh God. So G to M are represented as M, but if it's a second M, then okay, etc. And then same with the O's, and then same with the the G's. Same with the U's, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Y and Z are the S. <laughs> yeah, okay. And so, yeah, there you go. So, proper nouns are capitalized, and names like Agmashwa aren't changed. So, the diatribe is literally like English, but converted phonologically into Amogus. Now, do we have... Phonologically or letter by letter? The what? Is it phonologically or letter by letter? Letter by letter, but it also letter, changed the sound. Which is exactly for a logic. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know if there's a, a recording of this anywhere, but there is an Amogus to English dictionary. So, so you have. Okay, yeah. So, so li li pretty yeah. much it is. It is just much. an exact, uh, an exact conversion right there. So yeah, like yes is S A O, and then no since N and O are right next to each other. Okay, okay. There you go. Now, it, this is this this is good for like a like a one way conversion, though it would be kind of impossible to to like go back the other direction. Yeah. It's, what, it's what a programmer will call a lossy conversion. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, and and. And there is no recording, as far as I know. There, there's no recording of the uh, audio, so unfortunately we can only give up to half points on that section. Alright, our next one is number eight. Number eight, number eight is from Adiv. 
Oh, I remember this one. Th this is a good one. This is a good one. Okay. Th this video got, got 3k views already, too. Alright, you ready? Hey there. <laughs> okay, I do not have a script for this video, so I'm just gonna wing it. Um, I was procrastinating too hard to make this video, so I'm almost out of time and uh, it might be a bit rushed. Um, anyways, <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. I love channel. the little clicks. This is my Submission for the Ahmashwa Kiss Conland Circus. So, you know what? L let me just show you guys the Conland. Alright. I hate having to explain jokes, but for the <laughs> sake of the video, I'll do it anyways. Um, the basic idea that I had for this language was a language that would sound as close to natural breathing as possible. <laughs> That's where I got the idea for the breath lang. <laughs> oh god. Also, I should probably mention that the name breath lang is actually an exonym and is more commonly known as the in the breathing community. <laughs> the breathing community. <laughs> this is the part of the video where I realized that I should probably put a bit more effort into my voiceover. Anyways, this is the phonetic inventory. <laughs> the phonemes oh. are. I would quickly like to talk about the phonotactics of this language. Uh, the language has both ingressive as well as aggressive sounds. So I established this rule where two ingressive or two aggressive sounds could not take place consequently to make the speech resemble normal breathing as closely possible. <laughs> The grammar of the breath lang isn't really the primary focus of the language, but it does have some interesting features. The sentence structure of the breath lang is object subject verb, with nouns that are isolating, whereas verbs are heavily agglutinating and fusional at times. The adjectives are also derived from verbs. The last two syllables of a noun are reduplicated when pluralized. Also, remember this sentence from the start of the video. <laughs> well, actually, it's just a single word that translates to the phrase, don't be scared. <laughs> God. Upon analyzing oh, no. the gloss, it is evident that it carries way more information than that of a let's say English verb. This is because breath line doesn't feature any pronouns. Both subject as well as object pronouns are marked upon the verb. If a verb doesn't have an object, it is marked in terms intransitive, as you can see in this example. It also marks tense aspect and mood as it marks the imperative mood here. And there are also markers for negation and interrogation. That about sums up the grammar of the breath line. But I'll leave a spreadsheet in the description of the video, which offers a much more comprehensive guide to its grammar and phonology. Oh 
<laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's beautiful that that's that that was actually legendary all right mm -hmm. i for the phonology i'm 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 giving a 99 that that was that was some solid content right there yeah, yeah it's definitely something it, uh, it, it, it was like a it, it's like a cousin to santa in a way you know yeah yeah <laughs> It's like a, a Santa that actually doesn't make you lose consciousness when you try and pronounce it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Another brief interruption for a quick public circus announcement. Have you taken the Conlanger census yet? We had an amazing showing of 1,034 responses in the 2021 Conlanger census, and we got some super fascinating results. I'll have a link in the description and hopefully the card at the top corner of the screen because submissions from now through the first week of January are open. It'll only take you a couple minutes to fill out if you haven't done it yet. And we took a lot of your suggestions from last year and incorporated them into this one. So it's way better than last time. So fill out the 2022 Conlanger census and share it throughout the Conlang community so we can get even more responses than we got last time. We've already gotten more than 1,600 responses as of when I was recording this, so we're already doing great. But if you haven't done it yet, or if you know someone who hasn't done it yet, who's in this beautiful, beautiful Conlang space here on the internet, then make sure that they do it. Anyway, we still have dozens of submissions to go, so refill your popcorn, uh, stay hydrated, because we're about to get even deeper. Proceed! Number 21. Let's see, what is number 21? That is from Ivy slash Perestroika. So, my name is oh, Perestroika, God. but you- Woo! Oh, dear. Is that extremely loud for you too? <laughs> oh. All right. You can call me Ivy, and here's what I'm entering into Agmashwa's cursed conline competition. No. All right, I don't have a lot of time, but I'm gonna go through what I can and just take off all the things that this language needs. So, I have a name. Now what's the joke? Na has polysynthetic adjective-derived pronouns and adjectives. The adjectives are also polysynthetic. Despite the rest of the language being analytical. So, a quick explanation of the phonology. The phonetic inventory is listed below. It's pretty standard, except it only has one vowel. The blessed and sacred schwa. Correct. And it also has a ch written as a h. Alright. Phonotactics. It's exclusively CV, so it has open syllables and the glottal stop is fully phonemic. Ignore this plane flying over me. <laughs> Alright. Now for the grammar. <sighs> morphosyntax. N has nominative accusative morphosyntactic alignment and is an SVO language. Its pronouns are derived from adjectives, which are polysynthetic, but the rest of the language is analytical. <laughs> Pronouns are often highly complex descriptions of how the speaker views a subject, leading to extremely difficult to translate and creative terms. All right. Mm. Nouns, it has no cases, it has no classes. Oh. Verbs, it has no tenses, moods, aspects, or verb agreement. Oh, no. Adjectives, <laughs> it has noun-derived adjectives. Okay. Adverbs, it has noun-derived adverbs, which are created the same way as adjectives. And converbs, it has converbs, which are derived the same way as adverbs. They're not distinguished from each other. Okay. All right. Now a recorded translation of the diatribe. Oh God. This is gonna be a bit difficult for me oh. because. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna struggle, but all right. No. Kaha ha 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 um I know I didn't pronounce that correctly, but try saying this many schwas in a short in a short sequence. <laughs> so I did do a literal translation because I was struggling to write this out even myself. But here you go. And this is the English translation. Also, I write down a list of each of these adjective pronouns. As you can see, they are creative. Oh no. Toilet water oh, soup vendor, Jenkum oh, addict, Lord and Savior of the Conlang community, the chosen one. <laughs> Voluntary hot dog water drinker, boneheaded VDV elite cannon fodder, scat fetishist, dung beetles with god complexes, reason that we can't have nice things, Barry, garlic bread hater, avatar of the sublime lord of language, phonological Zoroaster, hyper pirate deity in human form, tender queer <laughs> hater, philosophically inclined mollusk. So I think that wraps it up. This should be sufficiently cursed. Um, I'd be grateful to see how you rank my entrance into the contest. Thanks, Agma. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> the hyper pirate <laughs> pronoun in there was clear pandering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh that that was pretty good. I, I was I was like, <laughs> okay, okay. I, that, is, that is comic sans. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, I wish I I wish I could see more on how these cursed pronouns were derived, you know? But other than that, I think we're ready to, to give our scores. Yeah, let's, let's see. All right, so the phonology, it was it was a minimalist phonology, which you don't see yeah, too often in, uh, in cursed ones. And it was done in a way that did, I think, enhance its cursedness by quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So I will, uh, I will give an 85 for phonology. That makes sense. Sure. Yeah. All right, now we're on to number one, which I'm pretty sure is Babalingua. Yeah, I think so. Yes, it is. Oh All right. Here we go. Here, here's the one that that absolutely Pause skyrocketed right. his channel. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen a Conlang video get 123,000 views since Bibliridians like A yeah. Dune and stuff. That's you, wild. You've crossed 5K, Agma. I have crossed 5K, 
and I wasn't right. expecting to have crossed 5k by this point, um, yeah. but it happened. I, I still I, I still had an idea for the 4k special live stream, which I guess <laughs> is now the 5k special live stream, but now this is happening after I've hit 5k, so it seems kind of like this was all part of the plan, but it really wasn't all part of the plan. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. All right, so it, oh. Babalingua's video is long, but I'd say it's worth it. Usually, my target audience is my twin brother. He has zero background in linguistics and will probably never draw a syntax tree. But he's very intelligent and also quite curious. If a video promises to answer an intriguing question he's never considered before, he'll watch it in its entirety and learn something new. Why am I telling you about my brother? Because this time, Ben, you're not my target audience. My target audience is you. Agnashwa, Herald of Awe and Vomit, Keeper of the Cringe, Ringmaster of the Cursed Conling Circus. If you're not Agmashwa, skip to this timestamp for the translation. Or you can still watch the video, I guess. If you're new, I'm really sorry. But be warned that there will be trees. Lots and lots of trees. Oh, I know. Because I yeah, didn't trees. make a Cursed Conling. I made Blessed one. <laughs> In Abrahamic religions, angels are supernatural beings in servitude to God. They're often depicted as winged boys, but they take many different forms, regular dudes, four-winged multi-headed chimera, flaming wheels covered in eyes, and the classics. You can watch Hojalaga's video for more details. Now, I'm not a theologist, so I'm not trying to make any religious claims in this video. Instead, I'm creating a fictional constructed link lovingly inspired by the first sphere of Abrahamic angels, Ophanim, Cherubim, and Seraphim. But for simplicity, the language is just called Seraphim. In English, at least. To the speakers, the name is far more complex. <laughs> Although even that monstrosity of a word is technically ungrammatical. See, without double syntax, 4D V to T to C movement, and seven simultaneous smiles connected to a single non-Euclidean mind, this word is ungrammatical to the seraphim. In case you can't tell, there's a lot going on in this language, and I think the easiest way to explain it is to walk you through a translation, from meaning to syntax to phonologo stuff. I'm only going to translate three sentences, though, because holy heck, this language is hard. <laughs> now, to begin, let's start with the English. To make it easier, remove all the articles, verb agreement, and tense, not aspect. Also, change that Englishy adverb to an expletive. Take these new sentences and add these cases. I won't explain all of them, but noteworthy additions are the construct and absolute case, which correspond roughly to the construct and absolute nouns in the biblical Hebrew construct, say, which corresponds roughly to chained genitive thingies. Absolute case shouldn't be confused with absolutive case, a morphosyntactic case that marks the patient. But ergative absolutive is restricted to embedded clause. Marked nominative unmarked accusative is the norm in main clauses. Easy. Let's make the complementizers explicit, then add these cases we were talking about. This is what the sentence looks like with the appropriate case mark. We don't add cases to the subjects yet, even in embedded clauses. But these sentences are too English, so let's gloss them. I'm trying to keep the glosses as faithful to the English syntax as possible, because things do get pretty messy. Next, add transitivizers from this chart, which basically turn a verb root into a transitive verb. That gives us these sentences. Notice there's some redundancy. Let's also make the verbs less idiomatic. While we're at it, the nouns should change too. We're mostly done at this point. Just gotta shuffle some of the modifiers. It's still SVO word order for now. Yippee, we finished the easy part. Because this is just a list of the morphemes we need to continue. <laughs> to actually build words, we need to put these morphemes in a tree. Here is tree one. Notice that oh, T yeah. and C are the only null oh, nodes. Yeah. Transitivizers have a bimorphemic analysis with a verb in high VP and the transitivizer in low VP. Here is tree two. Notice that VP is <laughs> marked with cases and become non-finite forms. But the low VP keeps its argument. Also note some redundancy between case and transitivizers as I brought up earlier. And here is tree three. 
quite easy relative to sentence two. But babalingua, what about the split CP or spec VP or the nano syntax of, oh, I hadn't considered that the theoretical linguistics has multiple <laughs> theories. I guess you've got to comment below and uh, boost my engagement. Because this isn't even a true syntax it tree. It's just a tool for wrapping our feeble mortal minds around seraphim words. See, none of these nodes are words. They're just morphemes that haven't been glued to each other yet. To build words, we need to identify the vocal tracts. Plural. <laughs> See, all seraphim speakers have at least seven voices. They don't need to be actual vocal tracts. Animal heads or disembodied voices will do just fine. Just have seven voices emanating from seven points in 3D space. These four mouths will be the primary articulators. The other three aren't important until later. To make it easier, let's label the four mouths clockwise. Top, one, two, and end. Come the mouths on. scope over one another in a hierarchical relationship as shown. Top scopes over everything, one scopes over two, and end, and two and end are sister nodes. But this isn't just a hierarchy of mouths. It corresponds to the trees we made earlier. Oh, <laughs> Let's oh, begin yeah. with sentence God. one. Don't worry about movement right now, more on that later. For now, top <laughs> mouth always starts at the top. Mouth 1 handles its next terminal daughter node. This time it's null, so mouth 1 stays silent. Mouth 2 handles the terminal node immediately beneath it. In this case, the spec TP. Again, it's null, so mouth 2 remains silent. End mouth is up next. Unlike the two before it, end mouth does not pronounce a terminal node by default. Because it is the last mouth, end mouth must indicate that there are many nodes to come. Instead of pronouncing the entire rest of the tree, end mouth produces a prophrase. Oh, it's like a pronoun or a variable for the entire phrase. Oh, help there us. we have it, the structure of one seraphim yeah. word. All these mouths speak the exact same time, but if you know which mouth is which, you can figure out the structure. For now, we're just going to stick to the syntactic structure because the phonology and orthography are an absolute nightmare, and if you have to do both of those at the same time, you're going to cry. Now, let's continue down the rest of the tree. Top starts at the top again, but it can't pronounce another sentence starter. Instead, it pronounces a prophrase that agrees in lexical category with the previous one. Mouth one and two get some more action too. This time, their nodes aren't null, so they get something to pronounce. Aspect for mouth one and negation for mouth two. And mouth pronounces a new prophrase. The last one was a T prophrase, this one's a V prophrase. So far we have two words and the end of word one agrees with the beginning of word two. So, if you shuffle these words, a listener still knows what the sentence means, but there are restrictions on how you shuffle them that you'll see later. So that means on top of the word internal syntax, seraphim has even more syntax. Word internal syntax will be called micro syntax. Word external syntax will be called macro syntax. Easy. Back to the tree. You should be getting the idea by now. These two begin with V prophrases, so they have to stay in the same order. This one begins with pro and P though, so it can still shuffle, even if that splits apart the case and the noun it modifies. Heck to constituency. <laughs> Remember kids, the micro syntax tree is actually just semantics. So all that matters is that the meaning comes across in the end. The final word is easy. Mouths two and end are silent. And we have the six words of the first sentence, or four depending on your analysis. But word order isn't completely meaningless. If a word is earlier in the sentence, you're making a claim that the morphemes are more active. This isn't just a topic thing. It's often closer to animacy and can completely change the meaning oh, and no, the argument structure. Yeah, Microsyntactically, yeah. a sentence could read, the man ate the cheese. But macrosyntactically, fronting the macro word containing the cheese, morphine would read, the cheese caused the man to eat. It almost has a causative meaning. It's kind of like Navajo if the word order determined animacy instead of agreeing with it, but kinda. There's still more. Remember, the final three voices? They may not build words, but they do sing constant praise to the Holy Trinity, or blaspheme in the case of the satanic dialect. This praise actually plays an important phonosyntactic role. While a macro sentence is being articulated, the three voices sing in one of three languages, Biblical Aramaic for far past or gnomic, Biblical Greek for near past, and Church Latin for non-past. The internal tree still matters. If you mark a word for tense, all of its constituents are tensed in the same way and remain unmarked. But tenses can stack for more complex meaning. 
In this case, the lack of understanding begins in the far past, extends to the present without ending because of the word internal <laughs> imperfective marking, of while course. the appeal of Agma Schwa is a gnomic truth. <laughs> By the way, negative words are always marked and their immediate constituents are always unmarked. Because we're adding another layer of aspect, this adds a second tree to play with. And remember, each word has oh internal syntax that's really hard to track without oh the whole no. word abstraction we did earlier. Oh that's God. all the grammar we need for now. Let's finally talk about how to pronounce these words. <laughs> Syllables are pretty okay. simple. At minimum, a syllable must have a vowel and a consonant. The consonant can be at the beginning or the end as long as the two vowels don't touch. At most, you can have two consonants in the onset and one in the coda. Also, any consonant can be syllabic symbol, right? Except not at all, because okay. all seraphim phonemes are full words in biblical Hebrew. <laughs> Except the words themselves don't matter too much. What matters for the phoneme is the word's gematria value. Oh my god. See, gematria is a cipher <laughs> yeah. that turns words into a number. There are many different versions, but Seraphim uses a slightly modified version of the Misbar Hetrechi cipher. I don't know if I pronounced any of this right, but I'm trying my best. Every consonant has a number. Add all the consonants in a word. That's how you get 666, the gematria of Nero Caesar. In Seraphim, any word will do. It doesn't actually even have to be Hebrew as long as it obeys Hebrew phonology. I will use actual Hebrew since I don't speak it, but a clever angel would select very specific phonemes to encode Hebrew prayers within their speech. The consonants are strings that add up to 1 to 10, 12, 13, 18, 20, 22, 24, 30, 40, 42, 50, 54, yeah. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 200, 248, 300, 365, 374, 400, 500, 600, 613, 700, 777, 800, and 900. If a spoken string does not add up to any of these numbers, use only the rightmost letter to calculate its phonemic score. Oh, so even though these two words have the same gematria number, they're different seraphim phonemes. The right consonant <laughs> rule also explains these phoneme numbers of no Christian significance. I don't know about other Abrahamic religions, though. That's 39 consonants. Time for vowels. The vowels are always strings that add up to 1, 3, 15, 16, 26, 45, 86, and 314. <laughs> There is one rule, okay. though. You can't use the name of God to achieve any of these numbers. It just doesn't seem respectful of Abrahamic religions to make the tetragrammatons phonemic. Maybe the fallen angel dialect has phonemic blasphemy, though. I don't know. <laughs> Each vowel is also contrasted based on three levels of brightness. Bright, extra bright, oh, yeah. and ionizing. <laughs> this is oh, yeah, often accomplished with glowing orbs near the articulators, but specifics depend on the specific angel's anatomy. So far, we have phonemic biblical Hebrew strings marked for brightness spelling out words spoken simultaneously by four mouths that correspond to nodes on a syntax tree within a larger free word order syntax tree with potentially conflicting argument structure marked with tense by trilingual phonosyntactic singing. So how the hell do you write this language down? <laughs> Phonemes are written as they yeah. would be in Hebrew, right to left. Oh, good. And the entire seraphim syllable is written left to right. So how do we show which mouths they're coming out from, though? Simple. List the morphemes like so with the highest scope at top. Choose the one with the most characters and make it to the core of the word. Then turn the other characters into diacritics depending on if they're above <laughs> or below the core morpheme. Oh the end result looks something like a Hebrew zalgo, yeah. and that's without the other three voices which aren't typically written. Now for the actual first sentence. Here's a table of the words in order of pronunciation in which mouth pronounces which glossed morpheme. Here it is with seraphic words plugged in. And here are the uh, Hebrew strings. Most of these are just random words that add up to the right it's number. Like five a real layers. angel would just effortlessly yeah. weave entire prayers into their phonemes. Here are all the words we need, in order and in the proper orthography. Great, we're done, right? Not so fast. Don't worry about that's all the grammar on that night for 4D V to T to C movement. <laughs> that's right, it's finally time for 4D V to T to C movement. See, oh God. see, Seraphim can traverse time as easily as we can move forward and backward. Why rush movement before spell out when you can move nodes after the word has been pronounced? <laughs> Fuck, this is gonna be hard. You'll need that beautiful sentence we just made, the mini internal syntax tree from earlier, and the grace of all things holy to guide your hand. <laughs> Referencing the starting tree, find A, the lexical verb, B, the TP and C, the CP. Remember, in spell out, the mouths corresponding to null nodes didn't actually say anything. So when we move the <laughs> verb to the T position for aspect prefixing, then the C position, 
The mouth remains closed, but the appropriate sound appears in front of the mouth. <laughs> because of the way Seraphine trees work with forwarding movement and prophrases instead of elision, well, uh, complement clauses give us nouns containing CPs, and those same CPs contain those same nouns. We've accidentally made infinitely recursive complement clauses, and it's an easy fix, but it's cursed, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> We've finished all the hard stuff. Time for the final translation. Oh my Except God. I'm not using the orthography because oh this pre-movement sentence took two days to finish, and I don't have time to redo it with movement and write the other two sentences. Instead, I'll model the angelic voices like so. And I will not use actual Hebrew. I will use strings of consonants that add up to the right values separated by a schwa. And I'll certainly make mistakes because I'm recording this on the day the submission is due and do not have time to check anything. <laughs> you would have had time to That was hard! If you're new to this channel, I do apologize for this incredibly cursed video. My next video is going to be way more approachable. Maybe it'll be about wugs or the plural of moose or something. Oh, and the clone videos? I'm still working on them. The next one. Okay, like, yip, okay. Yip. That was. Okay. There you go. It, the, yeah. There it was. Uh, beautiful. It's quite something, really. Absolutely uh, legendary. Uh, while you're on that, scroll down a bit and check out uh, on my screen. It's the fifth comment from the top, I think. <laughs> there, there's me. I have no regrets uh, for anything yeah. I've caused. One, two, three, four, five. The color. This one? The color notation yeah. killed me. Imagine conversing with an angel and you get blasted with 90 million <laughs> becquerels of ionizing radiation. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> it's that, and then also the fact that, like, this gust, like, the transit value for that is a benefactive. Yep. <laughs> that's funny. Oh my god. <laughs> that's, a, that's legendary. Alright, are you ready to give it a right, score? So, yeah. <laughs> Phonology I mean, goes beyond human yeah, comprehension. It's, it's, it's gotta be. Um, the Gra grammar, thing, the grammar is even more of it. If that could go beyond 100, it probably would. And Execution, same thing. Yeah, I mean, like it. Wait, there's not much else. It's it's a good thing I'm yeah. giving prizes to the top three winners because that that I feel like people <laughs> knew this was coming. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like. God damn. What are we supposed to say? It's is 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 it a conspiracy? Just because just because Babalingua and I went to the same school and we're friends in real life and. <laughs> 
he, uh, uh, it was all an inside job, and, and we did the same like type of honors thesis project and everything, and had the same professor who helped us through it all. Oh God, it's all all, all the all the dots are connected together. No, this is just really good. <laughs> I mean, to make a reference to the recent drama in the chess community, uh, the language speaks for itself. Let's there, put it that way. <laughs> there you go. The language speaks for itself. It's not because we're friends, it's not because he's yeah. a big lang, it's just genuinely one of the most legendary cursed creations ever. <laughs> okay, we ready to move on to the next one? Sure. We're about... Let's see what we can do. Number 31. We have some. We have a, a modified version of the uh, mm -hmm. the ing socks symbol from 1984 as Wait, its logo. I, I thought that looked familiar. Yeah. <laughs> so it's called that Le Kasuhaski or whatever you're gonna call it. Um, I'm not hearing any sound yet, but we'll see if there is. That uh, hopefully there is at least for the audio translation. Yeah. Pause this for a second because it goes by pretty fast. Okay, it's a priori, spoken by people in Lukasuhask, and they have a census, okay, okay. It's designed to function as if it were a natlang, however, it's cursed enough okay. to make it stay in this here contest due to its uniqueness, in quotation marks. Let's find out. <laughs> no, no, I just heard a big crowd, like, cheer outside of my house. <laughs> Why? Oh <laughs> I'm terrified. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, anyway, let's move on. Okay, <clears throat> phonology. Okay, okay. Pre pretty uh, pretty classic looking yeah. phonology, though the combinations... I mean, I guess they're just blends, so it's, so it's not too crazy. Yeah, strut, how do they... Yeah, that, that is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Ooh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. All right. Okay, okay, yes. Hmm. Now, Mr. Video, okay, there we go. Oh, <clears throat> interesting. Oh, God, this is like... Oh, it's... it's... This is like some lucky combination of Greek and runes, almost. Yeah, like it's, it's like everything put together. Greek, runes, yeah, Cyrillic, it's, 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 it's all yeah. mashed together. Interesting. It's got a good aesthetic. Interesting, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> and that'll hover for a second. There we go. Okay, oh okay, okay. okay. Well, what's yeah. going on here? Basic grammar. So we have... So masculine, feminine, and neuter. Singular, animate, plural, animate. Singular, inanimate, plural, inanimate. Collective nouns are for humans only, are assumed to be feminine unless stated otherwise, also applies to pronouns. Animate nouns are conjugated by gender and plurality, okay, then inanimate object, inanimate nouns are just conjugated by plurality, does not yeah, apply to proper sense. nouns, alright, okay, adjectives um, are not yeah. conjugated. Adjectives are placed in front of the word they modify, adverbs are placed behind. Oh, it, it should be adjectives are not declined, but... Yeah, <clears throat> but whatever, we get the point. Alright, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so here's our... Basic here's... grammar continued, let's see. Oh, th those are the pronouns, I see. Yeah, so we got nominative and possessive. I wonder if there's gonna be others. Other than nominative is optional, wait, wait. Wait, what? Wait. Oh. Possessive is optional, wait, wait. Using right. cases other than um, nominative is optional. Okay. That is interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's see what else we got in here. That's the neuter. There's still a crowd Bang. making sounds. Oh god. Quirks and Easter eggs. Root words are almost non-existent. Almost non-existent. Okay. How does that work? Some Eight. basic words are really long for oh, no reason. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Orange. Orange is le col kuchel Oh no. Almost homonyms. Oh no. <laughs> God. Oh god. Oh god. 
ही आत्मा शुहा जे एन एल क्वी ते हो मी इन वुड्स ही मेल फुलनेस मेल एम एस आर एल शे एल एल कुर के वर्श शे वी ते हो से लेवल के शास ने मी मी उमर से वाल वालेश ने शे वी ते हो शे स्कास के एन वेस मी इन वुड्स Wurzelnes mel vemesar nuska nuska kesne ne al kesni sal um mimu el kaskete me utvese umal se in vula mi as umal se narkus valis ke elenese vas in vula in pasa kruhe hela mesel ken malku helf Got him. Uh, it's it, it's definitely aesthetic. Like it, it's it's it, whatever con world that's a part of seems mm. pretty entertaining. Yeah. All right. Let's go on to the next one. Mm. The forty one. Right. How many submissions are there actually? Forty three. Forty three. So Please. number forty one is from Reddit. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Reddit. I'm pretty sure someone's already done this, but I hope your right ear doesn't mind this atrocity I made last minute showcase video. Your right ear? Oh no, I can see what. The oh, this has 15k views too. All right. Ooh. Okay. Let's let's find out. Oh, this is literally just the right channel. By me. <laughs> okay. And like most things I do, it contains minimal effort. But I still think it's kind of funny. I don't know if it's really cursed. I mean, it's slightly cursed, but it's not like terribly cursed. But we'll it see. Is what it is. And we'll We're be commenting in stereo. It. We're gonna start with our phonography and orthology, um, and the, the phonology table is uh, this. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so, so, da, cha, fa, so, da. Ex so, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> um, that uh, implosive is actually supposed to be an African. D. But I couldn't find a uh, oh, God. symbol for that, so I just went with that one. And uh, those are the letters that we use to represent them. Um, if you'll notice, um, one of them is capital. Capitalization okay. matters. And also <laughs> that question mark is not one. <laughs> okay. We're gonna get to that next slide. No. Um, which we're going to tap on now. So. We have two different types of su, technically three. We have su, we have crescendo, su, s, and decrescendo, su, s. Oh, um, oh, also, oh no. Okay. Stuff with stress, um, which is phonemic, but you know, just as phoneme, stress doesn't matter for anything else. And also we just use a hyphen to separate stuff because it gets really okay. messy. Anyways, loan words are um, replaced with e and <laughs> read it off page or screen or something, or you um, write it with your finger in the air, and because you're the one writing it and facing it, the other person has to read it backwards. Um, so that's fun. Uh, it's totally normal, <laughs> happens all the time. So let's go to our grammar. Uh, it's OSV word order. We have nominative, accusative, ablative, allative cases, and a continuous verb tense in a passive voice, but no present, past, future, none of that. We don't need that. Um, hmm. We do have some prefix <laughs> markers okay. for adjectives and adverbs, and we have a negation marker that literally has no rules to how you use it. You can do whatever you want with it. You could, I don't know, throw it out a window. Um, we also have four different persons. Wait, I didn't write that. The following is a spoken sample. Oh. Oh, oh this is going to suck. Oh, that was good. 
Yeah, that's it. Bye. That, that was almost like beatboxing. Oh my god. That, that, was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. One way of describing it, to me it sounded more like a locomotive, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The fact that sure. the one vowel is just a never-endingly lengthening E. <laughs> yeah. It looked like you're beeping out the name or something like that. Yeah, exactly. I'll give it a 95. All right. Next, number 26. Uh, this isn't a real submission. This is a, this is a, a single image joke that was presented right. to me by Duncan Salt, um, who, who said it would be really funny if it was just like <sighs> in the list of the actual submissions. So, ah, yeah, oh my god, yeah. that's like... That, <laughs> that reminds me of something completely unrelated, but yes. <laughs> There's this thing called the International Obfuscated C Code Contest, where basically people attempt to write the most first C programs possible. It's like actually this, but for C programs. Oh my god. There's, there was like one submission where someone submitted an empty program once because it compiled. So they had to add a rule that this allowed just that made it so that you'd have to actually have a character of text in the submission. <laughs> <laughs> so this yeah. Is like that. The, this is this is the equivalent of that. It's just the entire dictionary uh, yeah. recorded translation. Uh, <laughs> in that language, but it means exactly this. <laughs> um, so definitely uh. straight 100 all the way across. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty much an N.A., but, uh, I'll, I'll... Yeah, I I'll, think we can leave it at this, at, like, division by zero error. That, I think, is a good yeah, way of... Yeah, yeah, divided by like zero. That, that's, that's a perfect that, score that, for that's this thrilling. one. That's <laughs> All right, that was a quick one. Now, on to 12. 12 is sent to me on Discord. Let's get browser discord open oh god all right along with the pain owie <laughs> okay by arnifnuff it's 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 so easy to type out people's names like for people that you know on yeah. discord but then like when you have to actually try and say it out loud it's anyway yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay do you want to read it or shall i um uh I, i'll do one more you could do the next one all okay. right so design philosophy confront the pain. So sounds come from onomatopoeia for pain, of course. Voiceless <laughs> obstruents and a few liquids, but no nasals. Morphology based on filling gaps between consonants in roots. Omnipredicativity. That's a hard word. Every root is verbal by default. Head marking and incorporation. Mandatory marking of pain level on verbs, okay? Painful concepts are relatively easy or convenient to express. So the name of the language, Owie, is a pun on Owie. <laughs> and the fact that this language emphasizes pain. That's pretty good. So Owie is an approximation. Of, oh yeah, spelled that way, meaning I am in excruciating pain. <laughs> okay, are you ready for the pain? A quote Martin Tantacruel Carey. Oh god. So the phonology, pataka a fasaka ha wa ra la. I mean, it's more of a ra, I think, because it's down there, but whatever. Wa ra la ya la. And then vowels, a a o. E to a, a, and a to a. Okay. Alright, and then vowel variants, we have nasal and creaky, oh, but no, also no. pharyngealized versions of all of them. Pharyngealized nasal. Woo! Not gonna try that. Pharyngealized nasal vowel. Brilliant. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. And then there are uh, syllabic versions for all of them, uh, but they're alphones, I guess. Um, <laughs> okay, so we have. It has two orthographies, linear and analytic. Linear is just broadly transcribed IPA, except syllabic wa, well, ya, yeah, and the are written as u, e, and e, respectively. Analytic orthography oh. is tied to a is tied to the recursive, purely non-concatenative morphology, and cannot be explained adequately without that context. Okay. So morphology. All roots consist of three or four consonants with a specific semantic domain. So fasayaka means to consume and kahaka means cold. Kind of like Arabic or pithom. Interesting. So all roots are combina combinatorially 
damn, oh, unique. <laughs> no two roots have the same sorry. sense of consonants. No root has any consonants more than once, and all roots codified after October 25th were randomly generated with arbitrarily assigned meanings. Morphology so, happens. Like, yeah, this is just this, this, this our strategy. Combination in maths, in case you don't know, uh, for the little who you wouldn't know, is if you take elements but the order doesn't matter so combinatorial leak means that even if you shuffle the consonants it's still the same as opposed to permutations right yeah as opposed to variations in which the order matters and yeah so oh god all right yeah. <clears throat> morphology happens by inserting after each consonant one of a vowel a null zero morphine or a root with all spaces filled okay so, person marking. Space after the first consonant of any root is for the subject or agent marking. The space after the second consonant of any four consonant root is for object marking. Oh god, okay. Uh, mar marking for class is first person, second person, uh, human, non-human, animate, inanimate, locative, and abstract. Oh god. Locative is just slapped in there? <laughs> oh god. Locative, first person, and inanimate are in the same category. Uh, okay. 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 okay, number, singular, popular, plural. plural, and relativity is relative or not relative, okay? Oh, but both subjects and object spaces use the same set of person markers. Fully formed nouns can also be incorporated into these slots as appropriate. Person markers. So first person, oh god, okay, so there's literally just a vowel applied, and, oh, and no. then for abstract it's null. Oh, abstract people, of course. <laughs> And then, so our number is, uh, oh god, the number is what yields a nasal, modal, or creaky oh, no. <laughs> vowel sounds. Oh, no. And, and, oh, and pockle is the default. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Pockle abstract is the default. <laughs> oh my god. god. Oh wait, you missed something, Agma. Rel oh, relativization is marked with pharyngealization. <laughs> Abstract nouns are agnostic to number. That makes sense. Oh god. Okay. Relative forms. What is this old Irish? Yeah, seriously. Morphology, tense aspect and pain. <laughs> <laughs> T-A-P, the classic. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the penultimate slot marks the following. Tense, past or non-past. Aspect, aorist, perfect or continuous. And pain, the amount of overall suffering that was either required to complete the action or has resulted or, or will result from it, whichever is greater. <laughs> Six degrees of pain can be marked. None, mild, moderate, severe, very severe, and the worst pain imaginable. Oh god. The, the it, penultimate slot is for all of that. Yeah, yeah, here it is. It's 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 conjugated that way. Oh god, it's just it's the same thing again. It's more it vowels. Is. <laughs> it's the vowels and, and, and it's just based on the position in there. Oh god. And then, oh, no. <laughs> and then wait, pharyngealness goes on a moderate to mild to none <laughs> scale. Oh god. <laughs> ah. oh god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, mode. Mode encompasses finite moods and non-finite functions. So, finite moods are indicative, subjunctive, imperative, interrogative. Then, our non-finite modes are nominal, which turns a word into a noun. If no person marking is relative, then the word becomes a complementary phrase. And if person marking is relative, then the verb is nominalized. That's actually a pretty cool feature oh god adverbial turns a word into an adverb or adjective and we makes no distinction between adverbs and adjectives since all nouns are just nominalized verbs and instrumental a special causative adverb to mark the reason or means for an action not the only way to express instrumentality okay cool. and there's our mode marking right there again the oh, vowels <laughs> and then for some reason written in papyrus font on the bottom <laughs> you have nominals are made de definite by pharyngealizing the nominal morpheme actually okay okay morphology root reordering the order of consonants in a root can be changed from morphology all roots can be negated by reversing the order of consonants example that they are sharp versus that which is they are not sharp um 
<laughs> Pronouncing it is the award. It's the reward for winning. <laughs> I, I'll... Uh, Roll, 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 uh, whatever. I'm not doing it. It's not my responsibility <laughs> yet. <laughs> this is where the combination part of it comes in. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, no. It really is a, the combination. Yep. So, four consonant roots can be made medio passive by inverting, swapping the first and second consonants, and then the third and fourth consonants. So, oh God. So that with S W K X becomes W S X K for did you painfully push them versus were you painfully pushed by them? <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh god. Using only the second slot of an invented verb gives reflective connotation. For example, that makes it did you painfully push yourself? And then medio passive roots can also be negated by reversal. Wow. Roots of position and motion. Certain four constant roots describe the position and or motion of their subject relative to an object. In their standard form, the consonant, uh, the first consonant determines whether or not the root describes static position or dynamic motion of the subject relative to the object. The second consonant describes the position of the subject relative to the object. The third consonant describes the orientation of the subject relative to the object. And the fourth <laughs> consonant describes nothing and is always H. Oh no. <laughs> okay. 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 And then roots of position and motion for formation. Ah, oh jeez. Okay. okay, so literally all of them have a specific meaning attached to them. So this is like... What's, what's the term for it? Like... What's in basic? It reminds me of Ithquil. Kind of, yeah. A Lego synthetic. Yeah, one of those. Yeah, but this. So this is this is the reason why they specified at the beginning that all the words created after that certain date were randomly generated because they all <laughs> apparent before that they all apparently had like extremely specific meanings associated with them in terms of their position and stuff like that. Oh God. So root nesting. Apart from vowels, fully formed roots can also be inserted after the consonants of another root. Oh no. Oh no. The root may be nested inside of a matrix root to form a word. The <laughs> matrix is the root that directly contains the element in question. Yeah. The highest level root of a word is the matriarch. Indef infinite nesting is allowed, but nesting more than two levels deep is rarely necessary. Okay. <laughs> So, valency is increased by nesting certain roots into the subject and or object slots of intransitive verbs. So, TWPS, to hit or strike with no aspect in adverbial mode in the subject slot in the matrix root, makes it causative. Oh god, there it is. Transitive. So, the subject and the object are nested in the root and become part of that matrix. So, for SWR, dead, being inserted into that means I killed it and the death was extremely violent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so ro roots of location and motion can be nested similarly to add indirect objects to a, a verbal root. Can also be nested inside of another valency changing root. Wow. Oh no. So aspects. Roots relating to the flow of actions can be nested into the tense aspect and pain slot of the matrix root. Aspectual roots have no subject or object and are adverbial. The tense and aspect of the nested root applies to the matrix root. So if you have SWKX for push, TPKX for continue, then putting it there means I continue to push it with moderate difficulty. <laughs> There you go. This is like a super engineered lang. I kind of like it. Yeah. This is wild. We're only halfway through it. Hopefully most of that's a dictionary at the end. We can hope. Um, yeah, for causatives, reversing the nested root and the matrix root have different meanings. Reversing the nested TWPS indicates that the agent did not cause the object to perform the matrix root's action. Reversing the matrix root indicates that the agent prevented the object from performing to the matrix root's action. Oh god. Compared. I see, I see. Yeah. I didn't cause them to do it, and I caused them not to do it. Yep, yep. Compare with RL for sharp, 
You have that for I did not cause them to painfully become sharp. <laughs> and then I made them become not sharp. And it was gruesome. <laughs> <laughs> Causatives are made made of you passive by inverting the nested root. Indirect objects uh, roots can be similarly reversed and inverted. Like with causatives, reversing the aspect root and its matrix give different meanings. Reversing the nested root negates the aspect. Reversing the matrix root negates the general action. Compare pa-a-ya-ka to use. So we have the first one. I continued to not use it, and I wasn't using it before, and that hasn't yeah. changed. And then you have the other one, which is I did not continue to use it. Wow. Aspectual yeah, roots are never inverted while nested, although their matrix can be inverted. Syntax. Exclusively head final. Standard word order is SOV. All sentences must end with a finite verb. Okay. No set adjective or adverb order, provided that they all precede the noun and verb they describe. Incorporation in subordinate clauses is strongly encouraged but not required. Vocabulary. Owie has no fixed vocabulary, but a codified set of 120 roots plus the 42 roots of position and motion, of course. Language theoretically supports up to 1,001 unique roots. That's good. That's all right. 286 possible trilateral roots and 715 possible quadrilateral <laughs> roots. Uh, similar to Tokipona, small vocabulary yields several ways to represent one concept. Derivational strategies is nesting, modifying with adverbials, oh, we saw. Does does not support loan words. All terms must be calced. No roots directly relating to joy, love, or happiness, but there is a root for calm and melancholy. Melancholy, of course. And then the analytic orthography. Elucidates the structure of a word by writing a root as a single symbol followed by the set of items after each of its consonants. Negation is indicated with a colon after the root symbol, and then inversion is indicated with a vertical pipe. Okay, ne negative and inverted roots can also have a colon or pipe in either order as long as they both immediately follow the relevant root. Vowel qualities are written in a way that resembles Vietnamese. Oh god. <laughs> because nothing says pain like Vietnamese orthography. <laughs> that is certified truth. Certified truth. The null is written with a comma. <laughs> oh god. Phonation and pharyngealization are indicated with diacritics. Great. And so there's some of the diacritics. Okay, that makes sense. All of this makes relative sense. Um... It, having nasal and creaky distinguish each other is definitely very cursed and thus yields a cursed set of diacritics. Oh boy. Alright, and then the analytic orthography for everything else. Oh god, the base root for dynamic oh, no. is an upside down V versus a capital normal V. Uh. Oh, it is a V. <laughs> oh god. Oh. And then one dot, two dots, none. Okay. And then the analytic orthography in action. Oh god, it ends up looking like that. Yeah, that sure shortens it, alright? <laughs> and I, I can definitely see the Vietnamese inspiration in there. <laughs> mm. God, this is the. This speech is dehydrating me. <laughs> um, alright. Analytic orthography. Why? It is extremely well with Owie's morphology, showing not just what roots there are, but what their contents are. Allows easy analysis of word and structure. Yeah, super easy. Analytic orthography is, um, is a pre-order traversal of an Owie <laughs> word represented as a tree, where the nodes and roots, their children, are the nested elements, and the leaves are the individual vowels. Pre-order traversal, what is the program language? Oh my god. Obfuscates pronunciation, mostly in exchange for clarity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, obfuscate pronunciation in exchange for clarity. Yeah, I guess kanji in Japanese is the same thing. Okay, that makes sense. Analytic orthography as a string or tree. Oh god, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> the lines represent the constants of the root, and the child that it connects to the matrix root is whatever follows the constant immediately. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, and here's the copy pasta. Three sentences of it. So, oh god. Oh, no. So there, there it is, linear, analytic, and analytic with the applicable parentheses. <laughs> Woo! I hope there's an audio recording of this somewhere. I really, Hopefully, really do. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah. <laughs> that is beautiful looking. What will follow? Copy pasta analysis. Oh god. So is it just like a. Okay. Woo! 
So that's what the rest of this is, wait, isn't it? Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, Spoken no. <laughs> Though contained by he who gives rise to excruciating languages, the translation <laughs> He who creates excruciating languages. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Which isn't painful at all. Appeal. Yeah, appeal isn't painful at all. I'm and, really not familiar with it. And that's severe, of course. Oh my god. Bro, it was moving from in front of him, causing severe pain as it moved. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. As though it has started it. So, and that's, that's mild. That which is seen resulting in severe pain. <laughs> <laughs> the video, a painful one. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this so is ex the fact that someone makes the person who sees it feel disgust that is excruciatingly utilized. Damn. <laughs> we start okay. All right. Which is seen painful. <laughs> <laughs> the video of that which is seen painful. As though it sits before me and faces me with only moderate pain. Obviously. <laughs> Yes. You switch to groove music temporarily. Let's listen. Obstenso, for that set to hey, Wow. That was that was really smooth and simple. Jeez. Yeah. Dang, that that's 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 really good. Okay, I'm ready to go to scoring on that one. Now the grammar that is like I'm gonna give that a solid like 99 right there. That that was that was cool. All right, I liked it. All right, I'm gonna clear out some tabs real quick before we go on to the <laughs> next one. Woo! All right, number 19. Number 19 was emailed to me by Googleplex Gaming. Fl oh, <laughs> Flan the language hey. of Ned Flanders, diddly doodly. That needs, uh, okay, who is Ned Flanders? What? Okay, yeah, I guess you don't watch modern Western media. Um, Ned. From, oh, is that someone from The Simpsons? I've never seen an episode of The Simpsons. Yeah, Ned Ned Flanders is like the. The comically nice uh, neighbor in The Simpsons, and and he always like, he and he always like ends his sentences by saying things like a diddly diddly, a diddly diddly daddle, or stuff stuff like that. Okay, <laughs> and okay, so, so basically, the joke of this is that it's going to be just like a massive load of diddly doodlies. <laughs> At least oh, I assume that's oh. what it's going to end up being. I suppose I should read this one now. Cursed conlang out of the way Ned Flanders speaks in The Simpsons. <laughs> I'd like it. Intelligent syllable structure. Let me scroll down. Jeez. There you go. I remember what I said about pronouncing these. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. But what even is the one. What even is the retroflex D with a curl? What even is that? <laughs> Retro like, I know the IPA pretty well, but I can't remember that one. What the heck is this Y with like the frickin' What's tail the shooting at? The oh no! <laughs> what? How is that even. <laughs> oh, see what? <laughs> oh god. I am interested to see how that plays out. Right. A graphical note when a plosive and a fricative of the same place of articulation are together, but not in Africa. They are separated with a hyphen. Oh okay. god, okay. Example, what the fuck is that? <laughs> what do you mean? Where's the fricative? I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's the fricative? Of course it's the, you know? Oh, it's the spelling, I see. Oh my Naturally, god. Of course it yeah, is. yeah. Grammar. In short, diddly doodly is a polysynthetic agglutinative language with tripart of language, okay, <laughs> and changing word order. There's many Navajo tank words. Oh god. Okay, and the language has a formal divine gender. 
because Flanders is already polite and is even more polite in church. Because <laughs> Vani's not using the text due to some formality. What? Alright. Okay, Vine is informal, okay. Oh my god. Sure. Sentence structure will really change based on sentence sentiment. Okay, so this is just it's like hyper pirates. I in a see. in a way it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think hyper pirate does that too, where it just shuffles stuff around. Yeah. It has twenty one cases, four tenses, eight aspects and three plurals? Oh, what? <laughs> okay. This is be complicated for typical language. All of these are suffixes. Okay, so this is all the cases. Oh, these are no, it these keeps are going. Suffixes, it keeps mind. going. Oh, God. <laughs> what is it? What even Florals. is ornative and ornative semblative? I mean, I, I can re recognize these words because I know Latin, but I don't know what the semblative case does. Yeah. What ornative means in the context of grammar. God damn. The default <laughs> tense is the past. Plural? What? What is that? A tense. Okay, oh no. Plural, plural two together. What has both a tense and plural so the tense goes first. Past, present, future, future, past. Single and single for nouns. <laughs> okay. Oh god. And it keeps going. Plural, plural for nouns, collective plural for nouns. Oh, so wait, wait, wait. Did by three plurals, maybe they just meant three numbers and they didn't know the word for number. Yeah, yeah, numbers. yeah, probably. Singular is not exactly a plural or, or well. Alright. Aspects, uh, okay. Uh, seven of them, alright, alright, including um, momentane, interesting. Obviously we have no perfective aspect because who needs that? Yeah, yeah. And then, um, oh god. So when verbs are actually turned to nouns, the first syllable of the root word is reduplicated. It is hyperpyrite. <laughs> oh. Hyperpyrite is it's the other way around, I think. Yeah. It takes you to replicate it to something. Yeah. When nouns are turned into verbs, the last syllable of the root is reduplicated. The word has one syllable, the vowel, and everything after it is reduplicated, okay? <laughs> when nouns or verbs are turned to adjectives, it is marked with a question mark pronounced that. It is hyperpyrite. This, this is similar <laughs> to hyperpyrite. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no. Also, look at the pronunciation of that. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway. Negation, the second syllable is replicated, and L is added for the replication. Okay. All right. All Plus right. Those are the only prefixes. Genders. <laughs> the formal divine gender system rather than an informal formal system. You can change the word of every morpheme in the word to become divine. Oh god. They, they just basically... Here we go. Oh, Hello god. Agnishwar. This is the Agnishwar diatribe in my cursed conlang. Deadly deadly. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I can just imagine, like, I can just imagine, like, uh, <laughs> like Ned Flanders, like, uh, coming into his house, like, to, to say goodnight to his kids and just being like, <laughs> just like, let me go up to the microphone and just. <laughs> <laughs> it, it definitely went with its constraints really well. Very, 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 very diddly. Very... Yeah, phonology is quite something, let's be honest. Yeah. Um, grammar, 
for that. A nice and even score for once. Wow. Um, yeah. All right. Now, next is actually number 34. Number 34 on Reddit. Probably the fifth or sixth video I've ever made. It's a YouTube video. Okay. Okay. Hello, everyone. Today I'll be talking about my language, Mlinoya, also known as Nasht Kel Mlinoya, the language of curses. The goal or joke of a language that is a magical language that has both a magical and common register, as I'm calling them, but both of them are awful. Both the phonology and grammar make it almost <laughs> impossible for people to learn if they want to learn magic. For the phonology, I wanted to keep it in the realm of realism, but I also wanted to make it quite odd and quirky. There are a lot of large and awkward consonant clusters, as well as a pretty large vowel set. Uh, as for the unique sounds, there's a labial lateral sound, le, three whistles, a short flat one, a long one, <laughs> oh, no. and a short contoured one. Oh, as well as a lot of reduplication that gives it a sort of bouncy, funny, magical sound. Here's a quick look at the consonants. And oh, a quick look at the vowels. Oh, wait a second. That was too uh, quick. I want to look at that for right. a second. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty big phonology right there. Oh, we, we have uh, you have some uh, What are what are those the, those little diacritics weren't those like labialization markers or something? I don't know um, Oh, that's bidental. Oh god So that's, that's not like that's not teeth to tongue. That's teeth to teeth. Uh Okay, I'm back now. Discord suddenly just decided to crash. Ah, I see, I see. Well, I'm looking- Commenting I'm on the seven. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Alright, let's- and then the vowels. Here's a quick look at the consonants. And the vowels, big wow. inventory, but not crazy radical. But there are Nothing whistles and stuff strange. in there too, so we'll see. <laughs> That's true. And a quick look at the vowels. So I mentioned magical and common register. You may wonder what that means. The division between common and magical register came about because native speakers feared accidentally casting magic. So the common register is a result of their solution to avoid accidental magic. Uh, there's three main ways to cast magic, the vocative, the optative, and the imperative. <laughs> so you have <laughs> In the common register, the vocative was replaced by a set of nine honorifics. Oh God. The present tense Horrifics. added a particle, oh. which was formed by a verb of pleading. The optative was more or less merged with the pre-existing subjunctive. And the modern imperative is a pretty complex construction. It consists of five words, which are a neo-imperative, the word please, the proper honorific, and a two-word phrase that translates to something like without forcing you or without harming you. So a direct translation of the modern imperative would be something like please, sir, without forcing you, eat or whatever the situation may be. <laughs> mm. Quick okay. fact, the negative honorific Mashu actually derives from the name of the infamous character spoken of in the ancient text, whose name was Ahumashwa. <laughs> nouns, there are 11 noun classes, one for each of the 10 schools of magic, and one for non -magic. The magical classes have five cases, which are pretty much straightforward but it gets a bit more difficult because each class has its own declension pattern and the non-magical class has 33 cases all of which derive from different post positions or particles the magical cases answer the questions who is casting the magic what is the objective of the magic where is the magic being cast who what or where does the magic come from and the vocative <laughs> Okay. Verbs are similar to the nouns, that there are ten magical conjugations and one non-magical. There are also two or three tenses, three aspects, and five moods. Mm -hmm. For the magical conjugations, each magical verb class has its own class infix, which is combined with a root to create a spell. The first class is light, which mostly deals oh. with healing and protection. And if you add the okay. root for healing, right. you get... Svendinanna Hilekura, which means I heal. <laughs> wow. Similarly, for the elemental, if you add the root for lightning or electricity, 
you get which means something like I zap or I electrocute. You can also mix and match roots and class infixes. So for example, <laughs> if we have we get I heal by electrocute, which is sort of like a magical defibrillator. So that's not just conjugations, that's agglutinating too. Next, wow. what I did was I took the root for fire and I put it with the different infixes for five different magical classes. So we get which means I cauterize. We have Jenanna Ognerusi, Jenanna Skrutko Koracho, Jenanna Izenz Delerio, Jenanna Quinarhul. And then finally, we have the ancient text. The ancient text. Ongrachabom, Menelka Menelka, Monk Pitkahi, Alalawom, Blurka and Ostrith, the child of me. Agma Schwab Theru Gedush Gedusha Matodrech Te Blöschi Blöschni Nelkach Nelkach Lungachne Bunde Babrochi Alla Te Blösch Te Blösch Singlarachi Petanana Alle Ach Nagi Lungach Nagi Te Blösch Te Blösch Lagarma schwa hept nana. Alla, Xangan gastre. Grachlea. Jui, knap knea. Menelka menelka. Om. Sond kache. Alla, om. Xangan gach <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, I feel like I really? could hear his heartbeat through the microphone towards the end of it. <laughs> but yeah, that was that was beautiful. That oh, was that, that was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> but I really loved how just like how awkwardly out of place the freaking whistles were. <laughs> so I'm, I'm inclined to give I'm inclined to give this one a boost for. Uh, <laughs> for the the beautiful whistles and stuff. Yeah, I mean, don't worry about it. All right, now 25. 25. This is from Ram. Another duplicate. Oh god, oh no. Oh no. All right. I, I believe we saw in the room where they mentioned K-Bop, so Oh no. Oh no. So this right. is lingui so and why it's off the abbreviation for <laughs> Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Funnel fun 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 Yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> it has exactly one hundred and sixty one consonants. The chart can be found at the next slide. It's not gonna fit, is it oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, oh god. Oh. Oh no. Like, wait. The main thing that I've learned from these submissions is that it's possible to compose worse tables than what you usually come up with. So that That is true. Impressive. You, you use that as inspiration. But how does, how does this even become so big? It looks like all of it, except for the last yeah, like, four rows, uh, are in the have mouth. A ton of places of articulation. Oh yeah, you have labio dental, upper labio, labio dental. dental. In the labio dental, labio, 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 I guess. Cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. they're they're velar alveolar combos. Alveolar, good god. Oh my god. Lots of that of course are bimanual strong. <laughs> bimanual, bimanual weak man and manual. Manual facial. <laughs> so you, so the at symbol is like is slapping. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. So we have like okay, sure. Oh no lol lol lol. Fun, 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 lo, 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 l
Yes. Phenomenology. 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 Phenomenology is not helping here. Uh, oh, no. It has 40 vowels, nine of which are diphthongs. This makes for 201 unique signs. <laughs> also very important. Very important. Okay. As you can tell, the swelling tone is smaller than 464 unique vowels. Disappointing. <laughs> Very tragic, I know. Very right. tragic. J just, just every it single conceivable vowels. value. I feel like this is all vowels in the IPA or something like that. Essentially, essentially, yeah. A little bit of white space in there. I don't know what you could have done there. <laughs> oh my god! All right, and then <laughs> other funnel la 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 logy. Follows the DVLM syllable structure. M stands for magic. <laughs> For non manual consonant, alpha, natal, erotic, and lateral to liquid, that makes sense. Oh, good. Ah. the most logical and intuitive. Oh! What is this <laughs> Word stress and then just both hold some sense, some meaning in the language. Word stress is indicated by italicizing the stress syllables, and sentence stress is indicated by bolding the stressed words. <laughs> and yeah, then more important, look at the table. Also, yes, it has to be in Times New Roman. Yeah, it probably does because you'll you'll have a hard time finding another font that supports all of these letters. But also, they say in Comic Sans, yes, it has to be a Times New Roman. That is true, so if that's a Times New Roman, then we have four different fonts on here. Oh, have Times New Roman, Comic Sans, whatever font is on the slide, and whatever font is in the title. I think the title is like Charis uh, SIL or something. So we have at least four different fonts on the slide. <sighs> and emojis, of course. Gosh. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Nouns. Noun classes. Five noun classes that are as follows human, time, natural, <laughs> regiments, and other. Human nouns called humans, common pets, dogs, and cats, body parts, and corpses of all the above, languages, etc. Time nouns is most second seconds, minutes, hours, days, months, years, decades, as well as all abstract nouns. Interesting. <laughs> Natural nouns include all plants, most animals, all bacteria, and all protists. <laughs> Measurement nouns include U.S. customary units for length measurement, U, uh, for weight <laughs> measurement, for size measurement, and for fluid measurement. Right. Uh, other nouns are, de are defenestrated into the other country. <laughs> defenestrated. Oh God. All right. Let's see. Throw out a window for the people who don't know what defenestrated means. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Noun affixes. There's another table of noun affixes. They are fixed for the following, the exact order they are mentioned in. Funniness relative to Dash's anti What? I don't know that one. I also don't know that one. What is this? What is this link to? No this lag. is a reference. Jacob is the chicken, and, no, and fuck Peter you. Griffin. <laughs> Peter Griffin is the link. Oh. All right. <laughs> okay, uh, we have more affixes. Size relative to a Ford F. 150, is that a car? <laughs> Might be. Yeah, it is. One it is. to 10. Danger pose relative to shoe. Strength relative <laughs> to a 042 dart monkey. Intelligence <laughs> relative to Joe Biden. Age and years relative to Super Mario Galaxy. Sweetness relative to a sugar cookie. Smelliness relative to a high school bathroom. Oh, God. Heat in degrees centigrade, at least they got that right. Relative oh, to God. New York City's current temperature. At least not Arizona's. Okay. Volume relative to slamming a door. Skill relative to Saul Goodman. Latitude relative <laughs> to Paris. Longitude relative to Uganda's capital. Altitude and height relative to Mount McKinley. And oddness relative to the number 17. Each affix changes based on their magnitude from minus greater than equal to three to plus greater than or equal to three. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Also, <laughs> any can be ignored if they are unknown or and or equal to. Jeez. So the, this is a certified K-Bot moment in here. Yeah. <laughs> certified K-Bot moment. <laughs> All right. 
Verbs, oh god, this was just nouns. Oh no. The conjugated for, oh god, in this order. Believability is relative to saying that Great Britain has invaded 92% of countries. <laughs> Truthfulness relative to Amber Heard. <laughs> Happy the action makes you relative to Twitch collapsing. Oh god. The studio was relative to, J to the J Schlatt opening. Okay. Truthfulness <laughs> relative to arguing about politics online. And when the action happened relative to the establishment of Rome. <laughs> Those of you with a keen eye may notice that some of the web offices have confusing literal meanings. This is by design to compensate. Some of them have different meanings that than they say they do. For example, this suffix doesn't actually mean one less truthful than Amber Heard. The real meaning is a lie told with great confidence as to sound true. Okay. All right. Oh, look at the left. Look at the left to have trauma from after seven twenty three. <laughs> <laughs> That's when Rome was founded, if I recall correctly. So, I always uh, thought it was 756 BC, but I guess this person's gone with the... Yeah, yeah I'm not sure. Whatever. It might have been 53. It actually, it probably was 53. So, you know, some, so somewhere around there. Somewhere around that, yeah. Adjectives, adverbs, not all the other modifiers. Oh, God. Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Every noun can have, to, can have up to two adjectives. One before and one after. Adjectives are affixed onto the nouns they modify with a hyphen. When a noun has two adjectives, the more important one comes before and the less important after. Each adjective can have up to two adverbs modifying them. Unlike with adjectives modifying nouns, adverbs are affixed to the the adjective. The adjective's primary adverb is on the same side as the adjective as the adjective is on the noun as the secondary is on the opposite side of the adjective. <gasps> verbs can have up to two adverbs identical to nouns taking adjectives. Adverbs cannot take adverbs under any circumstances, but that, that makes sense, I suppose. <laughs> God. God. Sentences. Oh, Punctuation. God. End of statement of question. End of demand. End of request. <laughs> end of convention of sentence. Oh. That was <laughs> I love that one. With Matilde. End of sarcastic sentence start and end of quote. Okay, so end of a sarcastic segment with. Well, what, what is WI? With? Within. Within. I've never seen that one before. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I've only about used with and without. <laughs> Interesting. Within, that makes sense. I've got to start using this. End of sentence, with this, which is related to the next. End of text before a list of so like, Okay, yeah, sure. Nice. Informal second person plural direct object pronoun in speech. <laughs> <laughs> I love eating red bricks after 273 BC. <laughs> Honestly, I need to look up when Rome was founded now because they keep mentioning 723. I'm pretty Brand sure it was 756 or 753, but... It was 753, you were right. There we go. 753. Mm-hmm. And then we have this sentence on the right, which, don't ask me what that means, I have no idea whatsoever. Oh my god. Maybe that's, I love eating red bricks after 723 BC. I assume so, I assume so. And now, and now the part oh god. Waiting for. There it is. And is no okay yeah. <laughs> now it's that's a lot of clapping and face slapping. <laughs> yep. Fina nows sakum thoyaum the chihuma i anya nyavi we milk a jot we thoy ni ne. Uh, the voyage. Yeah. But we get the Gosh. point that that's the that is quite it's it's quite disturbing. Cursed, yeah. All right. At the moment, I don't think that are to the point. Various axes of things. So I'll I'll give it I'll give it a boost for that. Number thirty-two. This one is split into multiple posts. Like that. Okay. E. E. My goals are beyond your understanding. Okay, so this is the E language, which means my goals are beyond your understanding. <laughs> its main goal is to get as ridiculous as possible while still remaining debatably functional. Let's get to the phonology. Well, you see, E is not meant for humans to speak. It's for the higher levels of chat entities. So it's <laughs> impossible for humans to speak proper E. 
but there is a humanized version of the pronunciation, so I can only pronounce that. The consonants are pa, ba, ta, da, fa, va, kha, ts, shtk, xpits, pts, r, ch, sh, mts, A's are pronounced as like, mm, but differently. So starting from the first one there, I just spit it out not only the entire phonology of E, but also the entire dictionary. Because of E, every word okay. is a phoneme. And I hope you can see the dictionary on the screen right now. Oh, God. For the details, you can pause the video. Let's see the grammar. You can see the grammar here, all the eight rolls, and you can st stop and um, read because the video will be too long. And finally, <laughs> uh, the wait, wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> wait, 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 okay, okay. One, use Lenny face at the exact middle of the sentence. If there's not exa an exact middle of the sentence, then duplicate it randomly. <laughs> the sentence structure is... <laughs> A, B, L, N, E, C, D. Oh my god. Well, A, B, C, D are for phoneme, mor mor morphemes, and those are numbers. First construct sentence in English, and then mix the words by generating random numbers. <laughs> oh god. My hovercraft is full of eels, which would be my flying structure existing abundant of sea creatures. <laughs> seven frames of words, I will have seven numbers. Oh god. Oh Jeez. god. <laughs> e uses a base 3.7. 3. 3. 3.7 numbers. Which is, you know, E. <laughs> God. Of what? course it is. Is it E or long? What? Or wait, or was E 2.7? I think E, like, as, like, the, the, the natural logarithm base was, like, 2.73 oh, repeating. Oh, you mean, like, uh, all those numbers, that's 2.718281. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so unfortunate. That that would have been a good reference there if that was uh if that matched. Fun, yeah. yeah. Um <laughs> And finally, this here is the translation of the first three sentences of that comment. Um you can see the pronunciation from the first ones. So I hope I don't need to pronounce all the these monstrosity. But, and I use the skull because I think that the don't continue the video was a cringe act. <laughs> well, oh, you did, but you did, and you had to. <laughs> Oh, 
Now there's there's there was no uh, there's no gloss, but you could see three Lenny faces in there, so you could imply that it was three sentences. All right. <laughs> well, there you go. There's that one. That was number thirty-two. All right. So. Oh, fourteen is Draconex. Okay. All right. Would you look at that? Sit back and watch as. Oh uh, no. Ju yep. Deal with a mean magma. Is that the fear of clowns? Yes, it is the fear of clowns. Yep. So Drac had no idea that uh, Babalingua also had a clown language, um, and so he made one himself. <laughs> so I uh, decided to do something completely new for this video. It didn't turn out amazingly. If there are any tips on how I can. Make a similar effect without doing terrible green screen work. Yeah, that would oh, be appreciated. No. Also, join the Discord. Yeah, the link is in the description. I'm sorry I was gone for a year. <laughs> Circuses have many different acts. Magicians, people who can disappear and reappear before your eyes. <laughs> Trapeze artists, make you think, wow, I'm glad I'm not them. And the funny guys, the ones that give you the old ha-ha. I'm not talking about Russell Howard or Tina Fey, I'm talking about the ones that wear big shoes and everyone's definitely afraid of, Will Smith. Clowns are known for various things. They have red squeaky noses, cars, pies, squirty flowers, that's enough to make a language out of, so let's do it. This language doesn't contain phonetics in the typical sense of the word. It uses clown-centric sounds and actions, two vowels and five consonants. The vowels are clown horns, squeaky noses. The high horn is written as an I, and the low as an O. However, yeah, it's not as easy as that. Of course. You can't just make a horn sound. Who do you think I am? An animal? Every vowel sound must alternate between ingressive, breathing in, and egressive, breathing out. Lose track and breathe in or out twice in a row. You've made a right clown of yourself. Your listeners must now throw pies at you. <laughs> you may have to hold your breath for a while. Luckily for you, I can introduce my first consonant. Written as an N, it's a clown nose squish action. It means you can take that long needed breath in or out. It also marks the end of a sentence. It's only used as such. Then we have pie in the face, written as P. Water flower, written as F. Spinning plate, written as S. And a clown exiting a clown car, written as C. Finally, clapping. It doesn't offer anything extra to words, but it does mark the spaces between words. Oh God. N isn't the only special letter. Each letter has its own modifier when it's used on its own in the sentence. Here's the rundown. I marks past tense, O marks possessive, P marks negative, C marks clown, more will be revealed than that, S marks plurals, <laughs> and F makes compound words. There are no pronouns in this language, so you should refer to every subject, object, indirect object, and everything in between as its name or what it is. C makes names possible, marking a person. Each person has a name, clown, adjective, noun. These can be created on the fly if necessary, but normally each person has their own. For example, Agmashua is <laughs> clown unique language. Okay. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> F goes between words that are part of a compound word. This is demonstrated in the word viewer, which will be used later. Video, F, C, F, clown. S also has a special case when counting. <laughs> when using numbers, it marks the beginning of counting. After this, you count the number of times a vowel appears. O being 100 and I being 1. Painful to use, oh, I know. Oh well. No. Using past tense is easy with the past modifier, I. Verbs are present <laughs> tense by default and can be made future using time based words, like will. There isn't any particular writing system yet, however, letters in Latin alphabet can be used for now. Two letters next to each other, a vowel and a consonant, means you perform the action and the horn sound at the same time. To distinguish easily between different syllables, if you can call them that, a hyphen is written between them. <laughs> Whilst I would do the reading part myself, I'd rather not. I don't have long left to make and submit this video, and a trip to the hospital would take more time than I have. So, I'll just be using sounds and photos from the internet. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. 
It's chaos. <laughs> A lot of pie being thrown. <laughs> like, yeah. You're gonna have so many pies on you. Terrifying. Yeah, very terrifying. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. Thank you for that, Dracos. The word for person is just clown, just like in hyper pirate. The word for person or human being is pirate. Yup. As as it should be, as it's meant yeah. to be. Oh my god. Alright, well thank you for that, Draconex. Alright, let's let's rank Draconex's thing. The phonology, I mean, it's all consisted of various clown sounds, so that's pretty solid. It's also relatively minimalist. Um Yeah. So I'll probably I'll do I'll do uh I'll, I'll do in ninety for it. Let's let's call it for the night. I think we could totally okay. finish it off next time. <laughs> so, we are officially since last time was two and a half hours and this time was two and a half hours. That means this yeah. is five hours of footage, and we're like <laughs> two thirds of the way through. So, editing that. This is going to be extremely minimally edited. Like, <laughs> you can just upload a five-hour video. I honestly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a day long event, you know. <laughs> it's gonna be. This will be something people can have on playing in the backgrounds for. Dear, see see the world in session three to finish this off. Bye bye. <laughs> Logical split point. I dropped the bird. Oh. Anyway. And Circus Boy is back. If you've gone this deep into the video, you, you're probably in the target audience for me to mention that I created a second channel as well called The Veeler Nasal, which is going to be where I post the next Agma Schwa official soundtrack album, along with other music that I create and some various other video ideas that I have which have absolutely nothing to do with linguistics or world building or any of that, but if you like hearing me talk, you'll probably enjoy that too. That's actually not even the only other channel I have. There's also AZ Plant Reviews, where I occasionally make quick videos about Arizona plants and their growth habits. So that one you might not at all be interested in, but it exists as well. So anyway, just wanted to fit that plug somewhere into this massive video. Anyway, on with the show, again! All right, here we are, part three. We've already been done like five hours of recording. So much time has passed that I have a haircut and a new hairstyle, so the viewers will get to witness the changing of my hair over time. Um, today we are joined by Eternal again. We have Space Dirt this time, and I think Juno is going to be showing up at some point. So, uh, whew, we got like 17 more submissions to go through, allegedly. So, allegedly. are we hyped? Are we hyped to finish this? <laughs> I hope I we will say so. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. All right. So our first one of the day is number thirty-five. Oh, this one. The, this is the uh, this is the other illegal one. The so. Illegal. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. I I I, I haven't I haven't read the whole thing, but I looked at the beginning of it and I was like, yep, this one also yeah, goes. Just, in just looking at the image, it seems like there's something up with this one. I am okay. Yeah. Oh. So here we go. The uh, the standardized <laughs> human torture language. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I guess. Okay. 
<laughs> oh my god. Uh, that's what he meant by the other illegal one. Yeah, so so this okay. is the this is the other illegal one right here. The standardized human torture language. The text which is indicated in a spoken way, and I guess it looks like that. And then we have a video. Ooh. Oh god. <laughs> and then text including the oh, unspoken no. part. All right, so defi and definitions. Yeah, it's uh, so it's got logographs, it's got sounds paired with actions, yeah. the doer, the object, the eyes, the emotion, the smell, notes, and meanings. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so sounds are like interesting. Oh. So. You're doing something with your left hand, you're grabbing while pronouncing that sound, and then the object is the throat, so you're grabbing someone's throat with your left hand while your eyes go upwards, your emotion is blank, the smell is the vomit created after eating two kilograms of pears, and the notes is left hand moves up three times. Demonic possession of something. Demonically possesses something. Characterized by the demonic possession of something. Spatially related to by possession. Physically manipulate something. Okay, so those are like all the very various definitions and stuff uh -huh. oh god uh -huh. and so the, there's the cursed rabbit holding a baby image poke oh no. oh no poke of left thumb in a closed fist right thumb in a closed fist to the middle of the chest with no change no change no change usually operates as another word is being said and that means first person <laughs> oh god and it just keeps going oh, oh no <laughs> Okay, so the, the the entire logography is just they've, they've taken inspiration from the first the formatting of the first edition of the Arjun book with this table that just goes on for pages. Oh my god, you know what? Jeez, this keeps on going. Joker goal, yeah. yeah, okay, this is pretty obvious. To make a language in which human beings are harmed and tortured in order to make a very cursed conlang. I tried to make all of the things cursed so that any of these things taken alone is cursed and together they are extremely cursed. Backstory, why this exists canonically. Once upon a time there were demons who were jealous of humans' abilities to do things like make art and even speak. The demons terrorized humans and once they'd accumulated a lot of corpse and human prisoners, they decided to create their own language out of torturing humans and or defiling human corpses. Later, oh because humans are very stupid sometimes, some humans ruled that the demons should be allowed to continue speaking their disturbing torture language. Terminology, the speaker is the mind coming up with the words. The speaking body refers to the flesh being used to make the sound, <laughs> whether that includes the speaker's body or a convenient human corpse. Other bodies cannot be used to speak this language. The speaking body also involves non-human objects used in the language, like shoes. The listener is whatever is analyzing the words of the speaker to give them meaning. So, the phonology is extremely large and involved. It involves sounds, actions, calculators, knives, and walls, among other things. <laughs> <laughs> Many phonemes in a word work together to involve one thing hitting another thing while the eyes and face move and a smell is produced. One of the sound-based phonemes can only be indicated by turning the speaking body into a polytonal musical instrument. <laughs> <laughs> augmenting the speaking body with knobs and computers, <laughs> replacing the speaking body's larynx with an animal, dog, sturgeon, canary, etc., living and dead are separate sets of phonemes, shoving something into the speaking body's mouth like glue or bleach, oh, yeah. <laughs> replacing the speaking body's lungs with those of a target ratite like ostriches, emus, etc., <laughs> So the phonemes in each word are indicated by the table of, as the vocabulary. Oh, God. The grammar, they do not really fit a Latin-English conception of word classes, as almost all of them can function as nouns, verbs, etc. I, I assume the language is agglutinative, though much 
of what could be represented with inflectional morphology is instead represented with a written ternary number. See grammar X bar indication. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, outside factors. The words used depend on the day, month, and year. This is because the language's words operate on a lunisolar calendar so that bloodthirsty words occur most often during holidays. <laughs> you can say the demons celebrate the same holidays as people, except their idea of a holiday is torturing the people in ways related to the holiday. The ability of the speaking body to see Chinese, Japanese, or Korean characters. Cannot see any, can only see one, two, etc. up to 69,420. <laughs> can only see Chinese characters other. Whether or not the listener is playing or watching oh no. Two girls, no. one cup, <laughs> three guys, one hammer, a video where an animal is suffering. Among us, fantasy violence, I guess. Diving face, split guy, MC hammers can't touch this, Peppa the pig, never gonna give you up, any combination of the videos above, and none. Oh god. Whether or not either party can hear someone screaming in the other room. Whether or not the speaking body is screaming when it isn't supposed to be. <laughs> I am saying this is a quotation of another speaker, and I think oh negatively god. of them. Did you see the bullet point above? Wait, what? This is pretty easy to remember because you have to slowly peel off the skin around the person's nails as you speak until you've decided they are no longer screaming at an inopportune time. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. And then, <laughs> this is the way the entire Agmashwa diatribe is being spoken. I have mixed feelings towards them. I love them platonically. I love them romantically. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Did you just read that? I'm saying this as a quotation of another speaker, and I think negatively of them. This is the way the entire Agmashwa diatribe is being spoken. It's terrifying. Oh no. <laughs> Negation in this language is most closely translated as never for any negated word. For example, corn plus negation, something which is never corn. In order to say not, you have to indicate a specific time using the, sen the tense marking or a specific aspect using the aspect marking. I see. There are no separate pronouns, only person marking on words. First person is marked by jabbing the thumb of the right hand into the chest. <laughs> Doing this is optional and is not indicated in writing. There are no other pronouns for person marking. <laughs> oh god. There are no standalone numbers. The good news is that numbers for many instances of something or some action are very easy. You just have to tear your speaking body into as many pieces as you want for the finger action. The default, in other words, the generic plural is 206. <laughs> in order to indicate large numbers, you might need multiple speaking bodies. Plurals are mandatory except when you're quoting someone else. X bar indication. The balanced ternary is a very good numbering system. <laughs> Each oh sentence God. has a certain amount of words, and the understanding of how many words are in a sentence can vary based on the speaker. This does not stop the speakers of this language from using the following mandatory word-based series of rules. Create a, d create a list data type in the speaker's brain. <laughs> <laughs> For each pair of words, concatenate zero if they form a head initial phrase. One if- oh, there it goes. Oh God. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll resume that thought in a second. I'll, I'll be right back. It won't take long. Uh, <laughs> this in is... the meantime, what did I miss? I had to go get some water and take care of the dog. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> well, how long were you gone? <laughs> um, um, not, not too much in particular, but we just got to the X-bar indication. Yes, I did see that. <laughs> this is terrifying. Oh, Juno's this here. This is... Yes, um, this is terrible. It um, is. It is. This is this is very disturbing. <laughs> I, I have actually joined this time. Hey, how's it going? This is good. You this. Oh. It goes. I mean, no. All right, and we're back. Now let's Okay. Here we go. So back to the X bar indication. 
So you create a list of a list data type in the speaker's brain. For each pair of words, concatenate zero if they form a head initial phrase, one if they form a head final phrase, and T if they do not form a phrase, or the question is ill-formed. Analyze this as a balanced ternary number and express it by writing in any in any base on a piece of paper, calculator, human flesh, etc. There are multiple correct answers to this. The, end, the sentence can be split between every written care. Oh god, all of these things. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> and this is not an exhaustive list. Great. It can be oh, split no. upon everything. Alright, the number can be indicated at any time. Every time the number is indicated, the speaker can choose if it resets or doesn't reset. This number never needs to be indicated. It's also possible to indicate a random whole number by a smartphone and step on it until it makes a cracking noise. <laughs> if you say a random number without doing this, or your math is wrong and creates an impossible sentence, the listener is required to tear the speaking body into the correct <laughs> absolute value of the number in order for the utterance to be considered grammatically correct. If the listener is wrong and you manage to prove that you created a valid sentence, you get to do the same with the listening s listener speaker's body. <laughs> <laughs> and then the <laughs> mood. There are a lot of different moods. The indicative mood is the most difficult to speak <laughs> with only one body. But the I am quoting this person and I think negatively of them mood is comparatively easy. Different Which moods and <laughs> used for the that's used for the diatribe in case you forgot. Yep, yep. Yeah. Different moods involve entirely different words being said, written in entirely different ways, with only negation and grammatical number and grammatical indication staying constant. The moods are indicative for events that are just happening, indicative for, of events that the listener doesn't want to happen, optative events the listener wants to happen, subjunctive spitball for imaginary events or quotations where the sub where the subjunctive imperative oh for God. commands which are being phrased as part of a larger phrase, real imperative for commands, conditional interrogative, which is a conditional mood with which also acts as an interrogative, yes no error interrogative, which is a mood for sentences which can only be answered with yes no or error, where the punishment <laughs> for not doing this is destruction of the speaking body. <laughs> Oh god. Word order, every three letter word order is valid in basically all contexts, though some are more common. For example, in, in the quotation like the text being translated, the common word order is OVS or OSV, and head final or SVO or VSO and head initial. For the translation, it's OVS. In some cases, such as with serial verbs, the verb is scattered throughout the rest of the sentence. This can also happen through other methods. There doesn't seem to be any real logic to the word order, and it can change entirely within sentences. The writing, sen uh, the writing system is a logography, which consists mainly of photographs. The photographs have to be the exact size depicted in this Google Doc, and if they aren't, <laughs> the person reading the text is allowed to do one word of the reader's choice to, the, to one speaking body of the speaker. <laughs> most of the <laughs> oh God, it's a challenge. But most of the pictures are f of faces and, and contain people or things which appear to be people. The people don't necessarily have any relation to the action the word is based on. Oh god. <laughs> the repair strategy for text and borrowings. The, oh god. However, there are certain words like pone or akmashwa which don't have an agreed upon pronunciation but are written with what looks like IPA symbols. Oh. Um, the, the, these are written by putting relevant letters in brackets. Jeez, oh, this keeps on going. Oh no. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so in the recording, this is done for Agma Schwa and A, both names referring to Agma Schwa and Nga. They're supposed to be Aga, oh god, Agamang Sawakawa and A. Ah. <laughs> the question mark is analyzed as a glottal stop. <laughs> <laughs> an exclamation point is analyzed as a tenuous alveolar quick click without a uvular closure. I'm not even gonna try that. Um, oh no. For example, Alejandro Gonzalez Inirito will become that audibly pronounced as that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. 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 Um, 
Oh no, writing order. It's a spiral starting in the center of the page and going up, then left, then down, then right, Please. then up again. Then an example is how Akuma Shua will be written in practices like oh, that. No. Of course, <laughs> this is rather difficult to read. This is why in practice, the letters part of the language is, is written in the following orders, in the following colors. Black, green, orange, wild card. <laughs> Light blue, yellow, wild card, purple, red, repeat. The actual colors are not defined, and the assumption is that any color which would conceivably register as that color is acceptable. The wild card colors are traditionally written in a way which is almost, but not quite, the same as the background <laughs> color. <laughs> <laughs> so Akuma Shua would look like that. Keep in mind, every word has to be written in this spiral, so it would have to be written like that. Oh god. Oh no. This is not quite correct because it's the wrong oh, font. Oh, 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 the wait, only wait, acceptable font. <laughs> wait, scroll up. The word is broken across pages. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's terrifying. So, oh no, the only acceptable fonts are Comic Sans, Dummy Brush, Helveta Crap, Hussar Lance, OHMU Papyrus, Portuguese Archaico Lectora, Ugly Typist, and Zombie Message. Oh god. Oh god. Space wait, 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 wait. wait. This was common in the Brent, in, the, in like the Brent scenes. Read that. These are real fonts, by the way. But keep in mind, you have to pay to use Helvetica crap, OHMU, Portuguese archaic lectora in a commercial way, as far as I know. Oh god, so there it is in Comic Sans. Spaces and other punctuation are only decoration. You can put a bunch of spaces or no spaces, but because they are text, they have to follow the text color rules. The eagle-eyed among you may have noticed that there's a small wildcard period after exactly four spaces at the end of the text above, after the closed bracket of nga. That period follows the rules. It also makes the text look nicer. Oh my god. So this, right? Okay. So this... We have the video. Oh no! Are we done with the document already? Really? Yeah, that's the whole document. So here we go. Ah, good. Yeah. Ma. Ah. Yeah. Well. Ah. What? Ah. Oh. <laughs> god, I'm not awake enough for this. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I feel like a lot of these, though, like, like not to be disparaging, I feel like a lot of these cursed conlings are just like variations on the vibe of, uh... Fuck, what's it called? I'm, uh, K-pop. There's, yeah. been, there's, been, a there's been a few. There's been a few. K-pop energy is what I'm trying to say. There, there's, there's, been, there's been a few that have been, uh, that have, uh, definitely yeah. taken some inspiration from it. And this, in its twisted way, ends up kind of being one of them. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, no, it wasn't until I saw him actually doing it that I'm like, ah, yes. Yeah. Came yeah, up. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Except, of course, it's supposed to be onto another person. <laughs> yeah. Or a corpse. So, much, much more <laughs> vulgar. Do not speak this language in real life. Anyway, um, so, our phonology. The phonology was indeed very cursed. It was... I mean, the, there are sounds in there, but there's also all the actions and things that are committed along with it. I think uh, I think I'll give the phonology a 90. Yeah, if you want. <laughs> yeah, a 94 point. I'm feeling a 6-3. <laughs> all right, next one is number 10. Let's see what number 10 number is. 10. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. All right, this was sent to me on Discord. No. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Oh Jesus. Okay. So we we're starting off strong <laughs> with an enormous phonology. A few of them written in brutal ways. You have <laughs> the, the, the bilabial uh, voiceless fricative written as F trademark. <laughs> <laughs> and also the presence of the facio manual click. Heh. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> dollar sign P dollar sign. 
And then the trifurcates. And then. With a percent. That's pretty good. <laughs> that That is pretty good. I'm to retroflex. That's brutal. Yeah, it is. <laughs> And then we the 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 Veeler the Veeler approximate is W trademark. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not the Veeler. It's 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 the Vella. Oh yeah, yeah, Veller. Oh, yeah. On some sort of paper, I see. Of course, of course. Oh, I was thinking Veller hairs, so that involves intestines. Probably not super pronounceable. <laughs> oh, oh god, yeah, probably not. <laughs> You'd be oh. surprised. Oh no, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> are equally scuffed. It's like a labiodental and glottal. It's like. What is this? C standard library? Jeez. <laughs> oh god, oh, H, H, got. H is written with Z. A anyway, that, that that's a pretty good start. Oh god, our vowels. Okay. How do An aspirated vowel? Okay. Um, <laughs> aspirated vowel. Oh no. no aspirated. <laughs> it's breathy voice. An aspirated shui. I love it. <laughs> Isn't the, um, I feel like the, uh, the, the superscript H for vowels is like a Americanist notation for breathy voice, isn't it? Is it? It might be. I'm like 90%. That, that would make that sense. Would make sense. I shall also... look it up right now. We <laughs> yeah. well, just have access to the internet. <laughs> I don't know if they realize that Strut is cursed enough. It doesn't need anything to that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it just is Strut. Perfect. <laughs> oh god. Uh, da, 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 da. Wait, red text indicates letters capitalized word finally. Oh, god. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> also, I just realized they had a bit, they have a tetragraph. If you look at the tri of the trifricates, trifricates. Uh huh. That's a tetragraph. T C T C. That's how it's spelled. <laughs> oh God, it is. <laughs> there's uh for for ooh. There's the quintograph. Would that be the current term? <laughs> Penta <Yeah>. pentagraph. <laughs> yeah, I guess pentagraph. Okay. Terrifying. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I do like how Strut's just on its own. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let, let's let's move on. Bad English or that is a conlang created by me for Agnishwa's Curse Conlang Circus. The phonology is above. Oh God, that's a big paragraph. So that has an object, verb, subject, word order, as well as postpositions and adjectives before nouns. It follows what I call adjective noun disagreement. This means <laughs> that an adjective and its noun it's describing can never take the same affixes. In blank, there are two suffixes a noun or adjective can take, that and that. Um, so when a noun is neither of these things, all exactly. adjectives describing it take the plural and accusative suffixes, and then when a noun is plural, the adjective have the Accusative suffix, but then when the noun is accusative, the adjective has the plural suffix, and when the noun is plural and accusative, then the adjectives have no suffixes at all. The pronouns do not get suffixed. Some suffixes are that used to turn nouns or verbs into adjectives, that used to turn nouns or verbs into adverbs, that used for pa verb past tense and infinitives, and that used for future tense. Oh, and the way the date of case is indicated is it isn't. Oh, and one more thing blank isn't. is written with no spaces and the word final capitalization can kind of help you, but, like, also not really. Asterisks are used between sentences. Also, this has an asterisk on it. Grammar <laughs> is very inconsistent, okay? The main goal of this conlang is to have a cursed writing system, but it's also just meant to be cursed all around. Okay, dictionary. There's the dictionary. Big ol' thickety-thickety. Oh, God, and there's the diatribe. Oh god. Ooh, I don't like this. Woo! That looks like a that looks like when you corrupt a file. <laughs> 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 what this looks like is if you open a binary file in the text editor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, well let's see the video. Uh, go. <laughs> A swishy hard on a dry pile, 
Ach, mach ich gerade Oil, ach, auf ein, oder Oil, ich schach, ja, oder nein, ja, 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 nein, but whatever. All right, that 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 was that was pretty solid. All though. Done, Agma. All right, so the phonology was the main bulk of it. Um, mm -hmm. I I'd say it was very entertaining in the things that it chose to make curse. I mean, it was actually <laughs> oh. genuinely uncomfortable. There you go. So I'm think. gonna give that like a 99. <laughs> I'll give I'll give I'll give it an 80. You're probably gonna be getting a lot of that for the rest of the. <laughs> <laughs> Very unfortunate. I take it you probably haven't watched the Gum Smack video then. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I I told I told Agmo when it came out that I just silenced yeah. it and played it on loop a couple times to give him some view counts, <laughs> but I was never going to watch it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bad enough. Tragic. All right, on to number okay. nine. Um, number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Let's see what <clears> we got <throat> here. Okay, this Numero is from nueve. Jesse Crabman's submission Jeez. right here. Okay, presentation, <laughs> dictionary, and sheets. Okay, here's the submission. Uh -huh. This one, I remember having some issues with the uh, audio files that were provided. The language of chaos by me, Bonjai. All right, Bonjai, let's do right. it. That was the entire thing that you're allowed to play, I think. Yeah, I think so. That's unfortunate. Oh. All right, can we listen to this one? Nope. Right. So Very it's unfortunate. Like click through it, I suppose. We tried. I tried Bonjai. We tried. Anyway, um, the purpose of chaos. The purpose of this lang is to finish it as my first functional con lang. The joke is that it uses various type of harmony in its vocabulary. Oh God. All right. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. The language of chaos is a language built upon the chaos in harmony, grammatical harmony, in phonology, grammar, omnipersonal agreement, harmonious oh. gender, and the transcription. <laughs> oh, I get it. Transcription. Yeah. There we go. So here's the phonology. Explain that to me. <laughs> All right. Again, no access. Tragic. Um, so there's our phonology. Anything particularly cursed in there? We have a voiceless and a voice to ra. I don't know. This feels, uh... Cool. Oh, what? That's... Actually, oh wait, no. The coexistence of ejectivism and implosives is kind of cursed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and regular <laughs> that happens. I didn't and... hear this at first. Ejectives yeah, that amount. And regular plosives. Because <laughs> ejectives and regular plosives coexisting is already not that common, I think, yeah. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Also, the the velar lateral affricates, both voiced and unvoiced. Oh shit! I didn't even notice that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's pretty that, good. That's immediately what was drawn to me. That is pretty good. Spelling mm. for the total stop is also brilliant. This is this is minimalist, <laughs> but still cursed on closer inspection. Yeah, I feel. That's yeah, I approve of it. It also distinguishes between schwa and the like the closed almost schwa. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> This does quite a lot with a little, which I appreciate because it's easy to throw just a bunch of um, sounds on a chart, but it's a lot more yeah. difficult to carefully select them and use a limited number, but still make those combinations odd. Oh, wait, wait, look. the Those velar lateral affricates are allophones of the, uh, the trills. Wait, what? Oh, oh yeah, God. The little <laughs> Oh so no! Much worse. I hate that. Oh god! <laughs> Jeez. Okay. All right. Yeah. No. I definitely agree with Space Start. This is actually pretty good. It is. It is. All yeah, right. I'm moving fine. forward. Let's see what else we got. So our syllable structure is CV with a bunch of other C's around it. All right. Uh -huh. Non-conjugated, non-declined is very dense in phonemes. So when conjugated or declined, the consonant clusters are. That up to five and that up to six. Terrifying. Okay. Can we listen? Right. No. Doing All their right. best Georgian impression here. That's right. 
Harmony-based gender. Gender is shown by the way a word is pronounced. Geodic is for adjectives and implosive. <laughs> French is with nasal vowels. <laughs> Lunar is with devoiced consonants and vowels. Pyrotic is all voiced. Solar is all fricative. Chaotic is multiple harmonies co-occurring. An example is that. Okay. A voiceless... Is that just notation or is that a voiceless E? No, that that's the closed schwa. Mm. Yeah, I mean the rounded schwa, whatever. I also haven't seen any voiceless vowels yet, honestly. It's terrifying. Grammar. This features 13 cases, featuring a full ergativity system, and a split in verbs between perfect and imperfect. Ergativity is dependent on word order and can alter how a sentence is formed. VSO and VOS are nominative accusative, SOV and OVS are ergative absolutive, SVO is nominative absolutive, and OVS is ergative accusative. Dear God. Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. Dear God. When you I read about split ergativity, but don't read the entire Wikipedia article. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. By the way, uh... It said perfect and imperfect, not perfect and perfective. Those oh. are both past tenses, so there's no way to speak mm -hmm. oh, about the no. present language. <laughs> uh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Evidentiality is split between reported and sensory, and is inflected via word order. Reported oh, like uses hard OVS, hard. and sensory uses OSV. Dear God. Okay. okay. Omnipersonal agreement. Omni is where all main roles in a sentence are conjugated onto the verb. The main roles inflected are subject, object, indirect object, possessor, possessee. A fully conjugated verb looks like that, <laughs> which means he will get his it. Nomic. What? <laughs> what? Uh, what? Sorry, what? He will get his what? He'll get his it. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Terrifying. The main event. Oh god, please be on another file, um, because I don't think we're gonna be able to hear this otherwise, because this looks truly disturbing. Louis, no, Jeez. let's not try and attempt to say that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, Jesus Christ. Special thanks to the Discord, they're pretty chill. Yes, they are. Discord plug. <laughs> Join the server, get us to a thousand members. There's a link in the description. Click that, that's link right. Link, link in the description. Link in the description. Dang it, I don't think we have any way to listen to the sounds right now. That is tragically unfortunate. Mm -hmm. um, again, Bonjai slash Jesse Crabman. We tried so many times, but the time is up. I don't yeah. got it. Oh, by the way, execution. Uh, execution? Uh, Bonjai can get back to us at any point because he's oh. online. But for yeah. now, we can only go to a max of 50. We could revise this if he uh, responds. Before we begin this one, Jesse Crabman just got back to me. Before we begin? I should have access now. Oh, Let's... oh are we gonna listen to it? Yeah, okay, back back to okay. submissions briefly. Where we're back Try on again. we're back on uh we're back on the language of chaos for a second. Apparently okay. the audio is here now. Let's let's listen. Let's listen. I'm gonna pause after each word. There's gonna be a lot of mistakes. Gracro Yeah, I think we got the point. Alright, alright. 
All right. Say thank you very much. Um, I'm gonna say that. <laughs> that definitely changes. Yeah. That. I'm going to give that. Our our next submission was number forty-two, which was submitted by Avarin. Let's see what they've got to show here. It looks like it's a Dropbox download that was posted to Reddit. To pie, you yeah. oh. This is my submission for the Cursed Conlang Circus. Can we go full screen? My language is called Tnelfum, which roughly translates as that which is to be nested. The name of the language refers to its main idea, which I tried to visualize with an English example. Oh no. So the <laughs> sentence, obviously I didn't continue the video, would be rendered roughly as not Conti video obviously nuked me. <laughs> okay. The predicate is split by an infix, which consists of the object, which is pronounced with an ingressive airflow, video, and the adverb, <laughs> which is also infixed and merely pronounced with a lower pitch. Also, the language only has seven letters, what? with a rather complex phonology nonetheless. Oh god. The only vowel has a couple of possible pronunciations, depending on whether it is differentized, short, long, preceding an R. Also, oh, wow. we have a <laughs> replication system, and the replicated syllables always contain a short vowel, which uh, whose pronunciation is dependent on the stem nucleus That's 20 of the lemma, <laughs> um, not That's necessarily on the um, realization in the <laughs> particular sentence. So you always have to know what the lemma is in order to pronounce the word correctly. Oh god. Also, vowels can be um, can have different tones depending on accent and whether they are in an infix or not. So there's also vowels can be nasalized, as Space Dirt said, and there are three different tones. So that's 40, and then times three is 120 different pronunciations. <laughs> times two. Oh yeah, 40. Oh no. Terrifying. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Also, they can be nasalized, which has just grammatical implications. We have six basic consonant graphemes and four <laughs> notable digraphs, whose pronunciation depends on the surrounding vowels, whether they are short, long, long differentized, or short differentized, or palatalized. Oh God. Another notable thing about the consonants is that all labials are formed, not with the lips touching each other, but the back of one hand, which I indicate with this symbol. <laughs> so this sound would be pronounced <laughs> Given the time limit for the video, I can't go into much detail regarding the grammar. The most cursed aspects I already mentioned. I just want to point out one detail about the predicates. Mm, they are always formed as a participle first, which um, encodes the tense and the voice, and then they receive the predicative suffix, which also contains information about the person. And in this case, we have an implication of either first or second person, oh, which God. means that in our interpretation of the sentence, we choose which one of the two is more likely. Um, <laughs> in this sentence, we have a conscious objective, evidentiality, um, which means that we would choose first person in our interpretation. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Before I read my sample, I want to give a quick oh, rundown oh. of the first three sentences. Um, this is the first one, and <laughs> here we see the predicate. I already gave an example in the previous slide. It is split by massive infix, and here oh. comes the second part of the predicate. Oh, no. um, it has a direct object, which is indicated by the ingress of airflow, and um, this receives an infix and a sub um, relative clause, and which in turn also receives an infix and a direct object with ingress of airflow, Agmashwa, and the whole sentence translates as um, I never understood why so many people like Agmashwa. <laughs> Okay. The second sentence uh, has a locative subject, oh, which God. receives all the infixes. So this is the video. Uh, first, it has a relative clause. Um, so this whole part means, in the first video I saw from him. <laughs> then we have the second infix, which is, um, he started off by trying to gross out the viewer. <laughs> and that's here. Uh, that's basically all to it. Um, uh, in the last sentence I translated, I just want to point out one aspect, which is that we have this predicate to see which is rendered as a conscious objective, um, which is evidentiality combined with consciousness, which makes it a, um, basically translatable as to watch. Also, we have this first or second person situation again, and the object video and the adverb uh, obviously are infix, as I mentioned already in the beginning of the video. <laughs> now I will attempt to pronounce the first three sentences. Um, I got no trouble, I paid no quick trouble, I'm coming to the bottom. 
Red Dot, get a red drum from me. I am drum, drum from the tire top. I can't get the drum from the door from him. Wow, there it is. That was actually, I like that a lot actually. That was actually. Oh my god. That was Alex? that was quite cursed in a lot of good ways. I like that. I yeah. that that was cursed, but it made me happy. Yeah, exactly. So, um, missed it, but at some point they mentioned that infixed subordinate clause. <laughs> <laughs> Very solid. I am going to give a ninety-seven to execution. I will give. It was pretty good, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give a ninety. Yeah. Cool. All right, mm -hmm. that was a solid one. This is climbing up in the ranks. It this? is that that that's mm -hmm. that's up in the top ones at this point. Um, mm -hmm. All right, seventeen. Let's see what number seventeen is. Seventeen. Number seventeen. This one was emailed to me. <laughs> Let's see what number we got. Number seventeen. It was emailed. Okay, we have the uh, audio and the PowerPoint. Okay. Let's see. That's that seems like an almost oh. normal conlang name. I'm I'm worried. Yeah, really. Right. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Consonants. Oh. Okay. 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 Any anything wacky oh. in there? Just the pharyngeal well, we age, normal age. Approximate yeah. as well as a yeah. trail. That's kind of weird. That's true. That's, a... That's true. Okay. Okay, and but contrasting the pharyngeal and the glottal fricative is also it's not unheard of, but like it's unusual. For a natural language, this will be a bit unusual, but compared to everything else that we've seen so far, yeah. this is actually yeah. fairly tame. Just right. the yeah. one retroflex approximate <laughs> yeah. is a little odd. And nothing else. <laughs> Alright. Otherwise, it's rather normal. Yeah. It's not uh, too bad. Uh, Keeping it minimalist. Uh, the yeah. column is just the, even though it's empty. It's just the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, think, uh, just think about the uvulars. Just think about them. <laughs> they might exist. Oh, we got like a bunch of vowels, but looks pretty similar to English. Yeah, actually, this, this looks like a slightly modified English. Except for except for having an unrounded u, okay. having the yeah. All right, all right, but that's 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 pretty simple still. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Um, alphabet and orthography. Okay, everything seems pretty regular. Except we have a bunch of second pronunciations, uh, just some allophony, very nice. Uh, I, I think this is more about the orthography not being perfectly regular. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see, I see. Okay, that's good. Which, Mo that's more orthography valid. stuff. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, we got we got a lot of uh, we got a lot of orthography diphthongs. content here. A very interesting spelling for the diphthongs. This reminds me of what is old Irish and Irish in general. I yeah, thongs. in a way. Try to go one stream without Eternal bringing up Old Irish. Nah. <laughs> impossible. Impossible. <laughs> That's so impossible. Mr. This is not a live stream. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah, well, it's a big lang chat. Get so pranked. in my mind, it is a live stream. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We get an L in the chat for space third. Noun classes. <laughs> Oh god. Okay. Jesus okay. Christ. Now we're getting oh. whack. Now we're getting oh, whack. No. <laughs> That's uh, a lot. <laughs> Twenty-seven That's... noun classes. I want to say that's like seven more than Navajo, isn't it? Probably yeah. around there. Yeah. May I say though that I'm noticing that the division, like the actual semantic divisions, aren't that weird. Like yeah. yeah. No. Um, Vegetables, arthropod, like that's a little odd, but round, long, pointy. If, this, if they're listed in like animacy order, that's definitely weird. Uh, but like the categories themselves, like that's pretty naturalistic. Mm -hmm. It's it's like it's like using Chinese measure words, but calling them prefixes instead of different words. Mm, yeah. They listed in animacy order. I'm I love how by if that's if that were the case, then abstract concepts would be more animate than hard things. Yeah, no, that was why I was thinking that would be weird, right? Like if it's listed in animacy order, then this is completely whack. Anti-disestablishmentarianism is more animate than a rock. <laughs> trees and little plants and fruits would and vegetables too would be more animate than arthropods and vertebrates. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. 
All right. Articles and demonstratives. Jeez. Woo! All right. All 27 have different articles and demonstratives. Oh, God. Like, German would watch. And a lot of them are the same. Oh, God. A lot of them are the same. <laughs> Yeah. So we're going with like cursed by way of evolution. It seems. Yeah, here. yeah, I'm I'm liking it so far. Okay, important suffixes. Okay, all right. There's. Plurals are formed with simple. the Turkish plural. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that. All right, cases. Oh God. Um. <laughs> we got we got babe a gum smack looking list of cases here. Those yeah. are the Hungarian cases. Yeah, uh, is it exactly? Kinds of yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Including kinds of? What the hell is that? I, I think, I forget what it is. I do remember there's a fele somewhere in Hungarian. Oh, God. Um, okay. But yeah, I, I've done, I've spent too much time on Wiktionary to not recognize those suffixes. <laughs> yeah, they do, they do look, either, it's either Turkish or Hungarian, I'm not sure. I'm almost positive it's Hungarian. Yeah, yeah. It looks rather Hungarian. The Bon and Ben. Yeah, the plural wasn't, but this, yeah. 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 Alright, let's see what's next. Adjectives go before nouns. They agree with the noun they're referring to on the class and number. Great, all right. Mm -hmm. Moods and conjugations. Oh okay. boy, we got a big old ah. thing of big old thing of moods and conjugations. Whoa, who, who, we, mama, to conjugate mm. the verb for every personal pronoun and the same with the possessive suffixes. Okay, well that's just a lot of them. There you go. Um, that that is a thick old list for positive yeah. prefixes, negative prefixes. And then second class for verbs, positive prefixes and negative prefixes. Interesting. Okay. Sample text. So there's the sample text. Ooh, it, looks it, like there's an audio file. it looks pretty aesthetic. Um, let's see, because there's also a separate audio file. Oh yeah, because this one is like a fake audio file, so I had to ask uh, for I had to ask for the real one. So here's the real one. Um Kadishte. Ich uh, it's a muffin and joy. Manch la chanef, chia miok heichnech, or alich etznech. Wow, that actually sounded pr and looked pretty naturalistic with all the yeah, spelling changes and stuff. That was yeah. uh, aesthetic. I liked that. I, li I like that a lot. Also, uh, which means that this is bad for this contest. I think it's true. Also, can I just say, Space is going to yell at me again, but this does, some of these words did sound pretty Irish. <laughs> No, I, that actually, I, I when I was though. listening to that, I thought about that too. It sounded uh -huh. kind of Irish to me. Yep. All right. Well, the phonology itself was... It's pretty natural, yeah, which... It, it was... The thing is, this is a cursed contest, so that's... That's... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It was... Yeah. As much as I like it. It's it's it, it's, 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 it's a really cool for a conlang in general, just not supremely cursed. The grammar, on the other hand, that that is decently cursed. It's got a whole. Grammar is not bad, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll... I'm gonna give the grammar a 68. I'll I do. I say too. I feel the okay, grammar Max is like obligated to give it a 69. <laughs> I think I'll also do 69 because yeah. because I... it, it was cool, but it was just a bunch of lists of big that's things. What, yeah, that's what I was gonna say because I feel that it's cursed in the way that there's a lot of things. It's just like a big like quantity of stuff. All right, thirty-three is the next one. Let's see. Number thirty-three is a YouTube video. Ooh, interesting. This is okay. Okay, so this is R H N L U seven. Okay, let's see. All right, okay. you ready for this? Hi, Nga. It's me. When I was tasked with creating the best and coolest language of all time, I knew immediately one thing. Vowels had to go. Do you like vowels? 
Yeah, didn't think so. They obstruct creative thought and block us from reaching our true potential as human beings. Yo. And that's why today, Yo. I bring you... Oh, shit. After conducting a series of experiments in an attempt to attain theoretical schmonsonance with mixed results, I decided that I can make consonants my vowels, and I promptly replaced my consonants with punches. So let's take a look oh, no. at the third <laughs> illegal language. pigmetic inventory. The language uses jabs, hooks, elbows, and uppercuts with one arm. Punches with one arm as opposed to the other are distinct pig memes. An outlier pig meme is squaring up, which uses both arms and the whole body. And the consonants are... <laughs> <laughs> a syllable can only consist of one punch and one consonant. My language's writing system is a gendered logographic impure abjad that reads right to left. The grammar is beautifully intricate and yet concise with a simple case and conjugation system and gendered syntax. For non-binary individuals, congratulations. You can basically say stuff in any order you want and put vowel symbols anywhere. But Ben... How do these people speak from far away? And how do they speak over telecommunication systems without visual components like radios? And what if the speaker has injured arms and no arms at all? And how could the bone on your cell be feasibly replicated every time it's needed in handwriting? And <laughs> but enough yammering. Let's show you how beautiful this language can look in action when spoken by a graceful native speaker, like myself. Agma <laughs> schwa. <laughs> The sentence is ended with a clap. <laughs> I love the orthography. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I did not skip over a large part of the diatribe here. I don't know what you're talking about. Why would I do something so stupid? <laughs> Did a wonderful well, well, well. <laughs> I'm watching this beauty. I didn't want to interrupt by saying hi. Okay. Yes! Beautiful. One take, every sentence except for the first one. Bitch! I sure did, sport. I'm proud of you. Okay, that is supreme. That is absolutely supreme. I the entirety of I, that, I <laughs> give the it to 100. I am 100 giving 100 for phonology. Okay, okay, fair enough. Well, 100 on, on execution. Grammar... Why don't you guys all give 69 on the last one? <laughs> <laughs> it's a long story. Oh, God. I have to get Why? into this.
I am going to do a 99 on grammar. I'm and a I'll give a solid 95. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Something I like I want to give it a 100 purely because it said bitch at the end. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely... execution is obviously 100. Legendary. Also, I love the implications that maybe you don't get, you realize it, but the implications of this being a, a like somatic shadow boxing language, but then in the middle of it, it just said Agma Schwa. <laughs> 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 yes, of this language are perfectly capable of speaking. They just choose not to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, 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 it has yeah. the exact same energy as like when Lojban speakers have to insert a proper noun into the sentence. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh my that god. That was the funniest thing I've seen all day. That was, that was absolutely <laughs> legendary. That, that, that is like now in second place. I think it's between Babalingua and Daniel Swanson now. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was really, really funny. That, high. that was awesome. Beautiful. Kate, are you going to be joining wow. us for the rest of the time or did you just stop in to say hi? I wanted to pop in before I went to sleep because I finished the assignment I was doing. Ugh, imagine having assignments. Ha! School. Imagine not being a loser. Imagine having to edit Damn. seven no, plus hours of content means. after this. <laughs> oh god. Oh, yeah. Alright, cool. <clears throat> Let's move on to number 30. That, that, god, that one was amazing oh, okay. though. Alright. Anyways. This is another YouTube video. Oh, this is 21st Century oh. Humorese. I've seen part oh, of no. this. I haven't seen the whole thing, but this oh, one, I've this seen one, part of this as well. the, this one also yeah. got taken by the algorithm. 6,000 views. All right. I, wow. I literally, uh, I watched this video for the first time earlier today. Oh, nice. Well, let's go then. All right, let's <clears> do it. <throat> let's do it. Welcome to the Conlin Critic, the show <laughs> that a weight that's not right. Much better. White text and black background is such an overdone aesthetic. Welcome to Cal's submission for the cursed Conling Circus hosted by the glorious Agma Schwa 21st century humoris. The knowledge of orthography vocabulary, the, the languages, you and the are or hundred handpicked memes, each carrying a simple meaning. For example, oh this is fine means fire, amagus means deceit, and commodore fish means fish. <laughs> the language is oligocenticate. So it combines these to hundred meanings into words. So tool and sound mean musical instrument, like tokipone, except it hurts your eyeballs. <laughs> Grammar, a sentence in two watches composed in layers, which means all the glosses I make are going to look like a very ill-defined programming language. The first meme is a conjunction, which takes to main clauses as arguments. If no conjunction is necessary, the verb itself is the base. Have to spots to place nouns, the subject spot and the object spot. Modal verbs are placed before the main <laughs> verb and carry no arguments. Nouns, optionally, can be modified by adjectives, which take to forms. They either exist on top of the noun, like a sticker, or modify the noun's image, like a deep freeze. <laughs> this allows for a nice solution of what I call the pie problem, named after Toki Pona's word for of. Basically, you need to be able to distinguish in phrases like large sound tool whether the sounds are large or the tool is large. Thankfully, this is very easy to do in tool launch, as you can just move the stickers and effects. So you can contrast tool open sound open big close close and tool open sound close open big close. <laughs> Long words are always adjectives, just like tokipona and are spelled with these stupid alphabet gifs. Prepositions, which are used to introduce <laughs> adverbs and indirect objects, oh, no. are captions of the meme, like some kind <laughs> of slander like video, it. and are placed to the side of the main meme, either before or after. Finally, content and relative clauses are introduced by the yo-yos to be continued arrow, and a second base <laughs> meme is added to the side of the first base. If a single sentence has more than one clause and that could cause ambiguity, <laughs> stretch the arrows to disambiguate between them. Spoken sample. I've never understood the appeal of Agnes Schwa. <laughs> the first video I saw from him had him starting out by trying to gross out the viewer. Obviously, I didn't continue the video. The next one I saw had him starting out by apologizing for ruining your day, which I also didn't watch. I just don't get why anyone would watch a guy who makes intros like that. It's seriously like he's trying to be as off-putting as possible. A translation note of upper boundary is how you say maximum. He looks more like a troll channel to me than anything else. A translation note a translating channel to text is a very large stretch, but channel is hard to translate without like six layers of words, so. 
Thanks for sitting through this mess of a con lane. Until we meet again. <laughs> that was also pretty legendary right there. That, that, that was. That was a certified oh banger. So the phonology, obviously, the ology here is based on images and stuff, but that is, that, that, that might also be a 100 right there for me. That, that was, that was pretty solid. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it in line to five, I suppose. Yeah, um, I, I like the, uh, how the grammar works via visual arrangement. It's nice. Yes. Oh yeah. I'm doing 94.8. <laughs> and then the execution, pretty solid, pretty solid. That's a solid. Th that that's a solid ninety. That's a eight, ninety-seven. Eight ninety-eight point nine. Let's see what number forty is. This is a Reddit one. Let's see what we have here. I spent many decades on that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, didn't I make a joke that I was just going to submit French to the contest? I think you, you might, might have, have yeah. That. I think you submission. might have. <laughs> I like, I like okay, the, the, the fake PNG. <laughs> Let, let's see if this is actually something or if this oh, yeah. is literally just French. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I think it's literally just French. <laughs> <laughs> God damn Does it. anyone here speak French? God. I speak enough Latin and uh, and such to be able to read this, and this does say what it, the translation says. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, no, that is. This is just this French. Is yeah. This, this, is, this, is, this is. This is. This is. This is literally just French. <laughs> One hundred percent just French right here. A list of the grammar books I made. <laughs> Decades on this. Oh. I think we'll have to treat this one the same as number 26. Google Translate. Oh my god. I think with the score that it oh has no. right now... I know I won my <laughs> And if you just want to go to the stretch it and scroll ever so slightly to the right... Um... At the very end of the spreadsheet, there's currently a division by zero error. Yeah, there's... Because there are no values, and I think that is the score we're going to give this one. Yeah, French is... So French is score... be qualified numerically. French's score French is, is divided by zero. French is not a number. <laughs> oh my god. Before we move on to the next one, I just have to, I just have to see what this YouTube link goes to. Division by zero is infinity and not not a number. Zero by what zero is a number. <laughs> it's literally... Bonjour! Je m'appelle Celia, et bienvenue! It's, it's literally... okay. Alright. Good, good, good shit post, I like it. Alright. Yeah. What, yeah. is, what is our next one? Solid. Number seven. It's just French again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, the rest of them are all French. Alright. We have another Discord submission. Let's see what we got here. From Silly Sand Dweller. I don't know if this contains an audio file, oh but it's definitely a doc. What is that? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that hurts my eyes. Woo! I like the Ooh, bold part. <laughs> Alright. Oh, audio. Oh, boy. And, oh, Squidman Escape recorded this. Okay, I guess we could find the audio whenever we need to. But is there any grammar in here? <clears throat> oh, there we go. Ah, oh, God. Oh, it's a lot. It, it's oh, exactly no. what it purports to be. <laughs> it's all the fricatives. It's, oh, no. It is all the fricatives. It has, <laughs> there's fricative, there's lateral, and there's sulkal versions of each oh, one. I hate that. Oh, no. Oh, no. And here's the vowels. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I guess fricatives are good enough on their own. I mean... <laughs> Okay, and there's the romanization. Okay, consistent. Okay, okay. 
Or, oh no. Long sounds are romanized by doubling each letter in the romanization of that sound. Overlong oh, no. sounds, letters are tripled and dubber overlong or quadrupled. Sentences oh, end with a backslash. Sentence statements are an aerial. Questions are an impact. Exclamations are in fanwood text. Quotes in comic sans and interjections in Times New Roman. The goals, I think we can see the goals. Oh god, base seven counting. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Grammar, subject, object, verb, noun, adjective, noun, preposition, poses he possessed, etc. Tense prefixes, past, far past, recent past, an hour ago, a moment ago, <laughs> then present. In number, singular is none, dual is that, and plural is that, it's almost the same. Random stuff, nouning, suffix is that, think, thought, made, process of thinking, and there's the word list. Alright. Okay, I think we get the point. Now let's paste the uh, the sound file and see if we can actually access it. See if we can access the yeah. Oh. Looks like we can. <laughs> this is a B language. <laughs> this this is the this is the language of a gnat flying close to your ear and then getting a little further and then getting closer again. <laughs> Mosquito man. <laughs> All right, I think I think we get the point, but this is pretty legendary. Yeah. Also, uh, uh -huh. uh, what you like when you start the recording? I was about to say, "Oh, please go back to the text. I want to read along." But then I was like, "Oh, never mind. Actually." <laughs> All right, time to go score some points. Phonology was pretty solid. I will give that. that it is definitely very cursed. It is. It's very like, cursed, and it has a goal in mind, and I like that it had a goal in mind. No plosives. Yeah. I like it. I'll I do like it. 96. No Trust Frickadum, dude. And Actually, then. It's not. Execution, I mean, though. Gonna, since you said 60, I'm going to give it a 69. Okay. Uh, no, well, now I have to give it a 69. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said 70, which is basically 69. Okay, fine. 69. <laughs> All right. And then the I execution, though. Vote. Execution was pretty solid. You know, that, that was pretty beautiful. I'll give a 90 for execution. Our next one, right. number and six. Oh, this is also, uh, I'll put deleted in here. Yeah. All right, number six. There we go. This is from Mill of Vive. Apparently it's not technically a full submission. Let's see. This is oh, a wait, separate project than what I plan to submit. Life got in the way and this is all I had to present. Let's see what you have to present. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the French again. <laughs> the minimalist lang. Goals. The lowest amount of components. Components are defined as words, grammatical rules, phonemes, phonotactics. However, components do not include the creation of the grammar. Affixes do not count as a new component of each word, only the rule itself. Or the results of multiple words. Words that recontextualize another word that does not count as a component. Two, to be able to be translated and easily discerned, what means what with uh, 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 what means what? There you go. What means what with minimal sacrifice to the first goal? My brain just disintegrated for a second. I could tell. I could tell. In absence of the ability to simplify any of the components, and make it simpler to learn. Must be spoken, not physically done, like dance or ASL. Okay, so we have. Oh no! <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely minimalist. Yeah. All right. That that is. Why is it written E? <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> Dude, you had a lot of choices. <laughs> Photo tactics. S. Angry. Where S is some sort of sound <laughs> with, with, with the laughing emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Grammar phrase. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, wait a second. What? How do you even. Oh no. 
Yeah. There's a lot of knolls in there too. That was a spaces apparently if you look at if you look below. Oh, I see. Yes. The knoll note spaces. Oh, okay. Spaces. <clears throat> To combine words or create new ones, you must start the defining using a context marker and end the defining of a thing with another context marker when using this phrase in the future. Use it as a word, in effect, combining oh, the words. To use a predefined word in a sentence will depend on where you define the word. Say you define a word in the nouns phrase, say lips. You have a defined noun. Same goes for verb phrases. Any pronoun can be used as a possessive adjective. Oh god. It's my brain. It is. This feels like a really bass backwards approach to oligosynthesis. Yeah, kinda. And then we have <laughs> ma as a suffix for current, and then mm -hmm. As a, pre <laughs> as a period of time, then um, verb is that, then qualifiers, we have of combining descriptors and the next words an adjective, <laughs> inquiry, <laughs> usually at the end of an adjective, and meme <laughs> combines two topics. <laughs> And then we have a unary number system, splitting each numeral, append one onto another, like E for two. Zero would be nothing. <laughs> Moving on in the sentence. <laughs> After 15, when not talking about decimals, simply say many. Oh god, we have to go up to 15. Oh, um, no. <laughs> dictionary. We have the number one, which is also I and you. As a noun, it's yes. Oh god, how is yes a noun? A adverb, where, or another. Oh god. <laughs> yes is a noun! <laughs> <laughs> but no is an adverb. Yes is a noun! No is an adverb, but yes is a noun. I'm in pain. Alright. I think that's the goal. I think I think that's it. I don't even think yeah. there's the transcription because this is just something. So okay, that honestly, not this a complete submission. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we so we can't give uh, the execution any higher than a fifty, but I'd say it does a pretty good job of being cursed with the phonology. Next we have number twenty nine, a part one. Oh, oh, this is this is just like this is pictures. Familiar. Why does this look nice? That looks really cool. I swear mm -hmm. to God, I've seen this before. Mm -hmm. Dang. All right. So, is that the? Is that supposed to be the the, the translation? Yes. Look, it says Al Mashwa. Oh yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's like really aesthetic looking, and <laughs> it literally yeah. is written out in Latin script. <laughs> Al Mashwa <laughs> on the left. <laughs> I like it. Um. All right. That's what else is in here? Extremely aesthetic. It is. Oh god, how are we gonna read this? Um, With skill. Yeah. Alright, so here's our phonology from what I can get from the zoomed in yeah. form. Wait um, a second. Who the fuck is using a thorn in the IPA chart? That is not a yeah. thorn. Oh, wait, no, yeah, no. Okay, <laughs> my bad. Handwriting. Yeah. Handwriting. Yeah. Handwriting, yeah. Moment. Handwriting, Handwriting moment. Handwriting moment. Handwriting moment. Alright, so it's a big but not incredibly disturbing phonology. I like No, I think I see. Alright, and then kind of slanted. And then its vowels are all of those, which is a lot, but Danish. like okay. similar to English, except for these guys. It's um, like Danish. Yeah, a little little Danish moment happening there. Danish. Um, grammar Danish ish. Danish ish. <laughs> Like the Danes. All right, so we have we have statements saying that it is polysynthetic. It is free word order. It is nouns and verbs are treated the same. Aspect plays a massive role in context. Okay, context can usually more like a list of bullet points in a sketch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. These are more of ideas. Then we have yeah, yeah. This is what we write in love when you when Agma and I like come up with a draft for something. We just write down bullet points. It looks like yeah. that. Yeah, pretty much. Phonotactics, fact, oh god. Paper doesn't help. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In short, this language can sound like gibberish at times due to a thing I like to call phonetic morphing. Sometimes okay. when conjugating or adding an affix, there will be sounds that don't like to be next to each other. Sometimes a T can become an S. Uh... Comrade, do you mean a so, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> assimilation. That's, that's just assimilation. There you go. Mm. 
If I were to explain okay. the phono tactics, it would almost be as long as the explanation of the FNAF lore. So just a lot of allophony, okay? Okay. <clears throat> All right, and there's how the writing works, apparently. I think it's definitely the, it's very interesting. Logographic abugida, written <laughs> in amalgamated blocks. Phonetic morphs are not written, al alphones, but uh, only affixes mm -hmm. and... <clears throat> and... And... Interesting. I'm like starting to lose my voice. Oh god. Supposed to be and. Oh, I see. Are amalgamated. Things such as interjections and context phrases have their own symbols. Oh no, it's the yeah. wrong there. Yeah. Which which I like the their their own. Oh, hang, hang on a second. Oh, what? The 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 like left of a stroke of the second symbol goes through the first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very part. aesthetic. It definitely is. Yeah, it's a really cool looking writing system. So, the, this document is mostly just various sound changes. Um, yeah. It's basic, it, uh, if I, am I correct in that it's just mostly some sort of assimilation? Pretty much. And then we have time frame prefixes. Like, lately and stuff. Um, but yeah, then it's just mostly like very so, like allomorphs and stuff that go along with these aspect markers and stuff. I see. Okay, and then we have a second page to it, which maybe is the translation? Yeah, this should probably be the translation. Just a viash Russia, Arnashwa, Galons Shestoi, Siav Bavar, Rustev Yaime, Yaime Resha, Utolos Mavar, Lemosh, Galons Gillespre Vona. Okay, well, there you go. It sounded like French. It does, it what? did sound very French. Yeah. It's just, this is interesting, because, uh, like, like, like we said, this just doesn't seem cursed, it just seems very regular. Yeah, it, it, it's a, it's a cool project. Like, it's yeah. a cool yeah. project. Definitely continue the project. It's really cool. Yeah, no. Yeah, but like, not cursed. I'm, I'm... Not cursed at all. It's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, Just I like it. The the, the write the writing system is the cursed part. Like that that that's like really complicated. I mean, it's not that But bad. it's cool looking. But yeah. No, honestly, like yeah. that's one of my favorite ones that I've like seen definitely. in yeah. general. Yeah, definitely super cool language. Just uh, not 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 super cursed. So yeah, not necessarily yeah. good submission to this particular contest. Yeah. But it was a submission. I'm glad you did stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like they show a lot of promise. Yeah, keep going for sure, because that's. No, that is. If we, if the person is watching this, the last thing that we ever want to do is like discourage you yeah, at exactly. all. Like please, yeah. don't stop. Yeah. Because a low score because it's not cursed. That's no. the main reason. Yeah. yeah, exactly. If this were just a good con lane contest, that'd be that'd be pretty up there. Yeah, exactly. So number forty three is next. Oh. Did this... I... <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that the name of the language, or is that them apologizing for what they're about to do? To <laughs> we're about to find out. <laughs> are Are you ready? I don't think so. No, but continue. I don't think I ever have been, but here we go. You can never be ready. There, it's all perfect, all right, and you're see. wrong, actually. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. Anyway. Okay, um, okay. Alright. This is the name of it. It's pronounced on Adla Tha. So. What? Oh god. That's pronounced that way? <laughs> okay. Um, it's Tonal, which is my main problem. I'm not very good with tongues. I don't know why I chose Tonal. Oh god. Like anyway, this is the main shtick of it. Um, it's got the two consonants. Tha and Tha. It's got the vowels U, A, N, E, O. Uh, okay. yeah. Nice. It's got tones of rising, falling, high, low, and then high, low, high, kind of uh, it doesn't really matter specifically. You just gotta get like the kind of shape, you know. Okay. Um, you kind of just—it looks obvious. Heck. Okay. Later on, you'll see. <laughs> I have it like all written out in the actual script, and I had to like rewrite it with the actual vowels because like you don't write the vowels. You don't write the vowels, and there are like way more of them really in it than God. the heckin' consonants. Okay, we should this video. So that's speed it up. Like. We should do that. I think. Yeah. Uh, that see. means troll. Okay. Like, okay. Show, show vowels up, are written. Ah, we will see. Ah, we will. 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 Ah, we will
Luau, la, ao e via foda, ao e da oxida, ao e vida, ao e da alta, ao da. Wow. We don't need to go on with that part. Um, all right. Oh wow. We only have th we only have three left. Woo! Let's do this. Let's do it. All right. Number four. This Ooh, is from Discord. Wow. Okay, it was made in limited time. Oh, this entire presentation is in the Discord messages. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, and then, the, okay, so here's what we have. Interesting execution. <laughs> I'll show you this submission I made in limited time. It is called, well, whatever that says. Let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. Um, I'm not. Yeah. Uh, Click on the, there's so many buttons, but directly above the profile picture on the right, there's this circular button with like a person on it. That one, click on that one. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Okay, that's better. All right, so it is called really that. Like a picture of their screen. It is, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so its purpose and main joke is just to be so stupid, so unnatural, so difficult to even attempt to understand that it's just a dumb language. It was fun making it, and even more fun to hear. The main monstrosity is its phonology, which includes a number of claps, which out of desperation I just called manual stops. Here below is a picture of its phonology and orthography, which is just as horrific. Oh god. <laughs> it's got like a, a lens blur to it. Um, well, this, one, this is not a screenshot, as you can tell, maybe. Yeah, it's this a picture. Looks and took their phone and honestly this kind of add to it it does it does this is like this is found footage right here <laughs> <laughs> the blair conlang project so we have h is the hua if it contrasted with g for the, the interesting um we have a voiceless velar nasal uh -huh. oh that's always Next. good you know very good that's true. Oh god. <laughs> the, the the glottal stop is written with oh, a yeah, greater than normal. symbol. Oh, that's the manual stop. Yeah. Oh god. All right. All right. Good start. Good start. The different claps are the single clap, the two quick claps, and the two claps spaced out. The language is a simple basic gram grammar with uh with uh, some strange things. There is singular and dual numbers, no marked plural. Though, even though there are no singular and plural declensions for pronouns, only an ambiguous amount. Oh god. Uh, conjugations are also strange. There are two conjugations, first person and not first person, with singular and dual forms. The moods are where I just had some fun with auxiliary verbs. Each mood uses an auxiliary verb. Subjunctive, conditional, optative, imperative, causative clauses made from duplicating the verb in play. Now, with all these moods, you may assume there'd be some tense of any kind, but no, this language is tenseless. The tenseless language with moods marked and also aspects. Imperfective, perfective. Now, I can't mention all these without discussing syntax. I made this language a syntax strange. OSV, adjective before the noun. Noun before the postposition. Verb before the auxiliary. Possessor before the possessee. And now a recording of how the language violating some linguistic universals. <laughs> oh, on the right track. Yeah, yeah, on the right track there. And then we have a dictionary here, and then okay. this is what the IPA looks like. And apparently we have a nice little uh, MP3 file to listen to here. Lovely. Let's see. Is it going to be like ten minutes long? Let's find out. If so. I much Wow, there it was. That, that, that was a pretty that was actually a pretty solid execution right there. 
I like that. That was definitely a goofy ah con line. Yeah, go goofy ah, goofy ah. All coming together oh, sounded pretty entertaining. Oh, quite good. I'll give an 84. I'll do 85. Number 39 is our second to last entry. Let's see what number okay, 39 is. Duplicate. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. It's a duplicate. <laughs> it's Banjai. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> This was not scripted, by the way. All right. I didn't look at the one. I just said, what if this is in... All right. How could God this video be scripted? I There's like... it being a duplicate. Of course I did. There you go. Oh my God. All right. And then our last one, I guess. Our last one yeah, is... Let's hope this is not a duplicate as well. This one is not. This one was sent to me very late, so it's at the very bottom right here. Okay, so last minute, only did one sentence because it was really hard. Okay, un uh, unfortunate. Um, let let's see, I made mistakes in the sentence, but I'm not going to redo it because it's too hard. Good, good, okay. good starter. Good starter. Let's see. Foot stomp. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Okay. Oh. Okay. Foot stomp, or that, by the cool kittens. <laughs> okay. Have you ever stomped your feet and thought, what does that mean? <laughs> well, now you can I know. know. I can't say I have. <laughs> Foot stomp is a language <laughs> spoken entirely with clapping and stomping your feet and hands. I made this last minute. The dictionary is there. Cool. The joke and the okay. idea. The joke is that this would be so impractical and so hard that you can miss stomp a tiny bit and it would completely change the meaning. This came from a tap dancing and, oh god, and what if their tapping had meaning? Eventually this evolved to stomping at different intensities. The joke itself focuses more on the phonology and orthography than grammar, as though the grammar is a little bit weird, it's not as weird as the phonology and orthography. Stomp beams, clap beams, and orthography. Whoa. I like thought, but it's supposed to be though. I'm yeah. amazed this Reddit. But it ended up being the right thing because they misspelled yep. it. Yep. <laughs> I feel like they should have called it Hambone. <laughs> that would have been a much better name. Oh, Hambone, oh my god. <laughs> Stomp beams are performed by stomping your feet. They come in three levels. High intensity with a capital I, low intensity with a capital N, and mid intensity with a capital M. Clap beams are clapped with your hands. Wow. Clap beams come in the same intensities as stomp beams, but are written in lowercase. Uh, with a lowercase k after them. Clap beams are pronounced between the words and nowhere else. Uppercase w also represents a long wait, whereas a lowercase w represents a short break. Morphemes have a six-sided star, oh god, start, star, in between each other. Orthography, there you go, there it is. And then, yeah, the, the, there's, our, there's our claps and our, our foot eams. Then we have four tenses, past, present, future, and far future. Along with that, there are two aspects, imperfect and perfective. Uh, imperfective and perfective. The imperfective present is the default form of a verb, of course. This table is for verb inflection. Okay, okay, pretty simple. Pretty simple. Oh, space dirt, you've gone completely muffled like you're gone far in the distance. Oh, wait. One second. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. Uh, Mike, am I here? There he is. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I, I just said, yeah, I just you, said, uh, uh, far future is interesting. Yeah, yeah. You were disappearing into the void there for a hot second. <laughs> that's how I feel you every finished. day. Got him. <laughs> there are five <laughs> cases nominative, <laughs> accusative, genitive, dative, and locative. There are also five numbers. Plural, <laughs> dual, triple, pockle, and singular. Oh, the, the plural nominative... I think I last. <laughs> the, pl the, the plural nominative is the default form. The, the statement nominative. word order is VSO. Okay, okay. Plural is the default, all right. All right. A singulative ending. Uh, there, there, there they all are. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And you, yeah, you got... There's your cases and everything. Example, can we- oh, we can listen to it right here. I decided to only do the first sentence. Okay, let, let's listen. Let, let's listen. Play full volume. Okay. Let's find out. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> My neighbors are moving their furniture again. <laughs> I 
I like how Akma Schwa is just name. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, if you're using anyone's name, that's what you do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that was the first sentence right there. All right. Fascinating. Beautiful. I mean, I mean. All right. It's exactly what I, what I expected, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. It's beautiful. I, I like uh, the, the vibe of, like, the the audio quality here. It makes it sound like you're, like, at a kitchen table and you're actually mm -hmm. hearing those foot stomps and claps coming from under the table or something. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't the full translation, but it was a partial translation, so I don't think uh, we can give full points, but... We can go higher than 70, 50. Up to 75? Yeah, let's do up to 75. Okay, if you give it a 70, then you know what's gonna happen. Oh, no. Okay, fine. <laughs> Here it comes. Fine, 69. <laughs> um, <laughs> Alright, and then for execution, <laughs> I, I like the way the foot stomps and everything came out. I'd yeah, say that that was rather entertaining. If you only go up to 75, I think it's pretty obvious what I'm gonna go with. I think I'll okay. do a 75. I will also do oh, a 75. An 80. <laughs> cool. Alright. Right. Well, there we, we go. It. We did it. We, we, we did it. Another two hours through, which means right. if it was two and a half hours the first recording, two and a half hours the second recording, two hours this time, that means it adds up to seven hours of raw footage. Woo! Oh, For the people who sent me videos but maybe the videos weren't like live like they were unlisted or they weren't posted on youtube i mean if you want to you don't have to but if you want to you know post them on your own personal channels i'm gonna make like a playlist attached to this for like the individual like source videos for any of the ones that are public so for for those who submitted videos that are unlisted or something if you want to do that do it and then tell me that you did it and then i'll add it to a playlist it'll be cool mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Yeah. But with that, I, th I think uh, I think that's pretty much it for uh, for the judging for the Curse Conlang Circus. T time time to convert myself back to like the fancy camera and, uh, for the viewers watching this video for a conclusion segment that I will inevitably film probably tomorrow or something. So here we go. Say goodbye, my fellow circus people. Goodbye. <laughs> that's right. All right. Uh, subscribe. Yeah, d yeah. I, I'm. I feel like if you've watched this much video, you're probably already subscribed. But if not, <laughs> do so it. Not, not. <laughs> if, but if, if not, why are you here? Yeah, exactly. If if and if you are subscribed, maybe become a patron. Wow, plug. Okay, anyway, ending the recording. All right, bye. All right, everybody, what a show that was, right? A very, very long show with lots and lots of cursed, disturbing things. Now, all right, all right, before, before, before we finish this off, hold your applause. We need to, uh, uh, this sleep paralysis nightmare is indeed almost over. After what amounted to over seven hours of filming before the editing, this has been a truly massive endeavor, and I would like to specifically thank everybody who made a submission, or even just partially participated. This has been a glorious occasion, and I'm so happy to see Cursed Conlang get taken up by the algorithm on multiple submissions for this contest, and for people to be talking about it all over the place, and people making languages and submitting it. That's just, like, amazing. Like, wow. That's awesome. If, if you are watching this after the premiere and didn't want to watch the entire massive compilation, I'll be releasing a highlights video later on when I have more time after this whole holiday season is over. And there will be a follow-up live stream shortly after this video comes out, hopefully, in which we can all go over the chaos of what we witnessed. And you can hear me attempt to pronounce the languages of the winners if their languages can even be pronounced. Otherwise, we'll just be going over them, recapping everything that happened. It'll be a beautiful experience, and I hope you join me on that live stream whenever it happens. So, speaking of winners and their 
languages. It's time to reveal the winners of this first ever Cursed Conlang Circus. Now again, all of these languages were great. And by that I mean disturbing. And we scored them according to their cursedness from a content consumer's perspective. Now, we've got our top three, and I have a special honorable mention for a language that was just more amazing than cursed, that I, I, I couldn't ignore. I had to give it some kind of special recognition. So, drum roll please, if I feel like putting in that effort in the video editing. If not, I'm gonna kinda go Drum roll, yeah. In third place, with a score of 95.683, remember, perfect is 100. With a score of 95.683, our third place prize goes to 21st Century Humorees. All right. Now that language was a certified banger. You know, just cursed memes. Just all kinds of wacky memes put into combinations that would look like utter nonsense to a lay person, but if you watch that video, you can see the exact system of how everything comes together. Again, it's not pronounceable, but it is such a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, in second place, with a score of 98.575, we have... The, the fighting, the fighting language, the R H N L U seven, the one, the one where you do all the punching and kicking and, and that one, that one is, that one, that one's beautiful, like the, the, the freaking, the freaking quote alarm. It, it's, it's good. I like it. I really like it. All the judges liked it. We enjoyed it a lot. Second place. Congrats, you got yourself a spot with the prize. And now, before we announce first place, I have to give an honorable mention to a language that would totally be up here in the numbers if it truly fit into the cursed criteria, but the judges discussed and it's just so, like, elegant and genuinely cool that we couldn't rightly include it in the cursed framework. It, it's just actually really good and really creative and really special, especially for me. And you'll know why, because this honorable mention has to go to Tesseract King's Snapdragon Rose language. It's a wild concept, like creating the bouquets for communication, with, like all the wrappings and stuff conveying different grammatical information, and holy crap, that that's, that's a lot of flowers to communicate the entire diatribe. As, as a plant fan, I, I very much appreciated that. Tesseract even asked me what my favorite flowers were, and of course the Arizona landscaping edgelord I am, I chose, uh, I chose lantanas and, and prickly pear flowers. <laughs> and it's kind of, it's kind of whack imagining, uh, a, like a, a prickly pear flower with its like spikes and stuff stuffed into the bouquet with everything else. But nevertheless, I had to give that one a special shout out. I might cobble together a special prize for you somehow because that was special. And now, first place, we have the most bizarre of the bizarre. It's just emanating the JoJo like menacing symbols from, from top to bottom. A beautiful thing. I don't know how many of you will be surprised by this, but with a score of a straight Perfect, 100%. 100 is the score. I, I have to give this to Battling Was Seraphim Angel Language. Yes, now this might not come as much of a surprise, and literally hundreds of thousands of people have seen that video at this point and had the same to say. This blessed Conlang truly is the most supremely cursed thing ever to grace this earth, in my humble opinion. The most severe of kudos to you, Babalingua. <laughs> you know, what, what, what can I say? You, you, you and I went to the same university, and were mentored by the same professors, but at slightly different times. Something truly cursed must truly just run in the linguistics department of Arizona State University. So, 
Good work. I commend you. Now, for everybody else who's made video submissions, you should totally post your submissions to YouTube if you haven't already. I'm gonna create like a playlist along with this video that features any of the individual submissions posted publicly to YouTube for people to see so they can like subscribe to you and stuff. Um, and for people who don't want to watch through this entire massive behemoth but just kind of want to see some highlights. And for the winners and also Tesseract King, for, for, for you four, I am going to get into contact with you in the same way that you submitted your submissions to me and we're going to figure out how I can ship the, uh, the, the prizes to you. So. There you go, and if, if one of you for whatever reason doesn't want the prize, then it will go on to the fourth place winner and so on. With that, the Cursed Conlang Circus comes to a close, and I am so happy to celebrate 5,000 subscribers, and the holidays happening at the same time, and getting to experience it with all of you, like, God. 5,000. That is... That is a large number. That is a number that I considered impossible. And we're, we're gonna hopefully keep on going. So... Will this contest be a yearly thing? Will there be another circus? Who knows? If you really want me to, we could do something. We could do another one. Now, it was super fun but also a whole lot of work. If we do it again in the future, like I said during the, uh, during the big judging session, if we do another one in the future, I'm gonna have to make a rule that every submission has to be in the form of a video, because that would make my life a million times easier. So, yes, if you wanna see another contest, whether it's another cursed conlang contest or a contest of some other genre, then let me know in the comments. Please, let me know in the comments. Anyway, to all of you who have come this far, who have joined me at this beautiful event, this culmination of the year 2022, and really of the entire creation of my Discord server and the whole Agma Schwa community for all the nymphs out there, I think that this is a very satisfying moment. And, I am going to rest. I'm going to rest for a little while. I'll see you in some live streams and stuff. And 2023 is going to be a tasty year for some some not content. But anyway, that's all I have for you. Until then, and until next time, Nga is out. God, it's getting hot in here. This is also a test. Here I am. Here I am, once again. Feeling lost, but now 